Bum, bum, bum. Hello. Oh. The timing. <laughs> I feel like it's a little quiet for me. Let me. <laughs> it went 94%. That was good timing. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like I'm trying to make the music a little bit quieter. But thank you, thank you, Danny. Thank you for the resub. <laughs> Uh, but hello, and yeah, that that screen, the starting soon screen, I made it Friday. The first time I used it was Saturday. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> it is perb. I don't have a new BRB screen, though. It's still the classic Laszlo one, which I like. Um, but I don't really know what I want to do for, like, a new BRB screen if I do make, like, a new one. I don't know. I don't know who I'd use. I wanted to use a Calicundian. But I also thought maybe I should use like a like an early Strange Town Sim or something. Yeah, the Lazlo one's really good. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I just had, I just had a couple of little vanilla wafers. I have some tea. I made some. I made some. It's well, it's it's vanilla chai, and it's got my little, my little guy, <laughs> my little dude. The thing that's annoying about the Lazlo one is the yeah, he's hot tub <laughs> hot tub stream <laughs> hot tub stream <laughs> with the little manatee um the thing about the laszlo one that's annoying is i cannot fix my reshade to do the proper effects that i used for that one like the depth a little bit of a depth of field and that the thing that adds the shading like i, th I think it's called like mac M M X A O or I don't know what it's actually pronounced as, but I can't get it to work on my game unless I do like this other thing that wrote it and it just it doesn't work actually. So hi Abby, hello. But so it's like annoying because it's almost like I want to remake it with a style that matches like the one that I used in the newer Perb one, just so I have like a consistency or something. Maybe I could have a few Sims on the little hookah. <laughs> hi Komi. I would die for that nut trust guy, not gonna lie. <laughs> I've been nutting at 130. Oh my. I guess that's better than one. I'm a 130 nutting. <laughs> I love the adoption of I love the adoption of nutting <laughs> as 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 a universal term for meeting <laughs> because of just that one time. <laughs> oh thank you. This is my uh my very old sweater that I've had. I think it's from like Kohl's. And I've had it for years, and I can't find another one like it. It's hard to find another good one like it. It's all... I have to try and fix it. Look, it's got... That's a big hole. <laughs> it's got a big hole in it. I got... It's all... There's a bunch on the back, too. It's, like, old. <laughs> current state, nutting. The current state of nutting. Hope y'all are having a good day, though. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope those who are, who are celebratory of the Christmas are getting their Christmas stuff together or any other holiday that's going on around this time. <laughs> Current state, not nutting, writing, <laughs> not nutting, derogatory. <laughs> Hi, boring elements. You're not late at all. We just barely kind of got started. Just barely. Hi, Owly Pip. Already done with your shop and very nice. I bought one thing yesterday. I, even though I'm not somebody, so I, I've obviously I've said it a hundred times. I'm not somebody who likes Christmas. I don't really care about Christmas, but I do have family that celebrate and expect me to partake. <laughs> so I go along with it for, I take the path of least resistance and play the game. <laughs> so I did end up, I bought a gift for my mom online and then I'm going to go. I pretty much, I only buy for, my mom, my dad, and my grandma. I've got to try to figure out, like, every time I go, which is every day, to my grandmother's house to help her um, with all her stuff. And uh, every time I go, she always compliments my socks, which is just like, I have a bunch of random socks with just like random patterns and colors. And half the time I'm just wearing like two different ones or whatever. And she always wish, she always says she wishes she had fun socks like mine. So like I'm gonna try and I have to try and find her socks. <laughs> I think that's what I need to do <laughs> for her Christmas gift. But yeah, the all of hers. But the problem is, is like 
I, th- I don't know if she has to get special. I don't know if she has to use special like compression socks or something. You know what I mean? Like old people socks. I mean, I use compression socks sometimes, but I mean like special ones that like are more common among old people. So I got to try and figure out how I'm going to, I'm going to do pick that. Cause I'm afraid I'm going to get her something. And she's going to say, well, these are nice, but I can't wear them, <laughs> you know, cause she's very fussy about things too, <laughs> but I've got to figure it out. Um, about this dumb gift for my partner. It's a master ball, purple Pokeball. It's that Pokemon game, and he has no idea. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, my office is having a Christmas party tomorrow. Ugh. Free food at least, but I have to pretend I care about the company. Oof. That's the worst part. That's the worst part. Yeah, I just you know what I've I've realized the only thing I like about like the Christmas stuff, I've I um I like the I love the Grinch guy. You know, there's the, y'all see the TikToks of the, I I don't know what amusement park he's part of. I don't know if it's like Universal Studios or Disney or what it is. There's like the guy that is an actor who dresses up like the Grinch and people go and like visit him and he acts like the Grinch and he's like really good at it. Those are my favorite. I'm like, this is the only Christmas thing I like (laughs) is this guy. (laughs) I love this guy. I cursive. Did the olive oil work? Yeah, I got an olive oil in her pool. I'm going to have to make it to where maybe I need to take the photo. I have one photo of Olive in her sweater. I think I need another one of her in her sweater. And that'll be like the wintertime redemption. I'll just make it some of her sweater photos. <laughs> oh, is that a new one? No, I think that one's been in, in there. I haven't added any new ones. So, but yeah, her sitting in her mud pool. <laughs> Yeah, they're all over your FYP. Yeah, I'm the I'm I don't even I don't, I'm not a big fan of like the movie myself personally, just because I don't really care about the everybody. I, I'm more interested in the Grinch before he gets converted into like a Christmas loving person. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like that part. He's also a very like one of the best, like a very obvious example of like a queer coded villain, like, <laughs> you know, but. People also dressing up as the Grinch. I saw one in New York acting uh, as a crossing guard. That's fun. <laughs> I like that. It's fun. So yeah, that's the only. That's the only. That's my Christmas spirit. <laughs> it's just the Grinch. <laughs> I like Dirk Turk Sammy. They treat the Grinch like a hero at the end when he could have just left them alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. I haven't watched it in a long time, but I I remember vaguely. Martha May Hoovy. <laughs> was my gay awakening awakening oh my that's funny i think of crew code villains i mean you think of oh yes the guy from the powerpuff girls with the big boots yeah <laughs> absolutely i mean he had to be like how how could he not have been <laughs> same oh my goodness that's funny same. The Grinch is better represented than the Babadook. Um, yeah, I know, right? Like, w- forget about the Babadook, whatever the hell that's supposed to be about. We need, we need the Grinch. <laughs> we need the Grinch to lead a lit a pride parade. <laughs> oh my! But yeah, and then I had to. Um, I, my grandmother has a a fake, a little fake Christmas tree and a bajillion old ornaments that she's collected over the years, and she's not like physically able to decorate. And set it up herself, so I ha- I do it for her. That's what I had to do today for like an hour. I spent like an hour decorating a Christmas tree, <laughs> and I I felt like the Grinch. I was like, I'm gonna tear the tree down. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> bah humbug. <laughs> I was like, uh, this is not what I feel like doing with my time. But here I am. I wish I had Cindy Lou energy, but I gotta be honest with myself. I'm the Grinch. <laughs> That's funny. Christine. Baranski in general isn't awake. I don't know. I don't know if I remember who, who that actress is. I'll have to. Maybe I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Sam, the resident Christmas hater. Yes, <laughs> I am. Although, like I said, I saw something somewhere where somebody had like a light up cactus, like a fake cactus that they decorated. That's the only way you could get me into it, is if you have a, a big fake cactus decorated or a big real cactus decorated with lights. That's my. That's the only way you can get me involved. <laughs> Babadook being is a meme. The movie is not actually LGBT at all. Okay. See, I don't even know a lot about it. I gotta go grab my water real quick. Ugh. 
Okay. Oh god. All right. Wesley's basically been in every film in some capacity, plus a Broadway <laughs> singer. Wow. Also, thank you for the hydrate. I'll do it again. Oh, I see. Oh, that's funny. I do enjoy that. That's funny. Okay, so he was accidentally put into the, the pride category one year. Okay. I see. I see. <laughs> I see. I gotta wipe my stupid glasses. These damn glasses. My other wireframe glasses are... I don't know what's going on with them. They keep falling off my face. I think they're getting, like, worn on, like, the, the hinges are, like, opening too wide and falling off. But I gotta... I've been wearing my plastic -y, whatever the heck this is called. I don't think it's called plastic. It's, like, something else. I don't know. They're kind of weird. But I don't mind them. And we've never been saved since. <laughs> That's been a meme. That's funny. I do, I do like the backstory on that. I'm looking at the chat right now, and there's like 90% purple names, which I think is interesting. And I see, I see a green daydreamer. Then we got the the orange, then a pink and a blue. We got lots of lots of either pink or, or purple. <laughs> I'm not stinky perp. You're red. Yes, you're red. You're you're original. I don't. I think my color's green or something. I like the, my thick frames. I can't do wireframes. I don't like how they fit. Yeah, I get that. I like the. I like the. I do like the shape of these. Although now that I'm looking at them, they're actually like bent. Like I need to do this. I don't know. I need to get maybe some new ones eventually. But like, I'm. Uh, I need to get. I need to go get my eyes rechecked before they'll let me buy more. I'm like overdue for a thing. Also, hi, mystery. Hello, hello. How are you? Um. Oh, you want the shirt, the Bob Baba Duke shirt? I've been red ever since I started using Twitch, like which is like four years ago. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, purple. I was. Gonna say, I think purple's a f a common favorite color, which is interesting. I feel I I think although I've heard that blue is the most favorite. Oh, you're playing Sims Three. We're gonna play some Sims Two today. I do want to play Sims 3 tomorrow, though. I do want to do some more Sims 3 tomorrow. Um, yeah, yours is blue, Mr. E. Yeah, as, as I saw yours pop up, I thought, I think blue is popular. But do enjoy a teal. Teal is good, like a turquoise or a teal. I do like that. I think my two favorite are either green or orange. Ooh, you're also playing Sims 3. Very nice. Yeah, I'd like to try do some Sims 3 tomorrow. Um, I did some changes to our legacy we're going to continue playing the legacy that i was playing on saturday because i didn't really have a good time with the legacy it was fun it was um sims 3 streams can be a little hit or miss but we had some fun hi indigo uh hi sam hope you okay i'm coming down with some kind of oh no a chest infection oof i'm sorry i'm sorry to hear that indigo hope you feel an, hope you feel better quickly that sucks uh, played Sims 2 for the longest time since my childhood. Yeah, a lot of us are, are have a long long history in The Sims 2. <laughs> also, thank you for the lurk, Alley Pip. Oh, my English my English isn't well, by the way. Sorry, that's okay. You're all right. I understand. As long as I understand what you're saying, it doesn't really matter. Green is also good, but when I see green on Twitch, I assume they're a mod. Oh, okay, that's true. With the green, yeah, I see. <laughs> I wish we could make custom mod icons i think that's really cool hi arp deco hi twitch <laughs> good to join the stream hope all are well i'm going i'm through the looking glass <laughs> hello hello um yeah <laughs> i don't know it's it's interesting but yeah so christmas shenanigans going on um i'm building out of purple on minecraft right now oh, okay I feel like this is, I feel like I'm hearing lots of people play in the Minecraft, right? I mean, I know everybody plays Minecraft all the time, like a lot of people do. But lately, I feel like I've been hearing it a lot recently. I think, I think it's the, I don't know if it's like the winter season, the cold season. Everybody's like going, getting back on their Minecraft grind or their, or their Stardew Valley or something. Yeah, it's cozy on winter, I guess. Yeah, like 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. I'm, I I sometimes get into the Minecraft mood. I end up downloading a bunch of mods for it and stuff. The Cozy Grind Hyperfixation, yes, and also High Hag Energy. <laughs> I'm on my Disney Dreamlight Valley grind. Interesting. I never got into the Dreamlight Valley. I'm not a Disney fan, so... <laughs> <laughs> I hate everybody. <laughs> oh my god, our Deco. Thank you. What's their song? <laughs> thank you very much for the prime. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Grinch moments with Sam. <laughs> I hate this and I hate that. <laughs> uh, my winter games are usually between. Heavily modded Minecraft and heavily modded Skyrim. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, I, I like my, I had Minecraft modded up for a while where it was like, I had all these packs that were like super cute, like animals, and like it added all kinds of extra animals and stuff. I liked that. I've never played Skyrim though. Never have. But yeah, thanks again, Arp Deco. Hope you enjoy all your new emotes and your little badge and stuff. And stuff. But yeah, I guess we could jump on over here. Um, it feels weird. We haven't played um, Strange Town in a million years. Uh, whoops, I just hit the wrong button. There we go. Oops, it's not picking up. <laughs> Oops. Also, I fixed my mosaic issue. My my issue where um, it was showing my Sims nude. I fixed it, finally. There we go. I don't I feel like this is gonna be loud. Let me turn it down just a little. There we go. Also because of the new because of the new um defaults that I downloaded, I downloaded the full defaults. Um <laughs> that doesn't sound like an issue. It is it is for gosh darn Twitch and YouTube. They get mad at me. <laughs> Your Sims were slanging their nuts. They were. And I did not realize how detailed my custom skins are. <laughs> I'll say that much. I didn't know what kind of detail was going on under that, that mosaic. <laughs> there was a lot going on there. I was recording a YouTube episode last night and I was like, oops, I'm going to have to edit this. Thank God I figured it out while I was playing for like a recording because then I can edit it in, you know, afterwards. But like, <laughs> you know, do you use story progression? I do sometimes. I do sometimes use story progression. Right now, I don't. Um, I've got, I'm taking. I kind of go back and forth. I'm, I'm probably gonna add it in again. Speaking of that last Strange Viewville episode, was wild. It was fun. The, the the one I recorded last night was a little bit more chill. But yeah. Uh oh, I accidentally deleted my documents folder and all my game build for my six year old hood. But luckily, I just backed them up. Oh my gosh! And you weren't able to like. Re restore it from the well I mean as long as you have a backup it's fine but that's wild <laughs> strange view Roni yeah I know I don't really know what to call it I just call it strange view because it's like I don't know you call it the strange hood Str strange uber hood also yeah the cat head thing <laughs> I, we, gotta, we gotta make some changes here um that's the up change appearance this little creature. Yeah, I have the, the new, the, pl well, yeah, it's, I guess it's still new. The Platinum Aspiration, like, bulk download of, of defaults. I just threw that in there, so we got all the, so some of the hairs look a little different. Might have to fix, I think we have to fix Grania's hair. Oh. Well, I mean, it's cute. It's very cute. I don't think it's what I want him to have. I do love the concept of him with his little bow tie and his little hat. Um, yeah, yeah, the one linked in the Discord. Yeah, it's, it works. It works really well. It's really nice. I mean, I can, I don't know if these I've generated. Yeah, I have to generate some of the new thumbnails because I also had to reinstall my game over the weekend because because chaos ensued. But yeah, this is some of the I've got some really nice stuff. What I ended up doing was taking out all of my all of my custom platinum aspiration hairs for now because there was some overlap and stuff, so I so I took out a bunch of custom hairs just because there's so many good ones in here anyway that I didn't... Oops. Oops. Hit all the wrong buttons. Gotta go through and kind of replace them, but yeah, there's a lot of really nice ones. I like I like this little one. Let's see, whose baby is this? This is, this is Vidkrim Loner's baby. 
He might have like a wavier hair if he inherited it from his dad. Pretty sure, yeah, this must be Vidkrim baby. He's about to be a child anyway. What is this one? Oh, this one's kind of interesting. That one's like, he got a big head. He looks like, makes him look like he's got a big forehead. Um. Oh, I, li I like this one too. There's all kinds of, all kinds of them. This one's kind of fun. It's like a little wispier. I feel like that could work well for like a young baby. He does. He looks like a dapper cab driver. Yeah. I'm just kind of looking at everything. I don't, I think I might give him his little hat. I love the idea of him having a little hat. Look at how cool this is with the little mohawk sticking out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of newer hairs that they must have converted for the purpose of the defaults. Cause I don't see, I don't have, I haven't seen a lot of these hairs in any of their custom downloads, which is cool. Um, oh, okay. You think that the skin default to use might look strange with the clay hair. Okay. Yeah, it might be worth a try for the heck of it because it's such an easy thing to just drop in and then load up the game and test it out and then say, no, never mind and get rid of it. Okay, she did convert a bunch of new for this pride. That's why it felt like, which is really cool because I can tell a lot of them were like chosen for, you know, to, to kind of look like that. Uh, to look, you know, what am I trying to say? To look like the thing they're de defaulting, if that makes sense. <laughs> Also, I saw, I think I saw, do you have all the packs? I do have the ultimate collection, so I do have all the packs. I'm gonna give him his little dapper hat. I could do a refresher for my defaults anyway. Well, there you go. Um, oops. So, I guess we got little Iris's hair. I think hers is okay for now. The only other one is Grania's hair. Wherever Grania's hiding, um, she's got this like edgy mom Karen hair, which I don't really, I think she needs something a little bit more glamorous. <laughs> Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I do still have some customs here that I could use if I wanted to. But I might also consider what's in the defaults. I've been favoring using the defaults right now, but I don't think this. I don't think she's like vintage girly. I I don't. She used to have like a swoopy movie star hair. Um, is this a new camera mod? I don't think so. <laughs> I think I just plopped in. I plopped in all the same stuff I had before. What it is is I had to reinstall my game, so I backed up everything and then just dropped it back in on top of it. But I think. Well, I think it. Well, I think I did install a camera mod a while ago, like a few, like maybe a month ago. A different one? Um, yeah. So I guess it kind of is, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place right now. <laughs> please, ex please excuse butt spot. I have never nut these before. <laughs> yeah, these are all, um, these are all clay hairs. So they're from, um, Sims 4 converted to The Sims 2. And, um, there's a creator called Platinum Aspiration on Tumblr who has like a big default dump that you can you can download that replaces the hairs i love this one not on her specifically but like there's this one's also available for the for the boys which is cool also hi tyla hello hello how are you See, she always has like a flowy pretty something or like this this is giving like nancy land grab <laughs> oh, oh, she get away with this i don't know if this is her vibe before she had like a short flowy hair. Hi, Jean. I can see Ophelia with that hair. True. True. Yeah, there's all kinds of there's all kinds of nice ones. This is my one of my favorite meshes of all clay hair. It's really good. I wondered about I don't know. This one's got still got the vintage style, but I don't know. Maybe this one. My camera settings are a hodgepodge of different mods and my own tweaks now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Um. <laughs> this is kind of nice. I like short hair on her or maybe a bun. I wondered if maybe one of the hairs was that like swoopy hair. I like this one. I haven't used this on anyone up. I just think it's kind of fun. It's like, it's got to be the right person that it looks good on. 
the no eyebrows yeah she's she has eyebrows but they're they blend in with her skin tone they actually are there it's really hard to see them just because i have the whatever the color the, the you know the slightly different blonde color and then it like overlays this is kind of fun i like this one too i haven't used that on a sim I'm fine. How about you? I watched Selena Gomez home for the holidays. Oh, the cooking program. Interesting. I, I've never heard of that. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I've got a weird mouth thing going on. My back of my my mouth is like sore on one side. I think I was eating something and I like bit it wrong and then it, I don't know, it cut my gums or something and I'm, I took some Advil and it like helps. This is such a pretty hair too. Look how pretty this is. But I took some Advil and it's like helping, but it's still very sore so i'm like we'll see we'll see how it goes if <laughs> i end up not going as long here's the hair i was thinking of but i might have a shorter stream just because i'm like it hurts to talk <laughs> i feel like you have super straight hair that's true i could do a super sl straight sleek hair or like a pullback well that's not i don't think she'd have that isn't there i think there might be we'll see we'll try a couple of things Okay, there's stupid ads trying to start, which is, I don't, I ran ads, like, just barely. I don't know why it's doing it, but we'll probably, I snoozed them once. <laughs> Walk nut, Bob. <laughs> I like that, yeah, the wavy Bob. I think that's what I had given her before. I might, I might just give her that, but I'm just curious of exploring some of these other ones. I could see her having that when she's old, but probably not right now. This one's cool. I love this one too. This is like, it's got more of like a texture to it, which is really neat. Um, I don't think it would work on her. The bun is also fun with the little bump it. This one's cool too. This one's very, I feel like this one could almost pass for like true Maxis if you retextured it. Um, can you see the ad count? I can right now. Yeah. It's weird. Sometimes it doesn't pop up in chat for me. It, it, I feel like the first ad break pops up in chat and then the rest show up on a different pop-up that I don't always see. But we'll see. It's not fun to go, uh-oh, go to the dentist before Christmas. I did one time, 23rd December, and I ended up, what was it the day after? I ended up, oh no. Oof, that's rough. Also, Olive is in the room. I don't know if she's going to end up fussing. You had to come upstairs with me right now. We'll see. Ms. Olive Oil. I do like this also on her. Yeah, I like short hair on her. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I don't know what <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but I kinda just I went along with that, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Maybe I need to be better about just saying, oh what's that mean? <laughs> I just I got the essence of swollen, maybe swollen and, and puke. <laughs> I don't know. I like the textures on this one. Okay, I'm just having fun looking at the hairs. That's my problem. I'm I'm just distracted by the all the hairs. I think I'm just gonna well, that one's well, this one's kinda nice on her too. With the two pieces hanging down. The yeah, so swollen and puke. <laughs> you know. Olive, please. Is it, there's a delivery driver here. She's parking away. Oh my gosh. Let me see if there's like a brow that looks better on her. Oh my gosh. Olive oil. All right. <laughs> oil bark. I can hear Hank bellowing in the distance. He has something to say. Olive, please. Let me see what this looks like in game. That's okay. You're all right, Gene. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't get it out of my mouth. Okay. Yeah, we got the gist of it. I, I kind of like this bun on her. Okay, we're going to go with that. So it's Monday. I don't remember. I think I'm playing till Wednesday in this hood right now. I think that's what I'm doing. 
Okay, why don't you just go eat? Why can't you, ma'am? Why's my game chugging? Like she won't move. I hit the H to make her go eat, and it didn't want to work. Is there any leftovers? No. Have breakfast. Have some cereal. Have some cereal. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's just barking. I was just kind of ignoring her. I don't have the brain capacity to juggle her right now. <laughs> I'm just like... Oop. Also, his hair is just this, which I, I think is fine. I think his is fine. And then... Her stayed the same. This girlie stayed the same. Get yourself together, Olive. <laughs> okay, she's she's laying down now. Uh oh, why'd you put the baby in there? <laughs> That's not where the baby's supposed to go. This household, I think, did we put Grania on birth control because she needs it? Let me spawn. I think I'm gonna. I've been more heavy-handed with my birth control in The Sims. I think she needs it, because there's no way she needs to be having this many babies. There's no way. <laughs> the baby is going to roll off and crumple. I like the choice for grumple. Olive is handling herself and protecting the whole family. <laughs> yeah. She's making sure the ups man does not murder everybody. Okay, you're eating... Um, so last time we played, as a refresher, um, oh, she's reading to the kids. Or at least this one. This one's just sobbing in the corner. The ups. <laughs> the evil ups, man. <laughs> and he's gonna roll off. It crumple. It's alright, she's here watching the baby. I think you can, um... Everybody's thinking about babies. Rolls of this. Okay, the ad's going. I'm gonna use the little ad thing. <laughs> the ups are your ops. Okay. Um, you're miserable. They need to learn things. Okay, somebody's screaming. What is- who's outside? Who's this person? Marilena Curious. Hi, Marilena. I like your little outfit. Why are you here? Can I help you? Okay, bye. Oh, oh, we got a nanny here. I didn't know we even had a nanny here. Look at our, look at our guy here. Okay. What's our nanny's hair? I want to see the nanny hair. Okay, nanny's got... Oh, nanny's got some stylish little clips in her hair. She's got the she got his clips. Yeah, Cersei's storytelling voices are wild. Oh, except you restarted the uh Strange View Let's Play. I've been rewatching it. Very nice. That's probably quite a feat. <laughs> oh, Marilena must have kicked over our trash can. There's a lot. Uh oh. <laughs> got them e-girl nut clippies. <laughs> Not the nut clippies? That's so funny. <laughs> I might have to screenshot that one. I've got so many screenshots of Butt Spot that I've done nothing with. <laughs> nut clippies for Christmas. I'm asking Santa for e-girl nut clippies for Christmas. <laughs> Do you think he'll bring them for me? Oh, you're going to work. I've been doing the thing where I use the... I don't think I have one on the lot right now. But I use the lot debugger here. I don't know where to put it. We'll just stick it somewhere. Can we... Oh. We'll just stick it there. And I use it to make the baby smart. The only thing is it isn't permanent. It seems like... I don't know if it's when they go to bed it resets or what. I need you to maybe stop. What's... It's Monday anyway. Aren't you... You're gonna have to go to school soon. She's cold. Which is interesting. Um... Oh my god, it's a filthy mess in here. I do recall last time, I think we fired the butler, and I don't remember if we rehired a maid. I'm, I would think... I don't know what time of day the maids usually show up. I'm not quite sure. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> I am also cold. I am a nut cold. <laughs> oh, 10 a.m. Thank you. All I want for Christmas are my nut clippies. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is my nut clippies. Okay, you're gonna have yourself a snack. Where's the creature? Where's the beast? The beast is eating. Okay, at least the nanny's using the little seats properly. Using the little seats properly. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it works so well at that. <laughs> okay, school's here. Actually, you know what? You're not gonna get to eat, so congratulations. Go to school hungry. This creature is screaming. So Grania does not work. Um, she also doesn't really... Ooh, you know what I downloaded? I know I downloaded this because somebody suggested it. I don't know if it's actually in this proper collection. I downloaded a different trait. Which I did do some hood checker for a couple of my... my um, well, all my active hoods just in case because of like reinstalling stuff. So hopefully the traits are still intact and everything because that's been an issue. But I think I have... I have the... Somebody said to download some of these traits, which consists of those uh, whose wealth has been acquired within their own generation rather than familial inheritance, nobility. There was one that's like... The help, the... These sims... Uh, these are the sims who keep elegant mansions in ritzy villa. They're, they're like... Um, the traits that are connected to like the... Medieval Sims or something. I don't know. I guess I don't have. I'm confused. I thought I downloaded one that's supposed to be almost like they're a stay-at-home mom, but they don't do the cleaning. Like, they don't... It makes them not want to clean or do anything. Right? Like, they hire help. They have hired help. Which, this sounds like it's for those hired help. Sims of known lineage occasionally who have acquired enough wealth and influenced by their way into the upper class. I guess I don't know. Maybe I didn't download the right thing. I swore I downloaded one, but I guess not. I guess we'll forget about it. Um, I was gonna give it to her because she's like a stay-at-home mom. Okay, her traits are still here. She's a diva, a snob, hates the outdoors, is flirty, and a mooch. But she doesn't like... She's like a stay... She likes the idea of being a glamorous stay-at-home mom, but she doesn't want to actually do anything. But I think she's gonna have to. Oh, she could just wait for the, the nanny. Oh, the nanny's actually coming. That's, um... Oh, that's right. I don't... We might have a maid. I forgot I was gonna have to spawn more maids also. I forgot about doing that. We gotta spawn some more maids. What does she do with her time during the day? What... what she likes playing the piano. She likes schmoozing men. Oh, she is actually gonna feed the baby. She's actually going to feed the child. Oh, well, she likes arts and crafts. Maybe she will paint. Maybe she'll be a painter. She'll do some painting. Mm hmm. Hi, Shay Nanigans. Hello, hello. She would definitely have a TikTok if that were a thing. <laughs> some sort of online something. Okay, this is. She says, okay, everything smells in here. This is too much. I need to go paint. Paint still life. Normal canvas. There we go. <laughs> what is this, Grania being a mother? I know. I don't know what... I just realized that her heels have like a gold... Her The actual heel of her shoe is like a gold heel. Why is there an iris reset? I guess... I bet it was iris getting out of the... What is on the back of her dress also? Is that, like, supposed to be, like, a little dangly? Is that a dangly? Like, what is that? <laughs> family vlogger, yeah. She's, like, a... She's, like, a family vlogger that's, um... Actually very... She, she just... She, like, portrays, like... Family vloggers have props, not kids. True, that, exactly. Oh, I gotta be... I'm like, what is on my screen? I'll do a picture of the... Always a little bit kooky. Can I do this? Oh, I can. We paint the... Who should we paint? What should we paint? There we go. Um, 
Yeah, she's very much the type that's like wants to show off like she's some fancy rich lady, but like, okay, never mind. Apparently not. <laughs> We've decided no, you don't need to go feed the child. You're you're not don't. Just don't. Here, come come eat something. We gotta clean up a here, come eat the, the bowl that Cersei bowl of cereal Cersei made. <laughs> Kids would be in the thumbnail in the vid and would be something that has nothing to do with them. Yeah. I should just be like, how I'm, how I'm, how to be a fancy, perfect rich lady like, like me. And it's like, I'm a good mom. And it, it's just like, she actually, the only, the only motherly thing she does is for the camera. Like, that would be it. Also, Marilena hates us. Apparently hates, uh, the father, Xanthos. So was there any drama? Does he- does Xanthos know? I don't think he really knows much about her lovers. She wants to woohoo with ten different sims. Okay, we do have a maid and they just showed up. Let me pull the thing to the side. Or I could pull it up. I don't know where to put it. We'll just put it over here just so it pops up where it can be seen. Um, I appreciate the nanny cleaning up. Okay. <laughs> I'm a great mom. It's her calling up the nanny. Yeah. Um. What am I doing? I'm looking for. Yeah, so she had Apollo last time. She's met lots of people. She got in a fight. So her last woohoo with, was with Aldrich. And then Gallagher. And then, okay, woohoo with Gallagher. We got Aldrich Gallagher. Bjorn. Uh, Vidkrim. So we've got four. And Glaive, five. And then Xanthos is six. That was her first woohoo. But I think there's definitely a few that she hasn't actually woohooed with. It's hard to remember exactly who she has. So Gallagher, Aldrich. So, Aldrich, Gallagher, Xanthos, Vidkrum, Bjorn, um, Almeric Davis, I don't know. She's got two bolts with Gunner Rogue. We could hook, we could call him up. Oh, Glarn Curious. Her and Glarn haven't done it yet, right? I don't think Glarn was on there. Thank you for the, the Lurk Bex. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your nutting. <laughs> Having just purchased 2,000 shares in Moneywell Computers on a tip from his broker, Xanthos heads to the corporate water cooler and overhears a conversation about the computer company. Apparently, the military is about to award money, a lucrative, oh, Moneywell, a lucrative contract to provide all of the military's computers for the next 10 years. But if Moneywell fails to get the contract, they will be forced to, de to declare bankruptcy and close their doors. Xanthos's broker assured him that her new stock oh, <laughs> was a sure thing. Wait, assured him that her new stock, okay, I'm confused about who's who, was a sure thing, but now it's a bit, sounds a bit risky. I don't know, he might sell it. I feel like I've held shares before and it was a flop, but then I'll, I think there's a failure both ways. Like, you can fail either way. So, like, this will sell. Xanthos returns to the office, to his office, tunes his radio to C S C F N N, the Sim City Financial News Network. Oh my god. Imagine him sitting in the office listening to his radio for the Financial News Network. Okay, sir. Yeah, I would have thought. The, and here's Moneywell. Computers announced it plans today to seek shelter from its creditors by filing for corporate bankruptcy. The company, which has been hoping to land a contract for military equipment, left no, um, uh, military awarded a contract to rival computer maker Microscotch. <laughs> Not Microscotch. <laughs> in other news, Microscotch stock is up 17% in moderate trading. Xanthos thanks his lucky stars and pockets five grand he made by selling early. Okay. Riveting content. Riveting. We should call Mr. Glarn Curious over and have a woohoo with Glarn. What do you say? You're, you're, she's having her beauty sleep. I am going to bump her a little bit, though, because it's it's literally 11 a.m. We're going to make you happy here, ma'am. 
<laughs> Celebratory woohoo. I know. <laughs> it's like, it's five, five grand is like pocket change to them. Give it to me. Yeah. I've, not, I've never seen five grand. Uh, changing it every day. And you have a... No, you don't have a cell phone. Call... Sim. We could go out on a date. That could be fun. Actually, I should have just called out on date. That was silly. Ask out on date. There we go. There we go. Apparently we gotta wait for the nanny. Oh, we just yeeted the nanny. She like last second yeeted the nanny. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see, where's our... Oh, here he is. I don't recall if he's employed right now. Let's go to a community lot. Um, we'll take your... We'll take my car. Right? The car's here, right? Yeah, there's a car here. There's two cars. Technically, who should... What should be... I think we need to change owner. We're gonna make Xanthos this one. And Sir, not Cersei. No, wait, not Cersei. <laughs> Grania, this one. Cersei doesn't get a car yet. What is this lady trying to do? Be appreciated? This lady's trying to appreciate us. She's sucking up. She wants a promotion. She wants or, or a raise or something. Grania seems very, um, like not on board. Okay, I think I need to tell her. To go somewhere. Cersei would be too powerful with a car. <laughs> Cersei would be killing people with a car. Uh oh, why did her why did her hygiene plummet? That's silly. Just put. The, why are you trying to breastfeed the baby? That's not necessary. <laughs> you're not. You're not a good person. <laughs> you can't breastfeed a child. <laughs> How do you think Cer Cersei ended up so corrupt? Okay, I, uh, where are we gonna go? Maybe we could go to Pleasant View? The cemetery? Main Street? Or downtown? I feel like downtown makes more sense. Hmm. Cafe? Sure, let's go to- I think that's a sit-down eating place. I gotta drink my tea before it gets cold. But yeah, I, I went ahead and set up our Sims 3 legacy in a different town. I'll, exp I'll probably explain it more tomorrow. But our, our Sims 3 legacy, the Sims are living in a new town that are, is very fun. It's a custom town. And I moved them in, but I also, I also moved the rest of the family with them, so everybody's in town. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got yeeted. <laughs> I think we got a message. <laughs> oh, Grania's hair can cut solid metal. <laughs> I didn't see it. There's her hair popping up. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Morky. <laughs> nut day, everybody. <laughs> I love how much the word, the nut, nut words have made their way into our vocabulary here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a nutting. We have a nut day. <laughs> we have a uh, we have them e girl nut clippies. <laughs> Got them e girl nut clippies. <laughs> new sites for the nutters. Yeah, new some exciting new things. Okay, here he is with our our blackened water. We won't talk about the water. <laughs> we won't talk about the water. This is the official base for fellow nut lovers. <laughs> Who this? Sadie Barnes. Burn Muse. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> A mistake has been made. <laughs> I forgot he was alien pregnant. <laughs> and he cut his hair apparently. His hair changed. Oops. <laughs> Should I gussy him up? Let me gussy him up real quick. Oops. Uh oh, what did I just do? 
ask? Ask to leave partner? That's not what I meant to hit. Let me give him his hair back. What? I don't think this is quite his hair. <laughs> what hair did he have? He had like, didn't he have like a mullet or something? He had like the long mullet, but then I think I got rid of it. I don't think I have it anymore. I don't know what like the dude mullet hair is replaced with. Oh yeah, that that's that might be it. I, I think that's kind of it. <laughs> if you get the mod to have build by available on the wall, that's true. That's true. Um, you can draw and delete a square. Oh, I can draw and delete it. I didn't realize I could delete it afterwards too. That's true. I do have I do have that. I could try. I always just don't ever want to mess with it because I'm afraid I'm going to screw something up. But then I go around and like mess with everything else. Oh. Oop, I messed up the pond. There we go. Look at that. Thank you for the suggestion. That works better. <laughs> that looks nicer. I'm gonna view many. I don't think we need to view many. Where did our pregnant date go? I feel like he's gonna get really upset really quick. Oh, he wants to woohoo with Lila Grunt. What about us, huh? What about us? Can you woohoo with a pregnant sim? Is that that possible? My nothing hath concluded. That wasn't a bad. That was pretty short. That wasn't too bad. Entertain. This man looks like he'd like a dirty joke. <laughs> I'm fussed about doing it all the time. I get it. Oops, I meant to uh, replace the incorrect spelling and not put next to it. <laughs> uh, oops, wait. I meant to nut lace the incorrect spelling and not nut next to it. <laughs> not nut next to it. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> wait, that was a fail. Was that a fail? I don't know what just happened. Hi, her holiness. Just joined. You've got plat ass amazing hair defaults. I got them too. The majority of my play the last few days has been fixing everyone's hair. Yes. <laughs> I just recently. I had a bunch of clay defaults already, but I just said, you know what, screw it, I'm dropping the whole pack in. Because, like, I, everything, there's different stuff that's linked together and stuff, and originally I was just going to fill in the holes, but I was like, no, I want the whole thing. And so I'm really happy with it, though. It's very good. Very good. I'm a big clay enjoyer. Um, but I don't know what just went wrong. Something just flopped. I guess we did not successfully entertain him. Does he not like a dirty joke? I like imagining that you just wanted to write the word in different accents. <laughs> oh, I see. He's just experiencing, experiencing balding. I see. <laughs> I, did, I, I didn't see that message yet, so I was like, what, what are we... <laughs> okay, we successfully did a thing. We're gonna just... Let's... Can we do a... Let's do like a smooth talk. I really just... All I care about is... <laughs> baby. Should we rub his baby belly? All I care about is us woohooing. Um, I wish we had somewhere else other than a sofa. We have, what if I put down a, <laughs> what if I was a dirty cheater? It's not really cheating. It's just a little goofy. Um, I don't know where I can find a photo booth. Where are the photo booths hiding? I forget. Was it like miscellaneous, miscellaneous? Mm hmm. Yeah, Granny bought her own bed. Yeah, right. Actually, we could have gone to the saloon. That's what we should do. We should have taken him to the saloon. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was gonna do a photo booth. We couldn't just drop a bed. <laughs> what if we just dropped the bed down? <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> uh oh, wait. <laughs> The man wolf whistled? I didn't even see that. Also, hi, go Joy. I didn't see the, the wolf whistle. Let's see, where am I gonna find a photo booth? Here it is. Do I have any recolors? No, I need some recolors on this. I'm just like, where should we put it? I don't know. These guys are rich. Maybe she has a- oh, here we go. Look at that. It squeezes right in there perfectly. The gods proclaimed, let there be a double bed. Oh boy. Casual, woohoo, photo booth. That's really all this is about. I'm gonna be honest, you're just kind of a... You're you're just kind of a woohoo to us. Okay, he's gonna ignore us because he's just gonna head. The casual kind of like overrides everything. 
I haven't seen this series in a hot mince minute. What's everyone's goals? That's a good question. So, right now, for we have Grania, who, um, let's see, what is her lifetime wish? She wants to have 20 simultaneous lovers. Pretty typical. She's a pretty typical romance sim. She's got, like, she's got kids from, like, 20 different dudes. Actually, th three, because her husband. She's got two kids. She's got Cersei Beaker, or Cersei Salome. And Cersei, uh, I mean, Apollo Salome was actual kids with Xanthos. And then she has two toddlers. One's from a townie. And then one is from a uh, Vidkrim loner. <laughs> Look at Vidkrim's family tree. This is too much Vidkrim. Vidkrim. Vidkrim's got lots of babies in town. Oh, that's right. Hallow and Weenie. I forgot. I still haven't made an orphanage for this town either. Yeah, we've got... Vidkrim's got a lot of babies. <laughs> Vidkrim's got too many babies. But yeah, that's her thing. The father... His whole thing is like, he's more, he's more like, I think he, 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 he's not, he's a little bit more pressured into being like a businessman by his wife and his family and stuff, but he actually just likes making flower arrangements and stuff. Um, so he's kind of like, he wishes that he could just have a simple little happy life <laughs> and he, he has to do other stuff. Yeah, I wish there was a, a baby. I don't- I, we didn't get an actual baby. If only I hadn't been paused. <laughs> there we go, we had a- uh, nice woohoo. I guess we could eat. This lot reminds me of one of the Sim stories when they- some- someone poisoned the food and everyone was vomiting all over the place. Yes, yeah, we- we've played that- that one before. We have. I do recall. I didn't know. Oh, I was terrified. <laughs> no baby. No baby. Why is- is that AJ? Hi hey, AJ, what are you doing here, buddy? What are you doing here by yourself at 4 p.m. on a Monday? Are you on a date with Lola? Are you, okay, I think him and Lola are romantic. Is that what's happening? Him and Lola are on a date? Look at Lola's little hairdo. Also, hi Ricky. Ricky Askew. Time is running out. Okay, well- it, must have bumped a little bit here. We can do a kiss. What do you think it's like woohooing with pregnant Glarn Curious? <laughs> How desperate do you have to be? <laughs> How desperate do you have to be? I know, Lola is a cutie. Look at this girly. Look at her. Flo floor? Flower? Fl flower? Why did I say that? <laughs> Look at her. She's cool. Ma'am? I like looking at the townies. I love checking out what's going on. This man is hungry. He just got off his shift. He is hongy. He's hongy. Ricky's just chilling. Oh, is Ricky going on a date with this girlie? Look at her with her little eye makeup. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm gonna go look at Lola again. Look at Lola with her pimples. I love her eyes. I love Lola's eyes. <laughs> Lola farted nut at- <laughs> Lola farted nut at Ricky. <laughs> That's a farted nut. <laughs> I don't wanna- <laughs> No thanks. I'm not- I do not want to perceive that one. <laughs> I'd rather not contemplate it. Yeah, the, the Glarn. I- You know what? You know what? <laughs> oh, that's the guy that wolf whistled Glarn. Interesting. Look at our look at our little lady. Look at her little outfit. Oh, a crush has what? Wait, a crush took place between these two? Elijah George and Burn Muse. The way they're both rejecting. Look at this scene. This is fun. Look at these townies doing their thing. <laughs> look at these two. They look like some kind of like they should be on the cover of something, like here. <laughs> It's fun. They both just got a crush on one another. Are they gonna interact now? I'm not even paying attention to our sims. I'm just watching all the townies. I don't think these two should flirt because they look like siblings. You look- <gasps> wait! That's Daniel Pleasant. This is- is this young- this is young Daniel Pleasant. What did you do to your hair, Daniel? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that guy looks like Daniel Pleasant. <laughs> it is! <laughs> it's Daniel! Sir? <laughs> Danny, why? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, it's weird seeing such hot sins after binge watching Calicundia. Yeah, it's, it is a little off putting. And we haven't even played this hood for like. I, I feel weird being here because, like, yeah, it's been like a couple. It's almost been two weeks or something because we we got really focused on Calicundia University stuff. And then I ended up having to cancel the stream we were going to play this last week. <laughs> it does kind of suit young Daniel, true. You got a dollop of 80s moose. This rooster face. Look, he's here talking. What are you doing, bud? Because, yeah, for those who missed it, we did add early Pleasant View to this hood. So this is a young adult. Well, not young adult, but he's he's an adult, I'm pretty sure, but he's young. He's freshly an adult. I think, I think, I think Angela, Angela and Lilith are toddlers. Can we woohoo with Daniel? <laughs> that, wait, you're right. Wait, why did I laugh at that like it was ridiculous? Of course we, we have, wait. This is where Grania gets a crossover with, with Pleasant View. <laughs> wait, can we woo, like, we? <laughs> as a, as a, a collective? <laughs> can we as a collective? Woohoo with Daniel? I don't know. We might have to get some permission slips signed. <laughs> I don't know if I can take y'all on that kind of field trip. <laughs> can we? I want you to get up and greet Daniel. <laughs> oh no. Sam's like, don't have to ask me twice. Sam's like, don't have to nut me twice. <laughs> What's Mott? Have mercy. <laughs> Because I was like, what do you mean we? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, we're trying to greet Daniel. Oh, Daniel's flirting with us. <laughs> Glarn's coming in with his pregnant belly saying, <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Um, let's do a little charm. Is Glarn going to be mad if we charm? No, he doesn't care. He's too pregnant to care. We could probably end our date. Why don't we just end it and then we could start fooling around with Danny Boy. End date. Um, I think it put it put my name because somebody else wrote my name. I pretty if that's what you mean. <laughs> they got that chemistry. Oh, they got three bolts. I don't like this outfit on Danny Boy. It just doesn't. I don't know. I haven't played him yet, though. We haven't. We haven't gotten to this house. This, that hood yet. <laughs> it's your fault, Banks. I know Granny would mind if Daniel not her twice. <laughs> oh no. Let's do. Uh, we'll do talk, smooth talk. How about we do? I could also do like macro romantic. There we go. Uh oh, there's. Oh, look at these two dancing. Look at this is little AJ and Lola. Let me put the walls up. Cause it's like very busy in here. Is her? Is she okay? That's just her makeup. I thought she was blushing. <laughs> it's like, babe, I didn't notice it before. Oh, the message came after mine, so I honestly thought it replaced cursive with Sam. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I see. Yours came after. See, I, I, I saw it before. I guess it showed up on mine before. Why are there? Look at all the Sims here. My God, everybody's here dancing. This is not a dance club, folks. This is not a dance club, folks. Oh my, he does look like an Ivy League college frat boy. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I think. I guess I could get behind the outfit. But I guess, what does her want that has to do with the photo booth here? Take a photo. Have photo taken with Glarn. Okay, these two are getting along. Glarn's just standing here. <laughs> Glarn's just here. Glarn, you're, you've served your purpose. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love Sims 2 community lots. I do enjoy that. They're very active. Yeah, Sims dance everywhere. Anywhere there's music playing, they're like, yep. Time to dance. Uh oh, Granny got an error. What did I? Who's who's crushing? Who's crushing? Where's the crush happening? <laughs> I don't see the crush. Okay, weird. I don't know what's going on here. 
Maybe we need to like group up with Daniel and take him somewhere else. Oh, they're they're doing their thing together. Um, everybody's falling in love and farting nuts. <laughs> Young Daniel idolizes James Spader. That's my uh, main issue with Sims 3. I feel like the last time that game just never got this active. Yes. Yeah, that's a big thing. I do, I do definitely have a mod that helps it a little. And, like, I think you can adjust, like, the NRAAS stuff. But, yeah. No, it's definitely... Definitely can be a little rough. Is Danny leaving? Do we change his hair or should we let it be? You think he'd go on a date with us right now? He's not really... We're friends. I kind of want to go elsewhere, though. Like, I wish we could take him somewhere else. Okay, he said yes. What does he want to do? He wants to play with his little Angela. Your group size has been changed and your dining bill has been taken care of. Please see the host about being seated again if you'd like to continue dining. I don't think we ate. <laughs> I forgot about that. We we kind of like didn't order any food and I just canceled the date. That was kind of funny. I didn't even I, I I'm <laughs> Okay. Sorry. They just sat down. Galarn's like starving. He's like, I thought we were eating. I got here I came here for the food. <laughs> you thought you ate. <laughs> we, we we thought we left crumbs when when in reality <laughs> there were no crumbs to begin with. I noticed that a lot when I was trying to enjoy downtown bars clubs and they were always so dead, yeah. Lazy Duchess has a more populated lot for mods for Sims 3. Yeah, I think I have that. I guess it depends on how well it works. It depends on different factors, for me at least. Yeah, I could just glare and stare at her because he didn't feed her. I would like for them to go to a different lot, but I'm afraid that our date's not going to follow. Drive to another lot. Let's see if he'll join us. Let's just stay. Let's stay in Dane Dane Town. <laughs> let's stay in Dane Town. Stay in downtown. Um, where are we gonna go? Although I'd like to go to Strange Town for the saloon. Maybe we'll try the saloon. We'll see if the date follows us. Is he joining? He might be joining. I have a feeling he might not show up on the lot because I have issues with it. Thank you for the work, comrade Opossum. I don't think he's going to be able to get into our car. He might have to teleport into the car. Oh, hi, Lila. Oh, is that Lila? Yeah, Lila Vander Morgan and, and Danny have some chemistry. That seems like a look at her with this hair. I like this hair on her. This is her random default hair. <laughs> her random default hair. Yeah, he was like, I only came for the free food. He came there for the for the ambiance. <laughs> or Grania did. And uh, Glaive uh, Glarn thought it was for, for the food. Also, thank you for the lurk daydreamer. I didn't see yours either. We got, we got mixed up. Maybe he'll show up. This is the saloon that has uh, beds in the basement. You know, I wouldn't put her on birth control, but like a Dan and Grania baby would be fun. Calling him Dan felt... Why did I call him Dan? <laughs> I usually call him either Danny or... a Danny boy or Daniel. Yes, I'm excited to see more of it because I feel like I haven't seen it as much yet. Like, who's this? Nope. Never mind. Okay, he did show up with us, so that's good. He wants to talk. We can do a little... We can do another smooth talk. She wants to... She wants to dine out with him. I don't think we're going to bother with that. I bet he'd like a darny joke. <gasps> this is Mr. Knut Futa! What's your hair? He's got some hair. We should greet Kanat. I should make a point to try and greet him. Can you stay here, Mr. Kanat? Oh, you're, you're joining us. Okay. Danny. <laughs> Danny. Oh, oh, I thought that was like falling in love. Ooh, crush. A crush has been earned. He has a fear of D Diane being a zombie and Jeff being a zombie. Are those his parents? I think those are his parents. Short shorts for Mr. Nut Nut, yes. I think I, at one point I decided to give him like a proper outfit, but just have the same colors as his work outfit, because I just felt bad that he's just wandering around in his work outfit. Like he doesn't get to be a human with his own little style. Oops, oops. Are you sure you want to quit? No. Oh my god. Okay, he, can you greet? I want you to greet real quick. Uh-oh, he didn't like the joke. Oops. 
Not in his shorts. <laughs> not in his short shorts. Not not in his short short. Please don't. Okay, we greet it. We know the nut. We know the nut. Okay, apparently she's bad at telling jokes. I don't know why. He wants to play with Danny boy. Is that tickle? <gasps> Daniel just rejected Kanut. Daniel now has to die. <laughs> Daniel does not get to live now. Okay, we gotta tickle him. Dance with Daniel, tell a joke. Um, what kind of dance can we do? Dance, classic. <laughs> we know the nut ways. <laughs> Daniel is now public enemy number one. He is. How does new film for Christmas? D Daniel Pleasant must die. <laughs> that sounds like it would be a great movie. Who dis? Oh, this is Olive Spectre. This is the random hair she got given. I don't mind it. I, I think I'd rather give her... Oh my gosh, my mouse is like freaking out on me. This is Olive Spectre. Look how pretty. I love Olive so much. Olive is into Grania. Okay. Oh, and Daniel. Olive said, I like them all. <laughs> I like them all. I'll take one of each. Flirt with Daniel. Slow dance. Okay, well, I guess she wants to slow dance more than... Now yeah, we can try hit on. Oh, she wants to slow dance with Galarn. Okay. Oh, wait, he just he had two wants for Mary Sue there. <laughs> He's thinking about his wifey. His hand. Oh, I'm sorry. She keeps trying to pee. She has to pee so bad. <laughs> and she keeps getting drawn back. Yeah, I like that retexture. I think I probably found it on, on the default database. Oh, I forgot that we have a floating board here. <laughs> I keep forgetting to come and actually fix it. Yeah, but yeah, it's a really nice look. Really nice look. Yeah, I guess she... I don't know, I didn't know that... I don't know that I knew that Olive was by, but there we go. Olive, I didn't know it. <laughs> She's sleeping. <laughs> and you told him I love your shorts, no homo. <laughs> okay, we're, we're playing... we're playing cards here. What else does she want? Slow dance with Daniel? Back rub. We really just need to get a woohoo going here. Let's do a makeout. I guess we. I can do a casual makeout. Just do accomplished. Help us push us along a little bit here. Okay, can you get up? I don't want you to do that. Oh, look at the crumple bottom. New Miss Crumple Bottom's got herself a new hat. I didn't know we got. Look at Miss. I didn't know the defaults did Miss Crumple Bottom's new hat. Look at her. Okay. Olive, bye. <laughs> Olive, I know what you are. <laughs> she's she's very asleep right now. I don't know if she's like hearing her name. <laughs> Miss Crumblebun looking good. Miss Fancy C. Fancy Miss C. I don't know. Hi, Sunshine Barber. Okay, these two are going at it. Slow dance, hug. Um. Oh, duh, hug is right here. Wants to be besties with Danny Boy. We'll definitely have him woohoo. I kind of wanted him to get the woohoo want. Okay. Um. Give back rub. We're just gonna do all the things. Give back rub. Flirt. A little sweet talk. Yeah, Miss Crumblebottom is. She's she's Miss Crumblebottom's a drank a drinker. A dranker. She a dranker. Chemistry, Miss Crumblebottom. Five bolts between Kobe and Crumblebottom. Okay. Hi Gabby. <laughs> I love the song play. Uh oh, they want to make out again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can't actually make out yet. Do a dance kiss. <laughs> How is everyone? I'm doing pretty good today. I will be lurking. Okay, I appreciate the lurking. I'll miss Crumple Bottom, and I hope you're doing well. Um, I'll miss Crumple Bottom does this drink constantly. Yeah, she does. She's a dranker. Hi, Atlas. How are you? Uh, my Crumple Bottom has never once attacked a sim for public displays of affection. All she does is drink and knit. That's funny. Mine does it quite a bit. Like, she does it quite a bit. Oh my god, the lightning. Trying to get a 
Why don't we just try a casual woohoo with our boy here? I'm sure he would be more than eager. Ooh, I'm spinning. My camera's spinning. Mine has never had this unsay really charlatan sing to her. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Atlas. Go with the music play. <laughs> oh. oh. You can see my mosaic is working well. <laughs> Ye happy. Ye happy. <laughs> thank you very much, Atlas. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the resub. Get to enjoy your your uh, emotes. Yeah, the emote confetti. Oh, we got a little cutscene. Oh my! Wait. It's funny. My Crumple Bottom and Charlatan are they're like constantly going at each other. Like I wish there was more, but it's almost boring now because they're just constantly like serenading to each other. It's like do more, <laughs> do more. Evil witches here, yeah. She, I don't like the witches showing up on the lots. I know there's like ways to stop it, but I always forget. Joy Desperate is going through a phase, apparently. What are you wearing, Joy? What are you wearing, Joy? I don't, I, it's, she's wearing like a kimono and sitting at the the local saloon piano. <laughs> yeah, the cutscenes are great. Cutscenes are really one of the best things. He's like looking at her. Look at him. He's like, he's hanging out in front of the... Is he trying to say goodbye? He's like waving at her. Well, they got a woohoo together, so that's fun. Uh, I want playable versions of the OTP. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I need, I need a. I don't think Miss Crumplebottom's dress is available, right? I don't know if there's. A, is there a way? Or I guess I haven't looked too much at the debug clothes for like elder females. Is there? Is Miss Crumplebottom's dress available in like debug mode for the f elder ladies? Because that would be fun. Although, you know what's, what is a little bit broken and I don't know how to handle it? Technically, Miss Crumblebottom exists, Agnes Crumblebottom exists in early Pleasant View as a younger sim. So we can play her. And it would be fun to like have the charlatan be like a townie or something that she meets. But like, does that mean I need to, in this hood, I need to ban them from all the lots, which is kind of hard to do. Oh, it's in every category. Okay. Interesting. Thank you for letting me know. I guess I haven't looked, because I always said I wish they had the outfit, but then I realized, wait, she's an elder, and I'm always thinking about how I don't see him in the regular adult, but it wouldn't be, because she's an elder. But the only thing is, I don't think they, they wouldn't walk like her. That's the downside. But it's like, it would still be her. Or maybe we need a conversion to young adult, to adult, or, or whatever. Okay, I guess we could end our date. I know she wants to have a dream date. Where did Danny go? Where did you go? Oh, you're over here. They do want to- oh, they can finally make out regularly, so why don't I have him do that? He's getting tired. It's literally 3 a.m. Her husband's probably like, I don't know where my wife is and I'm afraid to ask. But yeah, so it's like, I kind of technically shouldn't ha allow Miss Crumplebottom to be on any of these lots. Like, it kind of technically shouldn't be happening. Like, if I were to adjust... Is there a controller? Oh no, my- my- wait, why is- oh no. This lady's- look how her dress is very broken. What is happening? Um... Ban all. I'd have to do that on, like, all lots. But I don't know, she just doesn't like to leave. <laughs> Okay. Why does she have this underneath? Like, what is that part? Like, what's on the boobies? You know what that reminds- that, like, vaguely reminds me of, like... It's, like, kind of dark in here, so it's a little bit hard to see. But it's, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, that this in The Sims 1. I think that's- I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't want to zoom down because I think there's some detail on the skin. <laughs> I don't know detail on the skin. Uh, the, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I guess I'll have to look into that. Also, hi, Miss Player. Are you saying that you're interested in a Calicundian Miss Crumplebottom? That could be interesting. That could be cool. 
Because I was talking about how she exists in early Pleasant View about playing her here. Because we're this is early Strange Town that we're in right now, and we have some of um. So also, we have early Pleasant View attached. Show us the detail, you coward. <laughs> well, it, it was just her booty, and then just like whatever the hell this is. Like I don't know what this is. Like that's not like nudity. This is like. There's some sort of weird undershirt happening. Like, I don't know what that is. Is that like the texture of the clothing that's like applying wrong? You know, it's very strange. <laughs> very strange. I'll have to look into it. There was no mosaic. <laughs> this is the no mosaics that we all crave. Agnes, oh yeah, I'm intrigued. Okay, I think we'll just end a date. We didn't get a dream date. But we need to get home. It's cursed. It is cursed. Okay. There we go. We got a Danny boy baby. She wants to call up Gallagher. She wants to woohoo in bed now. We're gonna have to just lock it in and go home. We'll save that for another time. What other are there any other mans in Pleasant View that she can get with? Who else? Who's who's whose life could she ruin? What if she got with like a Morty? <laughs> we do have a Mortimer. There's Mortimer. There's Skip. To get with Skip. There, like, Skip broke. There's... Oh, Herb! <gasps> that's, that's the other thing. We haven't had Herb show up at a lot yet. I forgot Herb exists in our universe now. My beloved Herbie. <laughs> oh, no. We need a Herb. We're gonna have to go to go scout out Pleasant View for Herb. Can't believe Lilith and Angela are going to have a Strange Town step-sibling soon. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Herbal Oldie. Mr. Herbal Oldie. Oh, I just heard I heard a sound. I think Don's dad's alive. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played the hood at all yet. So whoever there would be, whatever Sims would be there at the beginning of Early Strange Town. Uh oh, is stream goofing? It looks like it's okay on my end, unless there was a hiccup that I didn't see. <clears throat> Definitely, let me know if there's something going on. Seems okay for me. Who's walking onto the lot? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Olive. <laughs> Olive said it's not okay for me. <laughs> Olive said not me. Olive. Olive. Olive's upset. <laughs> Olive's upset. Um, yeah, 14 hours. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. She was gone for a long time. Now we just kind of gotta wait here. Oh gosh, look at this girlie's... This girlie's makeup always startles me. That's rough. Somebody did her dirty. <laughs> Someone did her dirty. <laughs> say what you want to say, Olive. Olive's being silenced. I'm silencing Olive. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm going to have to fast forward. Everybody who we can kind of play is at work, and then the nanny's just taking care of the kids. Uh, Cersei hits the crowded downtown streets and immerses herself in a steady flow of banker types. I think we've done this one before. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I forget. I'm just gonna ignore. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, th that makeup was was uh, professional. Oh, Xanthos has been promoted to President Level 8. Which, like, his whole storyline, which I don't know if I explained it well earlier, his whole storyline is that he doesn't really want to be in the business career. He wishes that he could just make flower arrangements all day. Poor good at makeup artist only does white people. I think you're right. It's terrible. That's terrible, but I think it's what happened. Why did he look? He looked like he was upset. He also had a thing with Glaive. Him and Glaive started like a little secret relationship. He wants to go on a date and make out with Glaive. Which is interesting. We might have to, we might have to have that going on. 
Because I think he had a... Did he have a baby with Glade? Yeah, Briary Rose. <laughs> Briary Rose Curious is his baby with Glabe Curious. <laughs> he has he has a secret baby somewhere else. This is, this sounds messy. This is why we need Pleasant View because we're everybody's friendly trees are connected. <laughs> we need we need help. <laughs> we need help. Um so yeah, he's going to have to go on a little date with her, which I don't know how Grania I feel like Grania is the type that like like it's okay for her to fool around, but as soon as her husband does it, like she gets protective of him or something. Like like she's one of those like like it's very double standard sort of thing almost. I feel like she would be upset. Okay, what but I do think he should take care of this child. Can you hold Iris? What is wrong with Iris? She's very upset. Okay, I don't know if the make smart worked for her. One sec. I'm actually going to have her make me smart. Um, do we have a potty? I don't know if we have a potty. Maybe we'll put one down here, too. We'll have a few. Just to try and do something. Or maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should have them all upstairs so that the kids can reach them. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll put it here. That seems like a good spot. So did the make smart work? Oh wait, she didn't do it yet. She didn't do it. Um, this is the... If you're talking about this mod that I clicked here, um, this is called the FF, FFS Lot Debugger. I think it's also sometimes called the, the Bat Box, if I'm not mistaken. This is the one that makes it look like a little thing of flowers. Usually it's like a big ugly box. box. Yeah, it the the make smart or make stupid is like what they call it. It's essentially it's the effect that happens when you give the baby the that um that special bottle that they can have that makes them learn things really quick. I forget what it's called, but it's like a reward object. <clears throat> See picking her up. Oh, he's putting her in the crib. I'd actually like to potty train her. I might cheat her energy just a little so we can do some potty training. But yeah. Yeah, I only recently started actually using that part of it. Hi, Barty. How are you? How are you? Our nanny is struggling. Why, she, why can't she not get this baby out? Like, what's happening? Do I need to reset the baby? Is it because of it being... There we go. There we go. We're potty training the beast. Our little beast, beast number, beast, I forget who was born, I think Percy's was born first. So beast number one and beast number two, and beast number three. I feel like he's more likely to take care of them, which is funny because it's like, what do you think he, I mean, he must know that these are not his children. <laughs> like he must be able to look at these kids and go, none of these are my children, except that actually this one actually is. But like, <laughs> why are there, le the leaves have to do with the fall. It's fall time right now, so it's interesting because in, in fall time, um, oh, Cersei's got one, just one day at 6 p.m. She's going to have to go off to college soon, right? Does she want to go to college? I think, should Cersei go to college if she, even if she doesn't want to? Hi, Laura, how are you? I don't know if she should go to college or not. She doesn't want to. But, um, yeah, the leaves, so fall time in The Sims 2, they they gain skills faster, so it shows little leaves on the skill point. A dose of olive oil, yeah, did it show up? Oh, the baby with her feet up in the air. Oh, we got a re-roll. Let's see. Okay, just homework. Hmm, you're not going to go sleep in this random bed. That's not going to happen. Oh, the baby just grew up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, he's got a red grow up and he's he's like having a scr he's screaming. This is his age up. <laughs> this is his age up. <laughs> and the nanny's about to pee herself in the background. <laughs> I like that he kept his little hat. Oh 
Oh no, I feel bad for poor Percy's. I think Percy needs to be adopted by by Vincrum. <laughs> He's an angry old man boy. Why his leggy do that? Why his leggy do that? We're gonna have him. Let's see what's in our cat. Like if we have anything good already in our inventory, we might have something. All right. Oh, he can have his same little shirt he had. <laughs> He got his same little look. He's like a little old man, but not. He's a little old man boy. Yeah, he's an angry little old man boy. He's just an ang. It's 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 an angry family. Here we go. I love him. He's great. I don't. This nanny is struggling. I don't know what to do. Okay, so we got to get another bed in here, so we can. Um, I guess I'll leave these for now because eventually this baby's gonna age up and be here, and then I can delete that. Let's just plop another bed in here. Um, let's just get rid of this. I have to do move objects on. There you go. Two of them fit pretty good in there. Eventually I might have to do the, um, the bunk beds. The uh, bunk beds. <laughs> just an angie family. I think Grania would force her. Interesting. That's true. Maybe her parents both would force her. Also, yeah, what was her... I saw the message. What was her lifetime wishes to become a criminal mastermind? <laughs> Level 10. At least right now. It might change over time. She wants to be a criminal. Would she, would, maybe her parents are forced... Maybe her parents don't know she wants to be a criminal and they don't know she works as the criminal career. Um. Okay. I wasn't sure what... Uh. I agree. It's all about how it looks. Oh, I see. Yeah, as far as them being forced. I Yes, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I think that that would work because they, they could they could push her into it. I don't know who else is going to be in college. This I don't remember if anybody else joined the college. She might be by herself with some townies or something. We'll see. But yeah, no, we could. I could. I think she'll go. I think maybe tomorrow morning we'll have her go. What's her? What's is she have? She has an A. And she's level three. I think she'll have some good... Um, oh, sorry. There was a stupid ad that showed up. I didn't even see it coming. Um, that's true. Loki's a similar age, so he might go. He might go. But... Oh, that's true. He could... He could um, Loki will probably end up going with her. Yeah, so maybe tomorrow we'll have her check her scholarships and then go off to go off to the school. Oh, the curious boys. We already played. Actually, you're right. I forgot. I think Pascal is waiting in the bin right now. Pascal is in. Pascal is in. I think the college bin right now. We got Pascal, and then probably Loki will, and then eventually. Um, who is this? Oh, it's Percy's. <laughs> Percy's got a little. Look at Percy's little nightgown. <laughs> Percy's got a little nightgown. You can use a different bathroom, sir. Come use this. Where are you going, bud? You gotta go. Okay, you're going to sleep in the proper world. That's good. Oh, there is homework here. Not gonna really matter. Oh, he wants he wants a kitty. Uh oh, he has learned to walk locked in. Let's do let's lock in make a friend. Who's his friend gonna be? Who can he make friends with in town? Maybe all of the Nigmos kids. <laughs> he knows this. He knows the, the the zombie guy. He didn't really know any kids right now. Let's see. I'm going to save. Grania's still not home. I didn't realize Grania was gone that long. I didn't realize Grania was gone for like... <laughs> she's, she's got eight more hours. I guess just all of the night. That makes sense. But still, it's like, what the heck? Oh, he also. She also still wanted to sneak out with Loki, but she's not going to get to. Uh, maybe I'll just unlock that. Unfortunately, she never got the chance. She's got to go to. She's not going to have the time. I guess she could. Well, you know what? We could try one last time. Maybe we'll have her get up. She's got a little bit of energy. Well, actually, it's not time yet. Oops. <laughs> we will though. We'll, we'll maybe we'll have her tonight. One last time tonight. She'll go. She'll go out. He's having a good time in here. How about you come out here and make some of your beloved flower arrangements? 
I think he, he should run a flower. Oh no, the pink flashing. Why is there pink flashing? Maybe because I went to so many lots. Oh no. Oh no, Cersei. Cersei, no. <laughs> Cersei, no. R.I.P. R.I.P. to that newspaper. Maybe I can go out to the neighborhood and reload it. Let me let me save really quick. We save. That's called pink flashing. <laughs> it's a, it's like a texture memory thing, which apparently something's goofing. I'm gonna go out to the neighborhood and just reload the lot and see if it just refreshes a little bit. Also, welcome back from the ads if you were stuck behind the ads. Oh boy, <laughs> the pink, the pink. We have, we have, we must leave when the pink is here. We must leave if the pink is here. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I said up to you. <laughs> Thank you for the oof. Thank you for the oof. There we go. We've returned. We've returned. Okay, we're gonna try. We have to wait till I think it's like ten or eleven before we can we can sneak out. Um, yeah, sorry. Yeah, just the pink soup. We had to reload because of pink soup and everybody. Um, everybody going to sleep. That's really all that happened behind the ad. I try to make sure whenever the ad's rolling not to do anything like really important. Um, I think we decided that Cersei is gonna go to college, but why are you trying to hold the baby? Leave the baby alone. Um, I'm gonna try and have her sneak out with Loki one last time. Maybe I'll let her do her homework, even though it's not gonna count. It's like, not gonna matter. <laughs> yeah, Pink Soup newspaper. That's, that's the, the summary. <laughs> that's the summary. Okay, this girl, I love her little dress. Okay, you're sleeping. Grania has still not returned home yet. I assume me leaving the lot while she's gone isn't going to, like, be an issue. I assume. I, ch I don't know why I said yes to save the lot. We just came in. That was silly, but that's all right. There you go. This one's actually yours. Apollo and Cersei are the only ones that belong to Xanthos. <laughs> but he just takes care of them all anyway. He takes care of them all anyway. The phone is ringing. Um, I guess you could answer it up here. Oh, oh no, Cersei's getting it. Okay, never mind. Is Percy's? Uh oh, <laughs> Vidgrim is calling for Percy's, and Percy's is sleeping. Vidgrim's like, "Hi, I'm your real daddy." <laughs> Vidgrim's like, "Hi, you don't know me, but um, I'm your dad. <laughs> Congratulations on your birthday, kid. Um, you're not gonna hear from me at all, but I will send you a check occasionally." Have a good life. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, she's gonna brush her teeth. Why didn't you do it in your bathroom over here? Almost time for her to be able to call, I'm pretty sure. We can do a prank call. Maybe we should do some prank calls as Cersei, because she's mean, so she can do prank calls. I'm gonna do a sneak out. Now that it's 10 p.m., we can sneak out. That'll be good. We can try to sneak out with Loki. Last time we tried to sneak out with Loki, um, the mom caught us, and we weren't able to. I don't know. I don't know who, like, Cersei has to pair up with. That's what we were, we were talking about that last time. <laughs> Sims 2 and absentee fathers, like peas and carrots. <laughs> like peas and carrots. <laughs> yeah, that's true. At least Vidkrim kind of takes care for his... Yeah, he technically kind of... He provides shelter and food for AJ. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's, that's the length he'll, he'll, he's willing to go to. Where's our, where's our Sir Loki? Here he is. What if Loki's like, your mom caught us last time. Why would I want to do that again? Okay, he's showing up. I don't know if Loki's hair is going to change. I don't know who he's going to show up in. <laughs> it might change. 
I'm gonna wait. You gotta make sure you get into your clothing, though. I think you, I'd rather you change into every day. Okay, then you can play. Um, are you from USA? I am. I am, in fact, from the U.S. of A. <laughs> the U.S. of A. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll have her do this. Hopefully, she watch her. Watch her mom show up right now. I don't think she will. It's uh, Grania will show up at like three a.m. That's when she left the other lot. Um, but it'd be funny if if she uh, shows up right as as Cersei's trying to leave again and stops them again. But yeah, also I don't know who's like a good pairing for Cersei. We were talking about possibilities of like who who could who could be paired up with Cersei. I had a weird glitch yesterday. I had two sim teens who were dating, but one aged up to adult before him. But he got a call from her saying that she had a great time on their last date. Does she want to go out again, even though he's still a teen? And I have no teen adult romance. That's strange. They were dating. That's so weird. That's kind of creepy that she still... Yeah, that's weird that she still sent through... Something still flagged that. It was like that was... It was almost like the... It was already in the queue of things that were about to happen or something. I just panicked and said, no, yeah. <laughs> like, maybe... Yeah, it was almost like it was it was supposed to happen anyway, and then but it didn't fully get canceled like it was supposed to or something. I don't know. That's so strange. They were waiting for our man's waiting for our main man Loki. Oh, here he is. Oh God, what did he get for hair? He's got a hat hair. <laughs> What'd you get for hair, buddy? Okay, bud. I don't think that's quite your hair style. I don't think that's quite your hair. I like the hair, the crochet hat. It's an afro hair with a crochet hat on it. But I don't think that's quite Loki's look. <laughs> Pink soup and purple newspapers, yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, right, this is his disguise. <laughs> this is his disguise. <laughs> yeah, maybe the come downtown with me call just gets forced through somehow. Yeah, it's weird. That's strange. Okay, it's success. Finally. And she's off. <gasps> she has the one to go to college now. Okay. Okay, there it is. So she's gonna she's gonna go to college in the morning. Alright, where are you? You're are you managing the children? Why are you bothering the baby? Just go to sleep. Come in here and sleep. The baby's sleeping. You can sleep. It's fine. Everything's fine. Well, Percy's is doing his thing. It's all good. <laughs> I can hear salsa music playing from a distance. Where's the salsa music? Oh, it's out here. I was like, I can hear a distant salsa music playing. <laughs> Just salsa music emanating through the through the, the cavern, the canyon of, of Strange Town. <laughs> Who knows where it's coming from? That happens to me sometimes where um sneaking out helps Cersei make up her mind. Yeah, maybe Loki. Maybe her and Loki had a conversation. Also, welcome back, Danny. Maybe Cersei and her, him had like a conversation, like a pact. He's like, my parents are gonna make me go to college. Can you please be there too? <laughs> Can you go with me? Are you going to go to what college are you going to go to? <laughs> Have you made up your mind? <laughs> she decided to go. That'd be fun. That, I think that's what happened. No, but that happens here sometimes because like we're on the edge of like a big valley. And on the other side of the valley, there's a big church. And sometimes the church plays like really loud piano, like church music or like I guess it's more like organ music. And it just like floats across. So like you'll just be like outside. And you just hear this like ominous church music coming from the trees. <laughs> and you have no idea where it's coming from. And then I remember it's from the church across the way. <laughs> but it's just like kind of creepy. But, like I kind of love how creepy it is. You know? Okay, she's back. She's returned. Oh, now she wants to woohoo in a hot tub. You know what? That's more fun than the bed. We'll lock that in. Okay, she's coming home. She's she's day drink. She's, she's home at 5 a.m. having some more drinks. 
She came home from a long night out. She's woohoo. She had two dates. <laughs> she had a date with Glarn and a date with Daniel Pleasant. And now she's here drinking. How about you go to sleep? You want to crawl into bed next to your husband who's been worrying sick about you? <laughs> yeah, saint music from the forest. Faint saint music? Faint music for the forest, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Like, in a fun way. <laughs> fun creepy. Maybe, yeah, that's true. Maybe her and Loki are going to go into work together, even though they're not going to be like a couple, because in this hood, Cersei ended up randomizing as gay. So, like, that wouldn't work out. And I think, I think Loki's straight anyway, but like, um, so like they could be best buddies, but I don't think they're, they're going to be a couple <laughs> unless by some, for some reason, ACR goofs with them. <laughs> we talk about, we could talk about Percy's. I think I need to take a picture of Percy in his little gown, his little nightgown. Here he is. This is the thumbnail. There you go. He's so angy. He angy boy. Are you okay? Let me turn up the sound a little bit. He's so sad. Uh, hi there. I don't know exactly how to say your name. Po post post a brio i might have said that very wrong but welcome in and hello he is he's i don't know this poor kid he needs an aspiration boost look at him dancing okay now he's just vibing <laughs> now he's just vibing <laughs> look at him <laughs> hi thicky bunny how are you doing how was you <laughs> thank you for the alert cursive <laughs> i love the kids dancing <laughs> that's funny uh, wasn't Cersei st originally straight until she was re-randomized so that she can be with Lila? I don't think... I don't I don't recall exactly, but I don't think I would have randomized her to be with Lila specifically. But I think it did happen at one point. I don't recall exactly. I mean, I don't know how she started the game, but I always randomize them anyway, usually. Um, the baby is upset. Who is here? Okay, he doesn't have to work today. He did get a big promotion. She's sleeping, so... Okay, he's feeding this one. He's gonna have to change... We need him to come up and just put the baby back. Apollo's... Change Iris. He's gonna have to just try to take care of some babies here. He definitely should go on a little date. He's gonna sneak out on a date with Glaive at some point. It's just child demands a kitten. Yeah, that's true. Does this household need a cat? We could get a cat. I think the adults have to call. Why don't we let's walk in and get a kitten? He needs a he just needs a cat. <laughs> He's just he just needs a cat. I'm doing okay. Hope y'all are doing good. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I, I was saying earlier, I have like a weird mouth sore. I have a sore gum, and I'm like, it's like annoying when I talk. So we'll see. I don't know how long I'll stream. I'll probably be okay to be like four hours or so. But hi Kara, how are you? Her do and a fluffy Persian cat? Ooh. Imagine having to wake up in the morning not having a kitten and still having to go about your day. I don't blame him for this anger. <laughs> you know what? This is the continuation of, of Sam hates things stream. <laughs> I'm also this is see, this is my this is my toxic trait is I'm not a cat fan. Cats are okay. <laughs> I'm a dog person, so <laughs> Yeah, I'm just bad. I'm just a bad person overall. <laughs> I'm just a fun fact. I'm actually a bad person. I'm actually terrible. <laughs> I'm actually horrific. <laughs> Cats always betray me. I used to like. We had a cat named Rocky, who was cool. He was a stray that um we caught. Yeah. Cer Cersei just running through. <laughs> Cersei just running by. Also, Marilena, what what is your oh. oh. Okay, there's a lot happening in the front yard right now. <laughs> oh yeah, we used to have a kitty named... Um, also, I don't know who we got this this rose from exactly. I think, I don't remember if it... I don't know if it's Glarn or Daniel. Probably Daniel. But yeah, we had a cat named Rocky who had one... He had three legs. He was missing a leg. He was really cool. Um, but he unfortunately died. Uh, he was a little old man. He was a little old man. 
So, but uh, he was cool. I liked him, but I'm just not like, I feel like maybe one day if I were to like decide, I, I, if I picked out a cat myself and like decided I wanted a cat, like I could, I could see myself getting into cats, but I just like, I have Olive, you know, and I'm just like obsessed with her. So that's why I'm just like, eh, nothing's equal to Olive. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why. We, I used to have a cat. I, we had used, we used to have two kittens when I was younger that were really cool. They both were barn cats, and it was funny because the, um, the, what had happened was apparently somebody, somebody near the barn, somebody who lived, like, in proximity to the farm, they had a cat that was, like, a, a bobtail cat, like, one of those genetic bobtail cats, uh, or, I don't know what they're, pro like, a, like, a Japanese bobtail tail or bobcat or whatever they're called like those style I think there's a couple different breeds that can be bobtailed um and all of a sudden all of the kittens at the farm started being born being born with bobtails <laughs> and so there was just like a whole generation of cats with like no tail or really short tails because like when a, when a cat's born genetically with a bobtail it can be different lengths there's like a three quarter and then like a half and then like a little nub and so I ended up we ended up when I was, it was, it was, this was when I was pretty young. We had two cats that one had uh, a quarter tail and one had a little no tail, which was kind of fun. I liked them. They were cool. Okay, I hear a baby screaming in the distance. Um, I watched my mom's dog for a few months this year and we bonded and now... <laughs> Now, people keep asking if I will get my own dog, but I'm like, no, because I want that specific dog. Yes, that's, I can see that. That's, that's hard. Okay, can we... Go change Apollo's diaper. Go take care of Apollo's diaper, and then you can come and eat. Where is you? Okay, you're up here. We don't need an alien pregnant Branya. I'm going to be honest. How about you come down and eat some burnt... Pancakes. We need some burn pancakes. I have no knowledge, no idea what is going on in this house, but the blonde one and the angry child are serving. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that message earlier. You're, you know what? That's you, you've picked up the right vibe here. This is Grania. She's the mother of the house. She um, is a romance sim and is constantly cheating on her husband with many different people. Um, most of the kids, uh, uh, well, not I say half. Half of the kids here are from different men. These two kids, um, Cersei and Apollo, are from her husband. But then these two are from two different men in town. Uh, Vidkrim, who has a bunch of other kids. And then Iris is from a random townie named Gallagher. So she's she ended up with some kids from different guys. Um, and she's got a bunch of different lovers. I think if I do this, we can see all her hearts here. She's Her lifetime wishes to be in love with 20 different sims, which... She's actually not yet in love with Daniel, so we'll have to maybe work on that so she has another lover. We've got to try and keep up with them. She also has some bolts with Francis J. Worthington. Oh yeah, and Gunner Rogue. Interesting. She's got such, we got to find her some more some more lovers. Ooh, what about the Vampire Man? I like the Vampire Man. But yeah, that's her. The dad is kind of he's a little bit of a troubled figure. He kind of wants to. He's he's a he's he's been sort of forced into the business career since he was young, but he actually just wants to like make flower arrangements his whole life. That's kind of his dream is to like run a flower shop, make lots of flower arrangements. Um, and yeah, the kids all have their own thing. Cersei's like evil and wants to to kill everybody. You know, you know. Uh, Minx cats come from the Isle of Man. Interestingly, ah, okay, that's interesting. That's what it, I forgot the name Manx cats. Uh, my cat was a has was a barn cat's kitten too. Very nice, yeah. Pretty much all of our cats have been strays or barn cats, which is like kind of barn cats are like feral, so I guess it's kind of different. But my grandparents had a cat named Mary Jane, <laughs> and she hated me for most of her life until I was old enough to start feeding her myself. That feeling of success when a cat hated you finally gets comfortable around you. That's funny. <laughs> that's that's neat though. She has three, three bolts with literally everyone. Yeah, she's, she's just a man-eater. She is. She really is. Um. Okay, he's gonna go to the bathroom. This baby is miserable. Can we help this child? Does she know how to use the bathroom, though? 
Percy's grow up badly. I feel bad. All these children are going to grow up really badly. Can we, just, can we just hold Iris and bring her upstairs? I know you... Like, the thing is, is Grania has an aversion to touching the children. Like, she just doesn't... She just hates the kids. I feel like she should have the trait hates children. Isn't that... That's a trait that's available to me, isn't it? Like, that we need to... She needs to... There it is, right here. Like, she needs the hates children trait if she doesn't already have it. Maybe she could get rid of hates the outdoors and instead she just hates kids. She's like, sorry, I got it wrong. It's actually the children in the outdoors. That's what I hate. Okay, can you just um, come put the kid up here for now? Okay, he's going to the bathroom. I'll have him take a shower. Um, he ate, but he's still kind of hungry. I'm going to have him try and teach her. Let me see, is she still smart? Yes, yeah, she is. Um, I'd like her to just go use a bathroom somewhere. And then, I don't know, maybe she can try and paint. She'll do some of her painting. Do a square canvas. I'd like for him, after he's done taking a shower, to help this child do something. Do something. Camping trip with the kids is her personal hell. Yes, <laughs> that's true. That's very true. I, th I could see for multiple reasons, like, that was just not... That's just not her thing at all. She's just kind of like, she wants to be like the glamorous housewife that like has a bunch of nannies that take care of the kids. Like, that's it. <laughs> Worst movie, Children in the Court. Yeah, <laughs> that's her. That's she, she just, that's a terrorizing her. That terrorizes. How does the trait work in The Sims 2? So it's a, it's a mod where it's a very big mod with lots of different parts. Um, but yeah, it just, it takes the traits from The Sims 3 and pulls them into The Sims 2. Um, there's different versions. There's a version where it's just, like, shallow. They, they, they don't actually do anything. It, you just see them in their inventory. And then there's a version where it actually does something. They actually have different effects on the Sims. Um, certain things, like, if a Sim has the swiper trait, or what was previously called, like, the klepto kleptomaniac trait, um, they have the ability to, like, uh, steal pickpocket Sims and do stuff like that. Um, some Sims that are hydrophobic might get upset when they have to take a shower or go swimming or technophobes don't want to watch tv stuff like that just like they would in the sims 3 it affects them the same way in the sims 2 um so it's pretty cool yeah it's a big um a big download i think it's called the sims 2 traits project if you were to want to look it up to to download it i don't quite remember who the the creator is right now i forgot their name um but yeah, it's a very big... And there's a lot of other people who've uh, contributed it to, it to it as well. We're having a, a little bit of a clipping issue with this custom custom dealio. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Actually, you know what? I think I have it... So I do have a, I have a website with all my links. Defaults. Um, uh, on that link that popped up there, I somewhere on... Some of the pages available from there, I think I have it linked, I think, somewhere. If you have the Encourage Time Pack in your game, that affects the Dislike Kids trait, where they have less effect with encouraging kids. Ah, that's interesting. That seems like a very little minor thing, but it also is, is kind of cool. Okay, is he... Okay, you're just taking care of this beast. Oh no, Cersei... Did Cersei... Where did Cersei go? Oh no! I forgot that she, she went off to school. She needs to... Crap. I wonder how long? Oh God, she's gonna she's gonna age up as soon as she gets home. Oh no, Cersei! I'm gonna like queue up call call college. <laughs> I gotta queue up call college. I completely forgot about her. I feel bad. That's true. That's true. If I went to if I went to the college world, I could drop her in there. But I think if I queue, if I have it queued up, will she immediately go to the phone? I can always age her down too. Um, or I could be a cheater. I could do this here. Watch. I can also do this. Is that is that that's Bjorn Beaker? That's Loki's dad. Oh, hi, hi, girl. Sorry, I uh, yeeted you here. Um, come here. 
college, because I also want to make sure she gets her scholarships. I don't remember if we already checked for scholarships. I do find that all of my Sims of the Couple of Trade always pickpocket all Sims on the lot that they are on, and then they greet them afterwards. That's funny. Like, hi? Oh, no, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Yeah, teleportation powers for Cersei. Apply for scholarships. She should get a couple. I think she already has. Okay, congratu congratulations, Cersei. You qualify for the Quigley Visual Arts Stipend. If you maintain... The okay, so good creativity skill. She got 750 for that. She's at the top of her career. And... Oh, that was it? Oh, wait. I think she already... Wait, call college. Let's try this again. Sir, are you just... What are you doing with your life? Explain me that. Go put the baby away. Review. Let's review. I think she got a few already. Yeah, okay. <laughs> She's got so many. Cersei's got so many. Honestly, that seems on brand for Cersei. She's like a genius. She got um, the Scholar's Grant for having an A-plus in school. Will Wright Genius Grant, 750. The Young Entrepreneur's Award, 750. The Quigley Visual Arts Stipend, 750. <laughs> she got a bunch. She got a whole bunch of scholarships. So we're gonna have her go to college. I'm just gonna have her leave now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, move to college. So yeah, so her and Pascal will be there. I don't know if there's any, like, townies we should. Also, I don't know when, because we're gonna, once we finish the Strange Town families, we are gonna continue playing Pleasant View families. But I don't know who over there could be close to college. Yes, we're gonna go to college. Which, that's always rare, where with like these uber hoods, that's always where like the, the the intermingling really starts is when all the college kids from different towns are together. So that's fun. Percy's is the only one that cares. Percy's is the only one that's... The, oh no, actually, the dad's coming out. They're saluting. They're saluting air. No, they're actually... It's because of the sun. Did he call... Also... Aren't you supposed to be at Did you just come home from school or something? Okay. Let's see. He wants a, a cat. We can buy him a kitten. Um, yeah, I do have early Pleasant View. I only just barely added it like a couple of weeks ago. A few weeks ago, I think. Thank you for the lurk, Alice. Alex Morris. Sorry. <laughs> I was in your name wrong. Alex Morris. Thank you. But yeah, I added it like a couple weeks ago. We haven't played it at all yet. We've run into a few Sims. I haven't actually played them, played them yet. I can see Cersei getting all these scholarships and not go to college just out of spite. That's true. <laughs> or she just take the money and use it for something else. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm hoping it'll add a little bit more interest to the town as we get going here. Call, um, service. He's like, you know what? I feel bad that this, this child is not mine, but we're pretending he's mine. I'm not an idiot. I know that this is not my child. However, I feel bad for him. Let's buy him a cat. <laughs> let's, let's buy him a, a cat. Okay, so Cersei's in collage. I know I, I think I spawned some new kitties. Okay, so we don't have any kittens. Maybe we should, you know what we're going to do? We're going to spawn a new cat. Maybe she'll flunk out. That's true. That's true. She might flunk out. Especially with young Don Lothario. I'm excited. I'm excited to play Early Pleasant View. I can't wait to get there. How many... Let me pull up my um, tracker sheet here. How many... How many households are we at? I haven't made, like, a tracker sheet for... For, um... Early... Early Pleasant View yet. So yeah, we're, we only have, so we're on the Salome, so we just have the Lost and the Beakers. We have two households until we get to, to start playing, because we're not going to play University. We're going to, I guess, maybe I'll just like have a little line here and say, you know, like Pleasant View, and then start it. So we've got a couple households to go. Got a couple to go. Um, at this point, he is the orphanage caretaker. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm gonna use the cat, baby cat, make pet maker, whatever it's called. Just stick it out here somewhere. I'm gonna delete it afterwards. I forgot Cersei has a little training zone out here. I forgot about Cersei's little office out here. I completely forgot it existed. 
I'm so distracted with all the children's. Create kitten. Okay, who's the who's parent one? There's some cuties here. We got lots of lots of black cats. I like this little look at little oh wait, Beetlejuice. Bobo. Look at Bobo. Brandy. Maybe we should do two long haired kitties. I really like Bailey. Look at Bailey's little face. Rodin is also good. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might try one of these guys. And then Miso's cute. Rose is a little fluffy one. We said that he should have like a little fluffy Persian. Yeah, the one black cat someone's familiar. I did see that. Who? Oh, Doom Paws. Doom Doom Paws. That's Olive's familiar. But yeah, so uh Lanika's familiar. Interesting. Mips is also cute. I think I might do this little fluffy white cat. We'll see what kind of baby. Hopefully we'll get a fluffy baby. Okay, we got a girly. Oh, she looks like she's cute. What are we going to name? What do we name the girly kitten? Dina and Nina meeting aliens in Strange Town and learning about their alien genetics. That's fun. That's cool. Trying to trying to learn their their family culture. <laughs> the aliens. <laughs> girly pop? I like girly pop. What would Okay, so this is Percy's kid. Kitten. Kid. <laughs> kitten. So this this kitten's going to belong to Percy's. Artemis is cute. That's true. That Artemis follows along with the theme of the household. That could be fun. I like that for Percy's to have Artemis. Artie, hello Artemis, little Artie. Oh my God! Look at the baby. It's got like one little stripy leg, the one little stripy leg and a little face. What's the the rest of it is all white. I like it. I like it. Okay, that made him happy. Look, he's happy now. He's happy. Hi, Dreamy. I gotta hear the voice say that. <laughs> the TTS. <laughs> How long do you stream? I usually stream for anywhere from like four or five hours-ish. We're at about two hours Hi, right now. Hi, bitches. <laughs> Hi, bitches. <laughs> Hello, Dreamy. Hello, hello. Finally, the child is happy. <laughs> Finally. I'm gonna just be a cheater and pick him up and drag him inside. Or her. Here you go, Artemis. Congratulations. Um, Should the kitty be upstairs or downstairs? I guess maybe downstairs is better. There's more hardwood downstairs. You know? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight. He, he, he sounded pretty good when he said that. <laughs> I love the new sub snowing icons. Yes, that's very neat. I like how how that works too. I don't get to see it unfortunately, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sure y'all enjoy. It. I wish I saw it. That'd be fun. Uh, I can't listen to the sound right now, but things have gone to shit. So you'll be hearing about that during tomorrow's stream. Oh boy, we're gonna get we're gonna get a a dreamy, um, <laughs> a dreamy unloading. Also, hello, Fox Glove. Og guts. I regret cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that I I I appreciate the um every time you come in it's like a we have to decode what's going on. Um and I, I assume you ate some cheese and your stomach is disagreeing. <laughs> Unloading, I should call him. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> okay. We gotta we gotta let's get the baby a little heart shaped bowl. A little heart-shaped bowl in front of the fireplace. A little little toy, a little toy mouse. What are the colors of the toy mouse? And then one of these guys. We'll put it out here somewhere, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh no! I can sympathize. Empathize. With everything going to shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that everything's going to shit. Long story short, I put my two wings in at my job yesterday, and my boss told me the day that I that today will be my last day. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I had pesto. I don't know how exactly how to say that, <laughs> but that it was so good. Interesting. I do like a good pesto. I do like a good pesto. 
Oh yeah, I should check if they're finicky. You're right. Thank you for the reminder. I'm deciding where I want to put the bed. I feel like I want this little bed. I'll just stuff it in here. Or maybe on this side. I'm going to have him hiding out here. I don't know. The routing might be goofed. Maybe we'll temporarily... We'll just get rid of one of these for now. We'll have the cat bed in here. Let me turn on quarter tile. Do like this dark color, or mm, I guess I'll just do that. No butt spot. I'm gonna delete the butt spot message if I can. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me. <laughs> well, let me delete the butt spot message. I don't. I don't know why it. See if I can. Okay, thank you, daydreamer. <laughs> why doesn't it let me from this view? That's so weird. Thank you, Daydreamer. I appreciate it. I hate it when Butt Spot has to butt in at the worst spot. Oof. Oof. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. I just saw, oh boy, five times in the captions. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just gonna keep saying it. I'm just gonna say it to annoy you because Dreamy's going by captions because they can't hear us. Oh boy. <laughs> Like, so good, it should come with a warning. So good, my reaction bordered on... <laughs> oh, no. So good, I don't feel bad about spending 10 bucks on a hipster sandwich. So good, I don't regret getting a second 10 buck hipster sandwich. <laughs> That's yummy, but oh my god, my god. That's funny. Oh, no. I could go for a good sandwich. I do love a good sandwich. Like, it... I can, I can appreciate a good sandwich. Okay, I need like a little scratcher post or something for the cat. Maybe that's what also can go in this room. I don't know. Is this going to turn into the cat room? Like, maybe I'll just get rid of this too and we'll put a big cat tree in here. Look, I got this one I never use. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. I don't know if I like how it looks. Like, it doesn't look like it fits in this game. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Maybe I can get this other fancy one. This one's got like a bunch of cool colors. I love this orange, but I don't think it fits this room. <laughs> God, I want another hipster sandwich. <laughs> Your guts are begging no. Your guts are begging no. Let me get the brown. Let me get the fancy brown. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. We'll stick that in here. This cat's spoiled. I feel like this cat's spoiled. Cat living better than the kids. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I like that the the um <laughs> the bit badge has gone through. So now you have a clown next to your name, Comey. I didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> now you have the clown face next to your name. The Ariana Grande cat tower. Ariana Grande's cat tower. Ariana, what are you doing here? The cat is gonna jump out the window. Wait, was that window open? <gasps> Wait, <laughs> the window's open. I'm leaving it. I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice it was the open window. <laughs> Oops. It's okay. All right, I just need to check if she's finicky. Where are your things? Uh, no, she's a pig pen. Okay. All is good. I'm gonna fill bowl. We're gonna play with the cat. Nuggle. Uh-oh, I can't tell you how many times my neighbor's cat jumped off their balcony. Oof. Oof. That's That sounds scary. The cat has to have an escape plan if Cersei comes back. Yeah, I know. This household is probably much cal calmer without Cersei around. Uh, why is he doing that? Why is that, Why is that the way that we're holding the cat? Interesting. Look at this. I love his little dapper outfit. <laughs> Not him practicing kissing on the cat. What? Why is that the cat? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> that doesn't seem correct. <laughs> why does that? Why is he like holding it? <laughs> holding the nut like a nut. <laughs> why? That's funny. I think that something's broken. <laughs> like he's afraid to touch it. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holding the kitchen like a flamethrower. Uh oh, I oh, try to use all up their lies. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's uh toasted with homemade pesto goat cheese, cherry tomatoes, drizzle of oil. Oh my gosh. That sounds yummy. I feel like I would definitely eat that. Oh my god, he's just going. Yeah, something he's not his arms aren't working right. He's <laughs> What's he doing to the cat? <laughs> Good question. It's a weird way of holding. Like my dad who never had a cat in his life tried to hold a cat for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. All right. Well, he's doing a he's having a fun time with the cat apparently. I don't know. This poor cat. I mean, the cat looks like she's enjoying it. Oh, wee hee. Wee hee. When your arms don't work like they used to before. <laughs> when your arms not work like they used to be before nut. <laughs> before nut. Before nut. Oh wait, the baby just aged up. Oh no. Oops. You see this little gremlin? Where is he? Okay, he's like he looks like a, a clone of his dad. No, well, is he? No, I, maybe he has his mom's nose. He's got the Cer his eyes look a lot like Cersei's, which I think are from the dad. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. We can get this going here. Um, we might be able to do more toys in here. If I make him grind out teaching them to use the potty, we can have more space for for stuff. You know? Let me look at the, like... Mm -hmm. Like this. I think that'd be good. <laughs> His face doesn't look like a toddler's, true. It's, sometimes their faces are weird. Yeah, he looks just like Xantho. <laughs> he does. Making me silence. <laughs> Cersei is a lesbian. I'm sick of pretending she she like Loki. <laughs> yes. Well, it's funny. I don't know if you know this. In this hood, she is in fact a lesbian. And doesn't... Isn't dating Loki. Do I have news for you? Yeah. <laughs> in this hood, she... We rolled her preferences and she ended up a lesbian. So... <laughs> so your dream has come true in this... 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 This, uh... Early strange town, strange view hood. <laughs> and that's on God. <laughs> yeah, it was meant to be. Okay, let's have you. Are you smart? Make me smart. Okay, you're still smart. Are you smart? Make me smart. And we're gonna potty train Iris, even though she's stinky and already went to the bathroom. I'm gonna be a cheater. Uh, oops. I'm gonna be a cheater and make her happy that I can get her t to be potty trained. She should. She already went once. When they're smart, when they're made smart, it, like, takes twice. Big W for the lesbians, yeah. <laughs> you know how to... How in the Bible, when Eve ate a fruit, God punished her with a period in childbirth. The experience I'm having is arguably worse than hers. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, God. I don't know if nut, nut being Cersei is a wind nut. <laughs> I don't know if having Cersei is a wind. Good, yeah, well, I don't know. Cersei's... Okay, she did it. Good. Even though she still stanks. Why is she still stanky? He's playing, sir. I kind of want to teach this little beast. Look, he has to go to the bathroom and he's not even... I'm having... Um, oh, not... Wait. Do this. Go here. I'm going to potty train Apollo. Who doesn't love a gay villain? True. <laughs> True. Had to go for 15 minutes or so. Didn't miss much. Um, we had the baby age up. So Cersei went off to college. Cersei left for college and she has a bunch of scholarships for having her high, high level in her job, having good skills and, and being good at school and stuff. So she got a bunch of scholarships and went off to college. Um, I think you probably, I don't know if you saw Percy's age up scholarship for being gay. <laughs> Per why are you okay this first first of all this pause is kind of great um but you're not sleeping in this bed sir and so yeah percy's percy's got a kitten we got a new kitty we got a new kitty her name is artemis and she's percy's best friend 
Um, this this little kid just ate, uh, learned to go to the bathroom. The baby aged up. That was another big one. I don't know much else other than that. <laughs> you both aged up in the cat. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're... I've used the thing that makes him smart so that... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh. That did... That's... That's not supposed to... That's not... <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to happen. <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to happen. <laughs> it's not me being a fruit and punish me with no bitches and cheese pain. <laughs> He's pooping on the floor. Now his little leggies hanging down. Are his little leggies hang oh. <laughs> His little leggies are hanging down. Look at him. Oh, oh, he's teleporting back to the potty now that he's done. Okay, some's Oh wow, he learned. That was a quick learn. Oh gosh. I hate it when it like zooms you. Oh my god, sorry. The camera's goofing. Okay, well now they can both use the potty. We don't have to worry about that. I don't know if I should have two potties so they don't fight over them. But, uh, <laughs> see. <laughs> Telepotitation. Telepotitation. What does he want to buy? A bubble blower? Electronic entertainment? Maybe he. Maybe it's his turn to go out. You know? <laughs> he learned so much about the potty. <laughs> he learned so much. He wants to ask on date and he wants to make out with Glabe. I think he's going to call up his... His new, his new lover, Glabe. I think that's what's gonna happen. Also, why did we change her diaper? She's fine. I don't... Also, I didn't know we had a bottle fridge up here. Why did I not even see this? They keep going downstairs for the bottle. Whatever. That's fine. But I'm technically working even though I should have just left on my lunch break. <laughs> what would they do? Fire me? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry that you're dealing with that, Creamy. That's so frustrating. Okay, we're gonna have Glabe. Look oh, how she pooped through 50, 40, 40 words. 40 inches of tutu skirt either. Yeah, that's the good question. Like, are all this, all Sims, are all Sims, do their pants just kind of, you know, like maybe they all have little buckle, un, like they just unbutton their little flap of their pants, you know? Because they never take them off. Until they, let's say, get in the shower. You know? I'm gonna call Glade. Community lot. Um, let's take the car. We're just going on our own. Um, let's, let's stay in Strange Town. Why don't we go... We'll just go to, like, the diner. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> They're shit ready every minute of the day. Or they just walk around with diapies. I don't know. Maybe they have like a deal with the aliens. And the aliens like teleport their poop away. Like that never really comes out. But they just act like they do. I, I don't know what the aliens are doing with it. Is Xanthos available? No. Xanthos is going on an adventure in his cool old car. Belagoth Cosmetics. <laughs> I I don't know what <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna go drive off the edge of the crater. BRB. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> he's just flying into the sky. He's flying. All right, we're gonna have a little little adventure to the diner. I feel like, I feel like maybe Percy's and or not Percy's, um, Xanthos and Glabe may end up like leaving their partners for one another. You know? There you go. Glabe has arrived. Look at little Glabe. Look at little Glabe. He wants to make out with her. Let's just go on in and make out with her. We're loading in here. It's a little choppy. A little choppy. Oh, wow. I applied to like 10 jobs and heard back from two already. Well, that's really good, at least. That's good. 
Um, did you build the community lots? No. Um, a lot of them I downloaded or they were already here. Um, there are some that I've tweaked and stuff. I've changed them a little bit, but I think most of the ones in this hood I downloaded. Is that a herb? I think is... I'm going to cry if... No, it's not Herb. I saw the outfit and I thought, it's Herb, but it's not. It's not Herb. <laughs> I was like, is it, is it the man? <laughs> is it the man himself? Sims update. Loki wants another kid. <laughs> I like how it feels like you've been playing this particular, the, the, the Beaker's household I, I, for, for an eternity. And they just have 20 kids together. <laughs> It's a shame that Hinglabe has to looks has to look like siblings that yeah, they, they do look very similar. Like the redheaded like they're both redheads and Oh well, I guess. I mean let's see. Oh they want a woohoo in the car. That could be fun. We can gossip. Low dance. I'll just have him do some stuff to get their date boosted a little. And then we can oh he wants to have, she wants to have her picture taken with him. They could have a picture taken. Wait, what was the... he's... he's... oh, I guess that was leftover from gossiping? Okay, we've got some characters here. Okay, also the charlatan's got an updated do. Look at the charlatan, I know it's dark. He got like a curly do. Charlatan's young. Charlatan's young. Also, hi, I like how you're enjoying the fresh air of the desert. Oh! Oh, <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. The way he's just... Wait, we're getting to see... A... Is this... Is this what it looks like? So, when the bat's flying, the sim is just casually walking behind it, but usually we can't see it. Is that what's actually happening? <laughs> is that what's actually happening? <laughs> I gotta go, thanks. Yeah, bye. Thank you, Morky. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good rest of your day or night. Uh, Technically, I have been playing them forever. They have too many Sims on the lot, so the game is extremely unstable and crashes frequently. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's taking his bat on a walk, apparently. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay, so he was just a walk by. Oh, okay. Well, that would have been more fun if he just worked. You know? It would have been more fun if it just kind of worked out. Yes, yeah. Um, okay. They're doing their thing. Maybe they should just eat out for a little bit. This is Mary Sue. Look at- uh, can we talk about Mary Sue? With her hair slicked back? Why is Mary Sue in Strange Town this late? Look at her. Okay, Mary Sue. Okay, Mary Sue. Let's be seated. See, my glasses are driving me nuts. I'm going to try and properly clean them while they eat. Are they playing? There we go. But yeah, I'm going to have to, maybe I'll have to ban the charlatan from this lot, too. I can just barely read things. I can't pretend like I want to work like all these corporate- yeah, that's my biggest issue. I'm not good at playing pretend. <laughs> I'm not good at playing pretend. Mary Sue boss babe, she is. She is. Oh, something's go- oh, I guess just them sitting down. What's Mary Sue sit standing near us for? Near us. The charlatan has come to Charles. Shake my head. <laughs> have to ban me and Crystal Beth from stream. Wait, why? <laughs> what did you do? I think I might know what this has to do with. What did you do? <laughs> Just eat it out for a little bit. Sorry, I'm on a juvenile mood today. Uh-oh, I missed it. <laughs> I might get banned too. Everybody get, everybody's getting banned today. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god, that's so much better. I can see. I can see things. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little Charles. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with this default hair pack. Like, it's very good. Oh, butt spot. <laughs> so far, a game has crashed. One, because Loki died. Two, because Cersei died. Three, because Loki is set on fire. Four, because the kids... <laughs> the kids got taken away. Twice. 
Five, because Loki got abducted. Six, because every single curious came to pick them up. One child. So far, the game crashed. One, because Nutty Nutky Nut. Two, nut, because Nut died. Three, because Loke Nut set Fick Nut. Four, because kids got taken away. Twice. Five, because Loki got abducted. <laughs> but Nut went up. Five, because Loki got abducted. Six, because every Sim Nut curious came up. Oh, Nut child. <laughs> <laughs> but spot F you. But spot went off. But nut went off. I can see dead sims. You can see dead sims. Oh my goodness. I'm not even paying attention to their date. I'm so distracted. Uh, let's do a toast. They want a toast. Like would, because there was some issues going on with. Glabe and Marilena. Glabe's married to Marilena. Well, Marilena. I forget her first, her original last name. Her and Marilena were married, and then, of course, Xanthos is married, but, like, both of them are unhappy. Like, what if they both... The two of them... <laughs> Six things to do, and you have to ball up. <laughs> but Spot is, like, mic drop. <laughs> yeah, but Spot's like, you like that one. <laughs> I still love the concept of but Spot being a person. I love the idea that Buttspot's secretly a real person, hiding away, just like trying their best very quickly to just <laughs> reply. Considering they're uh, less Sims than all the Smiths, I'm shocked to call these that the Beaker's household. Charlatan? What are you doing in here? He doesn't usually come in. I still feel hurt about this whole thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear about it. That sounds really obnoxious. But I, I feel like obnoxious isn't the right word. It feels really... Yeah, not fair. Sir, can I help you? Like, what are you doing here? Wait, it's Hank! Wait, look at Hank! <laughs> Mr. Hanky! It's Hank! Hank's here eating a salad! What happened to your hair, Hank? Hank's hair got changed. <laughs> All the band for a second, yeah. Beloved Hanky. Beloved Hanky Panky. Uh -huh. Hanky Nut B. <laughs> Everybody loves Hank. <laughs> Everybody loves Hank. He needs to be the new main character of his own sitcom. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the same hair as Daniel. So I don't know what hair it is that. Because he had the Gibbs hair, the default replacement of the Gibbs hair, which the default I had was just like a center part hair. Um, so I'll have to change that on him. I don't love that on him, but he can have it for now. Why am I attracted to a Sims 2 character? Sorry, the ads are showing up again. I didn't notice them. I swear it's not sh showing me when the ads are supposed to show. I'm I'm not... I guess I'm bad at the thing. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta double check some settings. Or I'll just go back to doing it manually. Okay, so these two are just like chilling. Maybe they'll go woohoo in the car. I don't think they actually ate anything either. <laughs> I don't. Did they eat anything? Did I have them order anything? I'm bad at letting my Sims eat. <laughs> I get distracted. I get distracted. Okay. Can I ask to join? We're gonna get, we're gonna get in our old-fashioned car. Oh, no, you're not getting out of the old-fashioned car. Oh, no. Oh, he's tired. That's why. Oof. He's struggling. There we go. Try it again. Let's blast like a 56-year-old sweaty guy from his mom's basement. Bring a cut-off tank top that shows his huge beer belly. Oh, no. The Vampire Lord is such a flop. I'm sorry. I don't even know. He don't even know how to fly. He's kind of struggling a little bit. Oh boy, she's. We're trying to. We got a woohoo in the car, Glade. No. Okay, I give up. Wait, am... it's not on the casual menu, is it? I thought it wasn't. It's not. Let's just woohoo in the photo booth because they just want a woohoo. Oh, well. You know what? Uh oh, not the pink. Uh-oh. I'm having some pink problems. <laughs> I'm having some pink problems. <laughs> she put on her seatbelt. She said, no, woohoo. Yeah, she's like, we gotta be safe in here. 
Oh no, that's so cursed. Did you see the way it like trailed? Oh God. Okay. So I don't know if, I think, so when I had to reinstall my game, I might have had to change some of the, some of the settings for, um, like the forced texture memory. Um, <laughs> yeah, the hands sticking out of the booth. They're having a blast. He's trying, uh oh, he's about to get, oh god. <laughs> the ad's about to end in 14 seconds. <laughs> She thinks safe with who means wearing a seat belt. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. The way the charlatan was walking, his head was down like he was sad. <laughs> he was like sad. <laughs> the T-pose arm sticking out <laughs> is, is of the curtain, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then this guy's- well, this man over here just has nothing. And she's eating- oh no, she's literally eating the pink soup! She's eating the pink soup! <laughs> she's eating the pink soup! <laughs> she's literally eating it! <laughs> and this man's just got nothing on! It was... Wow, why is his- wait, his food looks so fancy! Look how fancy his food is! <laughs> how fancy his food is! Okay. Okay. Well, I would say that that's our cue to go home. I had a nice night with, with, uh, I almost said Grania, with Glade. <laughs> the captions say pink soap. <laughs> pink soap. Pink soap. I'm gonna eat some pink soap. <laughs> I swear my eating habits are gonna cause me immense harm. Oh man, I'm sort of hungry. Maybe a kilo of legumes will make me feel better. <laughs> I'm trying to behave when it comes to the snacks. I've been too excited about the snacks lately. Oh, he got pink for a second there. <laughs> yeah, Xantho's Irish goodbye. Bye. Yeet. Yeet. How late are you streaming tonight? Um, let's see. It's like almost, it's two, two hours, 40 minutes right now. I don't know. I might go to four or five hours. Four or five hours. It'll be like 5 p.m., 6 p.m., something like that. For, if, for my time zone. Uh, when will we save? We might have to, I don't know if we're gonna have to reload the lot. Probably gonna have to if we're gonna keep playing today, obviously, so. Okay. Yeah, um. <laughs> Let me stream until 5, 5.30 or 6 so I can watch, please. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. It's funny, my jaw is not really hurting right now, so maybe, maybe actually talking and, like, moving it has helped. <laughs> I don't know. Um. I think we're gonna need a quick reload. I need some elevator music on hand <laughs> for when this happens. <laughs> for when this happens. The other thing that's happening too, because I reinstalled, like, all of my thumbnails are having to be, like, regenerated. So anything, anytime I'm, like, opening the catalog and opening anything, it's like, it's like fully re, redoing our, our, regenerating things constantly. I mean, eventually it'll not be, but. <laughs> like the womp womp. Um, gotta get that aura gel. Yeah, I was thinking about having that on hand at some point. Whistle, whistle. Okay, please. The Sims 1 soundtrack on hand. Yeah, that's true. I do have... wait. I do have some of it. <laughs> my, uh, my game got pink souped. Bed to restart it. Um... And then, uh, are you using reshade or g-shade? I use reshade. It's actually showing, I don't know if it's showing in the top corner for y'all. Yeah, it is up in the... I'm gonna... my game's having a meltdown right now. Wait for program to respond, but yeah, up in the top corner. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. <laughs> this is the elevator music, yeah. <laughs> this is the elevator music. 
Almost everything corruption related in Sims 2 turned out to be a myth, and we were gaslighting each other for years, made up facts accepted by our community without any proof. <laughs> we have been, we have been, we, we have been, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We've been lied to. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're fine, mystery. <laughs> there you go. We got our, our Sims 2 jam. I was thinking about the Sims 2, oh, Sims 1, sorry. I was thinking about the Sims 1 recently that it might be fun to play a little sims one again yeah i think being extra super over nut nutty is nut nut yeah <laughs> so glad so much was a myth though yeah but nut but that's the second time butt spot has called himself butt nut <laughs> but nut seems like they're are as many causes for pink soup as there are stars in the sky. True. <laughs> yeah, Buttspot tends to pick a singular person and picks on them in particular. I don't know why. Um, In our defense, this game was a confusing mess. True. If people were freaking out when you deleted Tombstone or a bin family, like, you're doomed. <laughs> I know. And it's like, even when technically corruption does happen like it's i feel like there's not a lot i don't i don't know that i've ever really seen some it's not like the game sets on fire in front of you right like you can just restart it's not like your game is ruined from playing at all like you could just restart a, a, a town or something which i know is stuck which like sucks but like you can probably play the town the corrupted town for a long time before you really notice it and then you can just be like, okay, I guess I'll just start a new one. And it's like, whoops, it's over now. <laughs> like, you're okay. Things I, I, I won't do, even though I know it's okay. Like, it's superstition. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, we're taking a moment to load in here. Most corruption usually happens if you end up tampering with local game files, which is also valid for any other game. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. But, yeah, I'm glad that it's a lot it's better understood now and there's so many like things out there that help with it help prevent it and are like safer and stuff and there we go like even just the clean templates and stuff <laughs> yes yeah the save reminder is a mod yes yeah it's a very good mod <laughs> april black saved me <laughs> uh i did like how her video differentiated real Different real corruption from like weird and goofy but harmless glitches. Ah. That's that's interesting. Yeah, because like the one that everybody freaks out about sometimes is like where it it accidentally just like shows you the wrong picture in like their little bubble and it's like squished and like looks all spooky. <laughs> People hate that one. But that just it's just like a visual glitch, I think. That one. Let me complete all the there we go. Okay. Back to business here. Grania's here. Oh, Grania wants to do a masterpiece. She really likes painting. Hire a nanny. Didn't you ha you have a nanny hired? I guess she didn't technically hire him. I love that she got that want, though. Turn it down just a little. I love that she has that want. Um, I don't think she's... Well, let me see. Call service? I'll see what happens if I have her call service. Because I feel like, um, <clears throat> as a kid playing, I never ran into cor corruption before. Yeah, same. I never have. Because I feel like it's more... I'm hearing like a banging sound. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It went away. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, let's try squin squin Squingy's nanny. Here, you want to hire- let's hire a different nanny. I don't know, this lady. Let's hire this one. Um, track schedule? I don't know. It, that doesn't make sense because she doesn't work, so like, the nanny's never going to show up. Doesn't- looking at your skull doesn't appear as though you need me to come hire me for now. Yeah, sure, just hire for now. I don't know. I wish they just show up regardless. Like, I need the nanny to, to act like the maid where they just always show up. 
Uh, we're playing for years. <laughs> Delete Sims and tombstones left and right, but nothing ever happened. Uh, after reading the mass hysteria about Sims 2 corruption, I thought I was the luckiest person ever. <laughs> is anything... If anything is corrupt, it's the Sims 4. <laughs> is there actual corruption in the Sims 4? Oh my gosh, Olive. Olive hears the sounds. Olive hears the sounds. Ugh. Sounds. Ugh. Hi, Quentin. I mean, canonically, Strange Town Max is Strange Town Cersei uh, was bi. So it stands for a reason that Cersei is bi. Okay. I like that. I didn't know that she was technically bi in Strange Town. It that sounded weird the way I said, but in like base game, regular Strange Town. Oh, I keep getting error code 12 for the Sims 3. What is that one again? Isn't that a does that have to do with your cache files or something? Or not having enough space to save or something? I forget what that one does again. Um it was, there wasn't just confusion over what caused corruption, but also what corruption looked like. So many glitches or weirdness people... Yes, yeah. That's a big one. Virtual RAM. Okay. Oh, yes, you're right, Bex. I did not get a... I didn't get a litter box. I intended to. Here, I'm gonna get rid of this little towel rack and get a litter box right here. Thank you for the reminder. I completely forgot about that. Just stick it in here. I don't know if I don't know if he's been peeing somewhere. I haven't I don't see any kitty pee. I guess he hasn't peed anywhere yet. Look at his little tiny head when I click somewhere. He's so little. The cat is allowed to pee. Oh my god, Grania doing parental duties? That's very strange. Also, why don't I have a crash compactor up here? I'll just plop that in there. Just clean that up. Where's you? Where are you? Oh, oh, the nanny's here. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're hungry. So this is what happens when you don't have a butler. Oh, uh, have some sketty. Have some sketty. <laughs> I know his tiny face is the opposite of Blobber. Oh yeah, her tiny face. I. Or even the opposite of BJ. <laughs> Sims 3 fried my old GPU because it was too late when I realized the game doesn't come with a uh, default FPS cap. Oof, I was playing 3000 plus FPS for months. That's wild. That's wild. Thank you for the lork, Owly Pip. Hello. Uh, Grania. Yeah, you spelled it right. Um, would lose her <laughs> shit if the cat started peeing everywhere. She would have a... F she would murder the cat. I think that... I think the, that Cersei inherited her... Uh, dangerous nature from her mom, probably. <laughs> yes, Artemis. Artemis is the kitty. Where'd the cat go? Little tiny baby. Little tiny baby. I hope it grows up fluffy. Look at it. <laughs> it's a little baby. Why does he hate the bed? Why is he thinking about hating bed? Okay, he doesn't like his bed. Or she doesn't like her bed. Her fears are her baby and changing a diaper. <laughs> Grania's gonna be in heaven when she finally gets rid of all the kids. And she just has... It's just her. She's probably just gonna kick the husband out and just have the, have the place to herself. <laughs> Wish they stayed small longer. Yeah, there might be a mod for that. I, I like them when they grow up, though, and that you get to see what they really look like. Yeah, she needs an extravagant collar. That'd be fun. Going back to what you said earlier, Sam, I feel like it's on brand that she wants two nannies. <laughs> like, it, that's true. I feel like she's the type of parent that has, like, one of those, like, really rich families that has, like, a nanny for each kid. Like, each kid has their own assigned nanny. Things I wouldn't wig out a modern computer would definitely... Try save 20 ish years ago, especially if you're playing one save for several months or even years. True, yeah. I think my issue back well, I don't know if an issue, but like what I would do back in the back in the day was when I was playing The Sims 3 back when it was like brand new. Whenever I started up the game, I just didn't care about continuing the family I was playing, 
and I ended up I ended up um just making a new family every single time I opened the game. Which was like by the time I was done making a family, I like didn't even play the game. So it was like I don't know. You check FPS with FPS on command. Of um, the Sims 3, I don't recall. I you might have to have an external way of looking at it. I don't know if there's a way of looking at it in I don't think there's one in the game, but I don't know how you would exactly. I know I've looked up ways to limit it. Like I know how to do the limiter. Um but I don't know how to look at it like actively in the like in real time. Never played The Sims 3, but hearing about these issues, it's a good thing because I would absolutely have cried my computer at the same time. Yeah. Oh, at the time, yeah. I always made some villain who would kidnap people off the streets and make them paint and then sold the paintings. <laughs> that, that's true. Oh, also, it's Wednesday. Let's see. I think this will be our last day then. We'll play, I think. I don't remember. Do I have it written down? Saturday to Wednesday. Okay. We're gonna play Wednesday. This will be our last day with this household, and we'll do another household. I play Sims 3 now, I'm scared. <laughs> oh no. I think you'll be okay, especially with with uh like you know, newer computers and stuff. Um, but I would definitely look into tutorials on how to limit FPS in the Sims 3. Because it'd probably be worth it anyway for just functionality. Sims 3 find my old rinky dinky laptop once upon a time. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's not funny, but you know what I mean. It's like, oh my god. I think that it makes mm, way longer for me to set up Sims 3 with graphical tweaks, etc. than 2. Yeah, Sims 2 is just like simpler for me. I still really like Sims 3. I really do. And I'd like to play it more often. But, um, yeah, it can get a little frustrating. Okay, you're sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. I kind of wanted her to answer the phone. Is it still ringing? Why don't you, how about you just get up and answer it? Or actually, I could have you answer it over here. <laughs> it's funny now because it was long ago, yes. <laughs> hello there. I don't know how to say your name, <laughs> but hello. <laughs> Welcome. Um, okay, use NVIDIA. Delay. I think I do that too. I think I use the NVIDIA stuff. Your energy use has just spiked. You'd better be careful. I'm pretty sure I do use the NVIDIA stuff for mine, too. I don't know if there's another way to do it, also. <laughs> Sims 2 really did ruin all our games for me. I'm fine with it, though. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. It's very... It's just so easy. And it's, it's so... The thing about The Sims 2 is that it's very... I mean, all of The Sims games in general are like this, but I feel like The Sims 2 just does it well because The Sims 2 has such a good base to work with is that it's, like, so malleable. Like, you can just make it kind of whatever you want with all the mods and all the everything. Like, a lot of times when people come in and ask me, do you have... do you, uh, do you have any, um... do you have any mods in your game? <laughs> like, and everybody's like, Sam's game is 90% mods and 10% game. <laughs> uh, when I played The Sims 2 back in 2004-ish, I only played my family and built houses. I had uh, several generations going on, and one day our computer completely died. I kind of wish I had gotten someone to fix it, but it's gone. That's too bad. I wish I had access to, like, my old computers to, to like, pull up an old Sims 2 save. I think that would be great. Uh, I know it so well. I've been playing my current hood continuously for six years. Seer oh, my God, words. Years now. That's wild. Not stop. That's great, though. That's wild. Oh, it's n none of your. Oh, okay, I see it. None of none of your business. I see it now. <laughs> I see. I saw lots of numbers, and I'm like, hmm, th that says something. <laughs> I misunderstood the username with with the password. Oh. <laughs> okay. You need to take a shower. And let's see. You can have breakfast, I guess. I do miss the butler for... We, we got rid of the butler because we decided we wanted, like, a separate maid and nanny. But, like, I do miss the butler's ability to make us food. That, that's, that was nice. Maybe down the line she'll have a live-in butler like Hank. She'll try it. She'll hire Hank from the, from the, the uh, Vander Morgans. Oh, he's back, finally. He has returneth. 
I have a crusty old laptop just for Sims 2. I'll be sad the day it explodes. I've been playing the same hood for years now, too. Oof. Definitely, I'd say definitely back her up on a old, some old drive or something. I remember downloading codes for other games' packs for free. It's like, ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> just needed the code from the CCD. Okay. Also done like hair outfits, furniture. <laughs> and of course you can do that now, except the CD codes. Yeah. That's interesting. I remember doing that with something. There was something where I had to look up like a, a code. Because I, I think I had the CD, but I didn't have the code. And I found one that technically would work. It was kind of weird. <laughs> oh, my game has removed computers a few times. Yeah. That's cool to have it running for so long. I have a hard time staying focused that long, I think. <laughs> I have a hard time with that with one. I always want to start something new. Oh, NVIDIA doesn't work for me for Sims 3. I run it with Intel. Okay, integrated graphics. Okay. Yeah. I guess it depends on what your setup is and everything. Okay, even today you can still find CD codes. Yeah. And I mean, of course, a lot of them have the, the crack, they call it or whatever, which stops, you know, it lets you not have to have the CD or whatever, but yeah. Buy new clothes. He wants to be a new man. Buy a vacation home. That's kind of fun. We don't have any vacation hood attached to this town yet. I mean, he, what, does he want to go buy a vacation home in Tiki Island so that he can be away from the family? <laughs> he can get away from these kids. <laughs> well, we have, do we have a double doggy situation? Uh, actually learned the most Sims 2 lore from you, Sam. Interesting. Too, I'm technically too challenged to get Sims 2 to work on a new device, so once that is gone, I'm like, oh well, buy Sims, oh no. <laughs> there's a lot of really useful stuff out there right now, like there's the starter pack, which is a download that has all the, like some of the graphic fixes already all set up in it and everything. Um, and it's, it's pretty, I say it's it's definitely getting easier and easier over time to, to get it running on a newer computer. But it definitely used to be more of an issue. Okay, she needs he needs to have some breakfast too. I feel like these two haven't even like seen each other for a long time. Oh, flashback to the time when you installed the Sims 2 and you get the quiz mini game whilst the game was installing. Exactly. Exactly, yes. <laughs> I remember that. We tutorials on people in the community are good about helping troubleshoot. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. And there's so many really talented folks who've been able to make, like, packs that you could just download right in. And thank you for the lurk. Thank you, thank you. That just lets you go right in. The four-disc base game was something. Yeah. That's kind of wild. I think I still... What do I still have? I have a bunch of these. I have a t I gotta get more of them. Maybe I need like a shelf behind me. I have the old double deluxe still. <laughs> Does this how many discs did this have? This just has one disc. Uh oh, we got an Apollo error. We got an Apollo error. <laughs> the simple things. The simple things. Best selling game, The Sims 2. Got the old pack. The pack is like thick though. The pack is, like, pretty thick. Oh boy, we got an- is this an ad for The Sims 3? Like, there's a Sims 3 ad on the inside. <laughs> Apollo corrupted. Yeah, Apollo's corrupted. Uh oh, I gotta delete the, the, the whole hood now. Apollo's corrupted. Apollo's corrupted. Sorry, I'm sure you can hear this crinkling and clicking in the microphone. Yeah, I've got- look, I have a- I have a- I have a, um... Still in the plastic castaway stories. <laughs> what are these? I've never played. I never. I we played castaway stories on stream. I have played castaways, but I never played the, this one <laughs> for some reason. We have the pet stories. Got the old pet stories. Oh, the Sims Three coming two thousand and nine. <laughs> yeah, I got all kinds. I have to dig out some of them. <laughs> Taking out a rage. 
Yeah, she's pounding on the keys there. We're just kind of following this guy around. He's just doing his thing. This kid's very unhappy. Grania, I'm afraid I know you hate that. I know you hate this, ma'am. But I need you to pick up the child. And come, come. Oh, wait, the nanny's still here. We do have, wait, we have two nannies here right now. <laughs> we do have two nannies here. Never mind, there's nannies here. I thought they left. Okay, she is taking out her rage on those keys. She really is. Her and the cat. Just her and the cat in this other room. Just her and the cat. I love this one, though. This is the... Oh, it's all dusty. Oof, God. A bunch... Oh, no. A bunch of dust just fell over my keyboard. This is the Sims Complete Collection. It's the whole the whole collection of the Sims 1. Look at all the discs. There's, there's three? Four? There's four. <laughs> we got four discs. I got the whole collection. I got the whole collection. But then I also have, like, all of the other discs. I would look at those pick- yeah, I would definitely as well. I've shared these ones before. I have- I have my original The Sims disc, which is the- the picture of, like, all the Sims in a little square and stuff. But these are all, like, the original- I like The Sims 1 little pictures on all of them. Well, Sam, you like Sims or something? I know. I, I get real excited to show the discs whenever I have a chance. For some reason, I have a disc one of the holiday edition. <laughs> I gotta go. I have somewhere I have a big box. Uh oh, my chat's reconnecting. I don't know if it's having issues. There. <laughs> Waiting for those discs to install and rushing to put in the next disc one. Yeah, before it like threw an error at you for taking too long. Um, yeah, there's, there are some ways to download the, um, what they have, what they call the complete collection for The Sims 1. Um, that was like the ultimate collection of The Sims 2. They, they called it the complete collection for The Sims 1. I believe that's available out there still. I have a copy of it downloaded on my computer. Um, you might have to do some, sur I'd, I've had it for so long that I don't remember where I got it exactly. There might be one in like the old games download site. Um, but I'm sure there's some... There's probably some options out there for it. Um, and yeah, there's different options for it to be like widescreen and stuff. Um, yeah, I was actually thinking about it today that I want to play it again sometime on stream. I thought maybe maybe someday it would be fun to do it at the end of stream or so, like play it for the last hour of stream, mess around in The Sims 1 or something like that. Like do a... Because I tried to do that with The Sims 3 before where I played like Sims 2 at the beginning of stream for the most of it and then we played some Sims 3 at the end, but... The hard part with Sims 3 is it takes so long to load up, it's just like the awkward waiting of like, okay, let's play this. <laughs> but like with The Sims 1, it like, it just, it loads. It's like, boop, boop. Yeah, I, I've, I've had pretty good time with stream. The hardest part with streaming it, I don't think I found, I might have found a fix for this though, I can't remember, is clicking off of it sometimes causes issues. If I click off, it causes glitch, like graphical glitches. But it takes like half a second to reload. <laughs> we need to go see Bernie the Dragon again. Yeah. We download last time we played it, we went on an adventure and downloaded a bunch of Sims 1 CC. Like really fun stuff. Um, different like heads and things. And then we made a bunch of gave a bunch of Sims different heads. Um, like we used a program that replaces heads. Uh, is the whole thing. It was fun. We did we did quite an adventure. Then we got them enough coin magic coins to live in Magic Town and Doing all the things. Does someone make Old Town in The Sims 2? Yes, I've seen it in Sims 2 and in Sims 3. Sorry, I'm kind of just like sitting here. Who's who's on our lawn right now? Who dis? John Chase. John Chase got his little witch hat on. Okay, buddy. Okay, the child is here. This child's here. This child needs to be taken upstairs. Why can't I pick up? Let's put her up here. Okay, we still got one nanny hanging out. Does she just stay here until we tell her to leave? Because that'd be good. Be held? Oh, I, for a second I thought I had Grania still selected. I thought I had Grania still selected and I saw the I'm like, what are the nannies trying to say to Grania? And I said, be held. I was like, they're trying to pick up Grania? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are y'all's favorite Sims 1 EP? Mine is Unleashed. I was mind blown with the size of the town. That's interesting. Yeah, mm, I do love it. I'm a, I was always like an obsessed with animals kid, so I'm sure I was really excited about Unleashed. Um, 
I feel like su I feel like I have a, a fondness for a superstar in the making magic. Probably back in the day, I it would have been unleashed as a kid. But nowadays, I feel like maybe making magic and superstar are the two like really like shine above the rest kind of packs. <laughs> They're like way better than their others, at least in my opinion. But they're all they're all really cool. I mean, the vacation one's fun. I haven't done enough of the vacation one. And maybe maybe that's the next adventure in The Sims One is us trying to visit all the vacation destination. Well, it's like all in one place, but like all the different lots and stuff. Yeah, that's true. All the EPs added so much. The what is it? House party with with G was it Jim Carrey? <laughs> that was fun. Oh no, you're never able to install Superstar properly. Oh no. I have a series on my channel where we played through the Superstar pack with uh, my my sim. Her name was Miss Atomic Bomb. We did uh, we made her. Uh, it followed. I I did. I played all the way through to her getting five stars. It was kind of fun. Um, I think my childhood would have been Vacation and Unleashed. Yeah, I can get that definitely. <laughs> Drew Carey showing up in the limousine. Okay, this this I'm I'm gonna be honest. I don't care. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, okay, girly, I'm gonna have to have you get up. Like you're you're gonna get some painful hands. We're kind of just chilling while the day goes by here, because this is just our last day, and I don't know what else we can really accomplish. I'll have. Oh no, she was really mad about selling a bad painting. Oof. Wants to earn five hundred bucks. Buy an MP3 player. How about you just do some paintings? Wait, paint grilled cheese. She can. Continuous- wait, this option is continuous make and sell paintings. Sure. Okay. Miss Atomic Bomb like the killers? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And she had a boyfriend who was Mr. Brightside. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a killer's enjoyer. Make and Magic wasn't that iconic for me as a child. I think- I think I also- I feel like as a kid playing The Sims, I tended to not be as able to handle more complicated stuff. Um, so I feel like I also, as a child, did not get into making magic or like Superstar as much because they were like a little bit too much for me to, to understand how to handle everything. Because the thing about The Sims 1 is it didn't really explain anything to you like newer games do where they kind of hold your hand. Sims 1 was just kind of like, good luck. Um, <laughs> you like the iconic, speaking of, speaking of The Sims 1, Nancy the Paper Girl. Um, but... I feel like, yeah, as a kid, I didn't like it as much, but nowadays I do like it a lot more, those particular packs. Um, uh, really making magic for the dragons and the fact that you could use that oven to make loaves of bread. I like that that was your highlight. <laughs> loaves of bread. <laughs> loaves of bread. Sims 1 was, yeah, Sims 1's hard. I use, I use hacked objects to make my Sims happy, so I don't have to deal with their needs as much. I don't even care anymore. I'm just like, you know what? I've done my I've done my time. I was playing Sims recently. Yeah, it is it's difficult. Yeah, there's there's a lot of sites out there still um, where you can download with the hacked objects, which allow you to like boost Sims' needs or keep everybody on the lot happy and things like that. And those are very helpful. A lot a lot easier. Um, studio guy. All right, our nannies are just hanging here. Every baby I had in The Sims, yeah, it's very, it was, I don't think I ever, I, I think for a long time I assumed that babies in The Sims 1 never grew up because I never had them that long. <laughs> I never had them long enough. Um, so I, I, I just, I thought that kids didn't exist <laughs> in the game. I was extremely young when I played The Sims 1 though, so I had no idea, yeah, it's pretty much the same. I can remember installing The Sims 1 on my mom's like computer and it's funny because my mom got a gateway computer and she got the sims 1 base game for free with the like uh, the sale she had like this there was a sale going on and she got it for free like it was part of the the bundle and we had i had no idea what it was that was that was how i randomly discovered the sims was through my mom buying the the bundle deal of her gateway pc <laughs> which uh it was kind of neat, but I remember my cousin and I hanging out at the computer trying to install it. And I remember I've told I said I told this story before, and I'm sure there's other families that have had this experience. Us, uh, 
us kids were confused why the Sims weren't speaking English, and we were complaining to my mom that we couldn't, we could, none of the settings let us get our Sims to speak English. They were speaking another language, and we didn't know what the language was. And my mom called the their their uh, service line, like their helpline for EA or Maxis or whoever it would have been, to ask them how to to set the settings correct so that the Sims would speak English. <laughs> I, I imagine they got lots of calls like that in the early days. I was, uh, oh wait, yeah, you had no idea what was going on. I read that Mr. Brightside just became just a pain in the ass, a side character just bringing in dollars. Yes, he did. I love discovering that girls could kiss each other thanks to The Sims 1. <laughs> I only ever had Sims 1 base game and found out about The Sims 2. Oh, shiny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, she called them. And they, they I'm sure that they were laughing. They explained to her that, yes, they're, they're not supposed to speak English. That's how the game works. <laughs> it's funny because I don't remember doing... I've never really had a lot of, like, gay couples in The Sims when I would play. I don't remember doing that a lot. It's just weird. I think I was I was always obsessed with like the animals and stuff. But I was more about like collecting all the dogs and the cats. I think when I was little playing the game, that was my thing was all the animals. Okay, so you're home. Um Brian is just kind of miserable. Hold youngster. Why are you holding youngster? Who's, who's aging up next? I feel like somebody's aging up, so I guess it's her. Two days. Two days. <laughs> Someone created a new language called Simlish. They essentially have, I mean. At this point, there's, you know, things people say purposely to be like they're speaking Simlish and stuff. <laughs> oh, wow, you didn't know same-sex couples could exist until Sims 4. That's how daft I am. No, <laughs> no. All right, Grania, I don't know. She's showing some surprisingly maternal instincts. We're kind of just chilling here. We might go ahead and just swap to the next family because I'm just kind of like done. Like this got dark out. Oh yeah, Iris is going to grow up in one day. She's hungry. I think we might be... I'll just save. Well, well that's a problem for us to deal with another time. We're going to jump to the next household. Um, I think it's either the lost household. I pulled it up a second ago. Here. So the Solomy, uh, round three, I am going to bring Cersei into the university pool. I think I'm supposed to, I don't, I guess I haven't dragged, um, whoops. I haven't dragged Pascal there, but I know Pascal is supposed to be there. We'll put him down here. Let me do that. Uh, Sims 4 did Dina and Nina dirty. They did. They absolutely did. Shofli! <laughs> Shofli! Sims uh, 2 notification tells me to learn how to uh, punctuate and use <laughs> use some dashes. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I think I remember there being words that I remember um, learning in uh, because of Sims, like aspiration. I remember that hearing the word people talk about aspirations and goals and stuff and being like, I know what that means because Sims. <laughs> I know what that means because Sims. So we have either the Lost family. This is showing, right? Yeah. Maybe either the Lost family or the Beaker family to play. Um, I don't know if we're feeling Lost or, or Beakers. <laughs> What's our original name, though? Um, that wasn't her original name, though, in The Sims 2. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... That's right, they changed Katrina. I'm feeling lost. We could just play The Lost. They're, they're probably a chill little family. <laughs> yeah, that one, I don't know. It just kind of didn't hit the mark. Here, why don't we play The Lost? We'll do In Progress for our little Lost family. We'll check out little Kristen Lost and her mommy. We'll check them out. That was fun time with that family. That family is always... They always got something weird going on. <laughs> It's just kind of chaos over there. I guess Katrina is supposed to be... Is she Nina and Dina's mom? She's supposed to be Nina and Dina's mom, but, like, Nina and Dina's mom had a completely different name. Yeah. Who I don't remember... I don't remember the mom's name. Um, But it felt like they were purposely sort of changing her name. Um, And she died when they were kids in, in The Sims 2. Yes. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, that's the loners. See, I get the lost. In, see, the lost and the loners live right next door to each other. <laughs> yeah, nig hat, nig hat, not butts butt, <laughs> butts butt please, <laughs> butts butt please. Um, yeah. Which I don't remember what the origin of the name was, but it felt like they were sort of almost like whitewashing her or something. Okay, let's change. Ba -ba -bum. Alter time. Sent day of the week. We're starting Saturdays. Hello? There we go. We'll let it be 5 a.m. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to have to fix hairs. Hers isn't terrible. We might see what other options we've got. And then we can talk about who this household is for those that are not as familiar. Um, or I could say that while we're doing a little makeover, because this is this is Daisy Lost. Looks like she's got some weird blush on. I might remove her blush. But this is Daisy Lost, who is the mother of Kristen Lost, who normally in regular Strange Town, Kristen shows up at, in the singles household with Aaron Beaker and then the Curious Twins. Um... So in this town, she's a child, and this is her mom, who usually doesn't... Her mom was kind of created by the creator of this town. She doesn't traditionally have a mom in her family tree, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so she was kind of made up for the purpose of this early strange townhood. And um, usually I give her this kind of wavy hair texture like this. I think it looks nice on her. Um, I don't know what... I think there were some defaults that had, like, a wavy... This one does... Mm. Don't she have a little perm? Wait, what if she has a little short cut? She's a little short perm. It's it's supposed to be like 80s, 90s, vaguely. Vaguely. <laughs> but it's about trying to get cancelled again. <laughs> yeah, they're the lost family. Um and so yeah, so this is this is Daisy Lost, the mom. And then we have this is actually Stella Torano. Well I'll I'll show her in a minute. Um oh, I do like this on her. Stella Torano is normally a a pre-made in one of the in La Fiesta Tech, and we we added her into our college the last time we played college and played her, and she ended up getting in a relationship with Daisy. So her and Daisy are married right now. I recall them having some issues last time. We'll have to see what's going on with that. Um, but so we have these two, and then Kristen is the daughter of just Daisy from her past. I don't remember if she was married or if she was just in a relationship. I think she was married and then some things happened and she ended up getting divorced or something. Hmm. That's a cute ponytail. There we go. I was thinking of like this style. Mm, I don't think she'd have stuff in her hair like that. Kind of cute too. Oh, here we go. I think this might be what I'd give her. I think she's had this before. Um, I also just want to maybe take off her blush, whatever blush she's hiding right now. I feel like this is going to lag. No, it's working. Oh yeah, right here. I'm just going to take it off her right now. There she goes. That's her. That's Miss Daisy. What is your... Her Daisy's traits are night owl, good, perfectionist, born salesperson, in erratic, which is kind of interesting that she's got the erratic trait. Perms were a big thing back then. I read that somewhere. Uh, I certainly wasn't alive back then or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just read it somewhere that those those people back in that day, you know. Uh, and then we got Miss Stella Torano. Stella wants to have a baby, interestingly. She also wants Glarn to be abducted, which is kind of fun. Uh, yes, there is an option to randomize the traits. Butt spot is obnoxious. <laughs> Can you randomize the nut? <laughs> so I think I randomized them because um, there's an actual, there's a special object they come with. Um, like he, it's this creepy mask. But yeah, you're able to hit... Um, well, normally if a sim is missing, you, well, you can do add random traits. Or sometimes there's an option called add missing traits. And it goes, it actually goes by their personality. Like it pays attention to the personality and interests and stuff and chooses them based on that, which is kind of cool. 
<laughs> random nut. <laughs> random nut. Um, but some of them I do hand pick too if I feel like what they got wasn't quite right and I wanted them to have something different. Uh, we're gonna change Stella's hair too. Because I don't like I like this hair on her, but I I don't like that the, the I don't think the blue matches. I return with soap. I mean soup. <laughs> I saw soap. <laughs> I return with soap. You're finally gonna wash. You're gonna wash up after you're eating all your food. Is that what's what kind of hair should she usually she has little shortcut hair. Hmm. Let me try and go like to the end and work my way back. That's a fun little bun. That's a fun little bun. Um. Ooh, look at this little little pixie cut on her. I like this little pixie cut on her. Oh, this is also a good little pixie cut. Hmm. Look at the olive oil. I think I'm gonna make chicken and rice tonight with this uh pre-made Thai inspired sauce. That sounds yummy. I tried the I tried the the curry that I bought at the store that one day. And I'm I'm gonna assume it was like a bad curry or something. Like it was just like junk. Uh because it was not good. I couldn't eat it. But I think either I made it wrong or something. I mean, I I imagine it's just junk. It was just a junk, you know, it wasn't a good like I need to go somewhere and get actual good stuff to actually know. Mm -hmm. I also like this little like short Short deal. Also, this is good. A little curly cut. Hmm, there's a lot of options for her. Usually she has... Sometimes I've given her, like, a short hair do, but also she usually has, like, a... She usually has, like, a pixie cut, so... That's kind of fun, too. I like the little buzz. There's a lot of one thing I really like about these defaults is there's a lot of short hair options for the girlies. Oh no! What? What happened? What happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I got scared. <laughs> I thought things were down. Did olive oil not show? Bad curry. Oh 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 oh! Sorry, <laughs> my brain was elsewhere. My brain was elsewhere. Yeah, I think it was just, I just couldn't even eat it. It smelled really strange, and when I tried to eat it, it didn't taste good. But it might have just been I didn't like how it tasted. But I think it probably was just, like, some junk that I bought. I think I really like that little curly cut. Oh, this is also cute. It's like, the little curls flips up the back. That's kind of fun. My skin tear is absurd. I have poor cleaning mask on my hand, on my knees. I have a poor cleansing mask on my knees, hand cream under my eyes, and eye mask stacked on my forehead. <laughs> Every day we we learn more and more about the lore of bog slash foxglove. <laughs> uh, anyone know if? There is a, a mod for needs for witches in The Sims 2 to not decay as much when they learn spells. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think I've seen that. That would be kind of nice. I guess you just have to, you could manually shut off their needs, but that's annoying. My knees are awful. I guess I've never looked at the, the pores of my knees. Intriguing. <laughs> Intriguing. I think I'm going to give her this little one. I think that's fine. And I don't know how I feel about little... Uh, why is, what is this? What is that? Oh, I think that was something that got removed. Oh no, I accidentally deleted her bed. No! There we go. I don't know how I feel about Daisy. This is Kristen. I almost called her Daisy. She's about to age up, though. Let me just give her a basic ponytail. I feel like her, her basic... She's like just like a tomboy with a ponytail most of the time. Or like these braids. Hmm. Maybe we're like one of these or something. There we go. That one's fun. Let's do that. There's more black. <laughs> Ugh, it's so gross. <laughs> Sounds intriguing. <laughs> what does this conversation come to? 
There needs uh there needs tanks so much when they learn spells. Oh I didn't know that. My usual go-to to look for supernatural spells is always um midge the tree. That's just like my go-to first. Um they have a ton of supernatural spell stuff. I'm gonna turn on all the lights so we can see what's going on. Please do not see Cersei Beaker my knee. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. All right, it's 5 a.m. on a Saturday, and we're all awake. Um, so what? What was? What was? What, do we look at her traits? What does she have? So Stella's got eccentric, daredevil, hopeless romantic, also night owl, and mooch. We also got a love letter. Thanks for the fun. Wait, who was this from? From herself. I'm guessing this was something that daisy that got sent to daisy and she like ended up with it in her inventory i okay uh and then Kristen. oh I, Kristen's a horse girl i forgot about Kristen is family oriented equestrian and hydrophobic <laughs> i love uh, she's a horse girl the horse girl i love you use of coloring your builds thank you i do i enjoy lots of color i enjoy like colored lights are the biggest thing i think uh, somebody needs to clean this. Can you maybe come over here and, like, wash this? Oh, not use. I meant to hit clean. Also, we have a doggy. Oatmeal. Look at a little oatmeal the dog. We have dog stuff. Yeah, we got some dog stuff. Is there a dog bed? Oh, right here. This house is very small. Very small. And, and, and Stella wants a baby, which is kind of wild. For them to, to add another one into this household. It's just a little baby. It's a little baby. I like having them in the description. Intriguing makes me nervous. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say other than laugh. I don't know. Did I just see a whole TV set up on top? Uh-oh. Oh, oops. <laughs> That's not supposed to be here. See, what happened was, I think I had a custom TV. Oh. And then I removed it for some, ha for some reason. Here we are. It's supposed to be like this guy chilling up here. Oh, wait, we're pretty low on the funds. Here we go. That's what's supposed to happen. <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. There we go. What's... Okay. Okay, we still got this TV chilling over here. Okay. Okay, can somebody, like, make breakfast? Serve breakfast. Cereal. Why not? Um, okay. Daisy. Lots of Moonbeam is no longer a family friend. Okay. So, okay, so she has three bolts with Stella. She also loves Vidkrim. I think I recall that. There was a thing with her and Vidkrim. Did they have an affair? They're married to Stella. Okay, maybe they, they got together before. Did a public woohoo with Vidkrim. Had an affair with Vidkrim. Okay, so she... Oh my god, they're laughing. Um, So she had an affair with Vidkrim while she was married to her first husband. Oh, she also had an affair with Jenny? Wait. Oh, no, it was while she was engaged to Stella. When she was engaged to Stella, she flirted with Jenny Smith and then had an affair with Vidkrim and woohooed with Vidkrim while she was still with her, with Stella. You know, she's a family sim. And I think, what's her secondary? Romance. Okay, she's secondary romance. Um, Yes, this is, no problem, you're all right. Uh, yeah, this is Kristen and her mom. Yep. So Kristen Loner. And her mom. We can look at their family tree, too, to see the dad's name. Does it show her dad? Yeah. Artie lost. So Artie and Daisy. I don't know if they were m married and, like, broke up or... Oh, got, got, got caught cheating by Mad Hurry. Oh, interesting. So there's some drama. Fell in love with Vidkrim. So her and Vidkrim have some history together. Because Mad Hurry is Vidkrim's ex-wife that disappeared... Um, but then she got with Artie, got engaged and married to Artie, had her first woohoo and had Kristen with Artie. Um, made out with Stella. 
Oh, Artie died. Okay, so Artie passed away. And then she ended up uh, meeting Stella. And that's they started to be together. Oh, she's gonna go to work. Does Stella have a job right now? Oh, she does. She's in the adventurer career as a spelunker. Spelunker. Yeah, so she was a widow. But she's a little erratic. Like, she's been... She's had a history of cheating and fooling around. And, like, I don't know. She's got some weird things going on. She's still in love with Vidkrim. Um... I don't think she's really got relations. She's got a lot of friends because of story progression. And then Daisy, I mean, not Daisy, um, Stella, she's got a pretty straightforward history because she, she went to college, she ended up meeting um, Daisy, had a great date, they got engaged. Um, oh, had an affair with Lila. Fell in love with Lila. Wait, so she's been fooling. She's in love with Lila um, Vander Morgan? Oh, she's got a crush on Lila. Okay, interesting. So she has a little bit of history of fool They both got a little history of fooling around. Oh, you know what it was? Her and Lila went to college together. Her and Lila went... I'm going to ignore this. I don't really feel like reading right now. What? I don't know what that double pop-up was. So her and Lila went to college together. That's what it was. They were, they were fooling around in college. Um, I'm happy to see to announce the po poor mask worked. Ow. Oh, God. <laughs> no, thanks. I don't know. <laughs> Reading about the poor mask and then seeing yum, what kind of rice? I was like, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> there, she got married to Daisy. Things have been pretty simple ever since. She did lose a job. What did she get... She got fired and then got her job back. I think we had some weirdness happen with that. <laughs> I could be wrong, but isn't Kristen's dad in Olive's Garden and Base Game? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know, actually. That's a good question. I don't recall that name, but I don't remember everyone. I remember, like, the iconic ones that are in her garden, like Rigor Mortis and, um, what is it? Rigor Mortis and, and uh, Early Demise and all of them. Uh, Kristen has a I don't know if I don't think is it actually connected to her I don't think that it shows on her family tree but I think maybe it's maybe this the name appears does the name appear um in the it's like the same last name so people make the connection oh my god my eyes are bothering me <laughs> I'm a mess today my mouth and my eyes what is wrong with me wrong with me maybe 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 you know what maybe a poor mask on my knees would fix me also welcome back daydreamer <laughs> welcome back i don't know see i'm still not getting pop-ups for the ads oh now my glasses are goofed up i'm a mess no it's okay you're all oh whoops oh i didn't see you pop it up too <laughs> it's okay. I forgot. I didn't. I, I'm not seeing the pop up again. I really don't. I gotta double check some things. Okay, so I think Kristen. Um, okay, you don't need to be sitting here eating. Maybe we should focus on Kristen. Like, what's her story? She wants to do homework. We do need to do that. Are you hungry? Let's have you get yourself like a little bit of cereal. Have her clean up. Kristen's about to be a teenager, which is fun. We should have an actual party for her. <laughs> Maybe, though my knees are still weak and strange. They're just not awful. <laughs> okay. All right. Wiki doesn't mention about him being in Olive's Garden. Oh, okay. Interesting, though. That Maybe I'll have to look sometime in, like, a base, like, a, a fresh Strange Town save. I could be neat to look. Okay, so she's doing her thing. I know, it's wild she's going to be a little teen. Yeah. She's, she's pretty cool. I think I'm excited to see where Kristen's story goes. I don't really know. She's besties with a lot of the teenagers right now. I think a lot of these kids aged up. Like she was friends with them when she was younger and they've aged up and stuff. She's got a lot of friends. She's got a lot of friends. Okay, she's headed off to, to work. 
Well, that's that. The little Kristen's home alone. Maybe little can little Kristen walk to the lot by herself. Are, are they allowed to? I don't think they are, right? I don't think so. You know, they're not allowed. Maybe she can call up a friend. Does she know a y any younger kids? She does. She knows Astrid. Oh god! Last time Astrid showed up on a lot was when she was invisible. She had, we had the invisible shenanigans. I'm gonna call Sim. Oh wait, no. What? Wait, hold on, just a sec. Do your homework first. She wants to do homework, and then we'll invite someone over, just so we can have a fun Saturday while our parents are gone. Also, she could play with her doggy. Oatmeal. Little oatmeal. Oh, you also gotta fill the bowl. I'm gonna get my chapstick on. Uh-oh, the dog is mad at you. I think she can't get by. Puppy peed in the bedroom? Oh wait, this bedroom, yes. I don't have enough, a lot of space for a... Uh-oh, now she's in the bed that the puppy's trying to get to. I think I need to... I have those puppy pads I downloaded, but they're gigantic, I think. Right, don't I have... Oh no, they're not that big. <gasps> there we go. That's what we need. Can we just put it, like, here somewhere? Or should I put it in where the dog is peeing? Or maybe out on- oh, maybe out here on the deck? We can do that. I haven't even got to use them yet. See, let's see, so- well, you don't have to really go right now. Actually, never mind. Oh no, crap. I hate that you can't X out the puppy things. Okay. Oh, she wants to sell lemonade. Do we have- oh, we do have a lemonade stand. Maybe that's what she'll do with her Saturday, is making and selling lemonade. Yeah, there's a custom ones that you can download. Does it say who they're by here? I think somebody shared them in the Discord. Indoor potty pad. It doesn't say who they're by, but, um... Oh, you can also make it look like newspaper. Oh, that's cute. Wait, I want it to be like a little pile of newspapers. Oh, and it can also look like a little grass turf. That's fun. I'm gonna make a little pile of newspapers. Kristen made it herself. You said you can't pee in my bedroom anymore, doggy. Here, go to the newspapers. There we go. She's making her making her stuff. Oh, bull bull prop. Cancel pet action. True. Oh, wait. Let me. Let's see. Oh, he's already out here. He already went. Oh, look, it even looks like warped and stuff. That's such a good detail. Look how look it looks like it's all... That's great. Well, you can just go sleep anyway, I guess. Even though you don't really have to sleep. You need social. Oh, okay. Congratulations, Daisy's home. She's about to pass out, though. I'm gonna bump her... <laughs> Also, she has a want to wait. She has the want to make out with three different Sims and go on a date. Oh my God, Daisy! Is that? Oh my God! Wait. Is this supposed to be Bella Goth? Her eyes are goofing. Is that supposed to be Bella? When I mouse over, it just says. But I think if she's a townie. If she's a townie, it resets her name. But, like, Bella Goth exists in early Pleasant View. Right? But is this supposed to be Strange Town Bella? Is it, like, her clone? Yeah, her name is Lush... Lush McKeans. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. Do cats use them? Do you, I don't... I think... Can all pets use the puppy pads? I don't actually know. I mean, that's gotta be Bella, right? That's supposed to be her. Is that- it looks like- why is her eyes doing that? It's gotta be Strangetown Bella. Cause I think- is Strangetown- the question is, is Strangetown Bella exist in the- Also, Daisy's getting in the wrong bed. Strangetown Bella- does it- does Strangetown Bella exist in early Pleasant View? That's the question, because that's why she would exist with a messed up name. Because when you add a subhood, all of the townies names get randomized. So that's the only thing I can think of, is that she's... 
I can change her name, though. First of all, you need to get out of this bed. I'm going to bump your energy a little so you can do this for me. Um, either way, it would make sense to have a Bella. I mean, it's got to be Bella. Um, under miscellaneous, where's Misk? Change first name, Lush. Change last name, Lush. Get up. <laughs> Get up. Oh no, she's gonna leave. Get up. Wait, 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 hurry. We have a second. We have half a second. Oh, oh my god. Bella. Yes. God. Oh. There we go. There we go. Now she's belly goth. Okay. We're safe. <laughs> She would still be an adult, in my opinion, but a very young one. Okay. Jack, Jack. <laughs> what did I miss? Um. Oh, I see. Sorry, I was just reading back at what was going on here in the chat. <laughs> She's in hiding. Had to change her name. Yes. Zane saved us. <laughs> Zane saved us. <laughs> Bella, not true. At this point in the storyline, I think we're beyond 1985, probably. Because I added early Strange Town. Early Strange Town is supposed to be like the '90s. So, and apparently, if you want to, I mean, not early Strange, early Pleasant View is the '90s. And apparently, if you, I need you to stop and go here. I need to reinstall smart beds or something. Yeah, the early Pleasant View is supposed to be the the early '90s. Yeah, I figured because I think it was somebody told me once that the creator suggested that if you wanted to add have them together as a subhood that you should place early strange town a little bit like a few rounds or something before you add pleasant view to make things like kind of linked up a little bit better in timeline so i'm guessing uh we can kind of say this is like early 90s ish i'm not really like particularly keeping track but you know um okay i think you can take a break now ma'am you take a shower and a bath you were gonna invite a friend over but that's all right. She, she's just doing what, what her wants are. She wants to give love to oatmeal, and also we could fill his bowl. Getting in the bed again. Or give love. She wanted to give love, didn't she? Let's snuggle him. Everything's nasty. When is she getting home? So should they, should they adopt? Or should they actually try for baby? I think it would be cool if they adopted, too, but she wants to have a baby, so we could have her... Like, we could have them actually try. Because I do have the same-sex pregnancy. Hi, Joel. I think we might we might bring Joel to college, because he was boyfriend with Pascal Curious. But he might come to college with us, too. I, I If I don't forget, I might forget about him by accident, but he's a random townie. I feel like this house is much more chill. Much more chill household. Even though there is a little bit of drama going on. Oh, the doggy's getting up. Okay, we're we're snuggling. What is going on? I feel like the dog looks like he's he's writhing. What is the lighting in this room is kind of kooky. What is happening? I think it's broken. Oh, ugh. <laughs> Her just like staring at the dog as hard as she can. <laughs> She's just staring at the dog. He's just like, you are very pretty dog. What? 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 <laughs> Ooh, that was strange. <laughs> Something's broken with my kids and animals. What are we doing? The laughter? <laughs> what is happening? That was creepy. That was creepy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I guess you can clean up this. 
Okay, the doggie's eating. Nighttime. I guess I'll make her a little tired. Oh, can you not reach this? Is there an issue with this? <gasps> What's she? Why is she making a noise? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! She's aging up. <laughs> the dog was. <laughs> The, the dog is, uh, the dog and her were, like, broken. Like, she was just, like, staring at the dog and, like, walking around. I, I messed up. I forgot. I thought tomorrow. I thought it was tomorrow. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I've only been playing The Sims my entire life. You know, you gotta, this, is my, this is my first time. <laughs> oh. That's an outfit. Well... Also, at 8 p.m.? Why 8 p.m. did she just decide to age up? I guess just because she was busy? That's the very first kiss. That's an outfit, girlie. She's a cutie, though. I don't mind this hair on her still. Can you maybe clean this up now, and then I'll give you a makeover? Oh. What's Chris? Isn't Kristen... Is she a fortune sim, usually? I never remember the birthday. Yeah, I'm too bad about it. <laughs> I'm bad about it. I don't know if she should be a fortune sim. She feels like a family sim. I don't know, though. So she's like a little horse girl. Maybe we can give her like an equestrian vibe. Because she's an equestrian sim. She has the equestrian trait. Um, I don't know. Maybe I feel like family is fun for her. But I don't know if that's truly... She's usually sporty. Which, like, fills the equestrian thing, too. Like, she can be sporty in an equestrian way, equestrian way, or she can just make her sporty in general. Which, that could be maybe, like, knowledge or pleasure. Honestly, she has better style than I did when I became a teenager. <laughs> I don't really make her popularity or fortune. Yeah, I could see popularity. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll try popularity. That could be fun. So what is it? She likes cologne and hard worker. And a great, she doesn't like good cooks. Interesting. I'm going to let her keep... I like letting them keep their turn-ons. Oh, do we want anybody to age up with us? I don't know that I really care. None of these kids I recognize. Ted Johnson? Why don't we age up him? Sure, he's been around a while. I don't know. What do you want to be, Johnson? Okay, you're gonna clean that up. And also, let me give her. Did I? I deleted that creepy mask. Yeah, let me get her. Do I have the mask down here at all? Sometimes I leave it hide it in the foundation. Um, let's do this. Add missing traits to Kristen, and it'll give her her randomize her her last trait. Um. You think you think her outfit's kind of cute? I don't mind her top. Maybe we can find her a little bit different bottom. Like, I feel like there's two different vibes and color schemes happening. But I thought maybe I can give her, like, shorts as a bottom. Or I could try to find something that's, like, fits her, her thing. Oh, she's rebellious. Okay, so she's family-oriented, equestrian, hydrophobic, and rebellious. That's a very interesting grouping of traits. Oh, you didn't see the blue on her top. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the vibrant, like, cyan blue. Interesting. Is she going to be a cowgirl? Here, let me just save real quick in case my game explodes. I'm going to do the save everything thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Gussie up, change everything. Look, at, I like the full body outfits because they're just easy. Do the traits get randomized when she's born or on a particular age up? So I have to do it manually, which is the unfortunate part. It doesn't auto add them. Um, so pretty much any sim that you doesn't have traits, you can choose for them to randomize it, or you can. There's an option called add missing traits, which I guess just adds whatever they don't have yet. Um. And again, it goes by like their goes by their personality and stuff too. Like it chooses them in a smart way. It doesn't just give them something randomly, like it like it sounds. It actually like chooses based on their personality and their interests and stuff, um, which is kind of neat. But yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't do it automatically. 
you have to do it on yourself on your own <laughs> on, by yourself on your own you know <laughs> um I want to give her equestrian vibe. I want to give her horse girl vibes. She's a horse girl. What is? What are the horse girls? Does the horse girl wear a cow suit? Probably not. Maybe she could be a little cow girl. Oh, you like that more? Okay, yes. Yeah, it works pretty well. I've been enjoying it. It just adds a little extra dimension. Sometimes I like it. I like it better than the Sims 2 system. Because I sometimes, I mean, like, unless a sim has a really extreme personality traits, I generally, I don't know, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Yeah. You know, that's like, unless they're like fully sloppy or fully neat or fully mean or whatever. But I feel like the traits, oh my god, all the traits are more like definite, like they are this. Yeah, rebellious horse lover. Sounds like the main character of a bunch of weird horse movies I saw as a kid. <laughs> Which some spoiled kid always ran away with their horse. True. Yeah, I think we gotta go for a cowgirl. Maybe she's maybe she's like a gothic, uh, she a gothic cowgirl. Unfortunately, my game's gonna be very unhappy with me because this is. I think this is generating all these thumbnails right now. Uh, I don't think that's really what we're looking for. I was just I saw the boots. Hmm. This almost could could pass a little bit as like equestrian. Cause there's like there's like fancy equestrian, like like English style equestrian, and then there's like yeehaw cowgirl equestrian. Hmm. Oh, there's these boots. This is like <laughs> fancy English sports equestrian. Which she could I could see her doing that too. <laughs> I hear Hank bellowing. I hear Hank yelling in the distance. I thought I had like an actual store fit that was like a cowgirl fit. A cowgirl. She wants to be a cowgirl. Oh, these are default replaced. Let me fix the thumbnail. Oops. Oh, I still have my display capture on. Oh, doesn't want to update the thumbnail for me. Weird. Okay. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I guess... I guess I have to look at the pants. Because I know I have some default replaced pants that are have boots. Have, like, cowgirl boots and stuff. Oh, well, these actually, these are little boots. Like, those are little cowgirl boots. We got some missing textures. We're going to not look at those. I don't know if the skinny jeans are necessarily fitting our theme, but... What was on these? I don't think... It'd be fun if we could find a shirt that has a... A cowgirl on it. Do you have any horse muds? I don't. I don't know what is out there for the horse muds. <laughs> I don't know what exists for the horse muds. I wish this. I wish we had the ability to bring like the horses from The Sims Three into The Sims Two. That'd be fun. I do have a mod which could be fun to explore in the future with her. I do have a mod that, like, it gives you the goats and stuff from The Sims Four. But they're like they're like reskinned dogs. I do have that one. I haven't used it at all yet. Um, that could be fun. She could have a bunch of Hi Anna Chibi, how are you? Yeah, she could have like a bunch of goats and stuff. <laughs> we're doing all right. We're we're kinda chilling out here with some uh Kristen Lost. We got the Lost family. Um she just, Kristen just aged up to teenager, so I'm trying to find her a little outfit. She's a horse girl, so I have to give her horse girl outfits. Oh, the sun and moon horse ones, but obviously it's not the same as the, yeah, yeah. I, what is it exactly, though? Like, what is the sun and moon horse ones? I don't even actually know. Is it like, well, that's kind of fun. I don't know if I actually added the, I kind of like this little zigzag top for some reason. 
Are they just, they're mostly objects? Okay. I remember that as a kid, having those. I was a horse girl as a kid, very much so. And I, was, I remember being obsessed with those, the horse statues. Let's see, I know I have... I'm going to force it to bring all the way down here. Oh, and turn them into vehicles. You can breed them and fe feed them and breed them. <laughs> Gotta feed them and breed them. <laughs> and stuff and train them into train them to turn them into vehicles. That's wild. Okay, yeah, I have some some my I'm gonna have to go into creative sim and like fix my my thumbnails here. Cause like these are not correct. <laughs> Affinity Sims Bex has rideable horses for the Sims 2. Oh. Here we go. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, all my thumbnails aren't working. I don't know what's what. Oh, those got those got little boots. That's not like the worst thing I've ever seen, I guess. Well, these are all replaced. Mm hmm. And they turn into a vehicle after you've trained them enough. That's so funny. That's why I got uh, so excited about the goat dogs. <laughs> the goat dogs. Those are all swimwear bottoms. Dang, I thought I had some different... I need to get rid of these. I don't really like having these in the everyday. They just fill it up. It's part of the repository project stuff I have. But... I'm not a big fan. Okay, we're gonna just go with what I got here. Got a little tank top. Got some boots. I don't know what she should. I don't know if she should have the bell bottoms or like boot cut. What do these look like in game? Oops. Oh, I forgot I was doing the everything. You know what? That's not terrible. Her. Sure. Oh god, ma'am, you know what? That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. What's a new means that got them to objectify? You got this. Mostly AF's animals are pretty buggy. Oh, I mean, AS. I, I remember reading about some that are like, they they almost create like an invisible, um... Oh yeah, it tends to use a custom NPC in, in, similar to the RC cars. That's what I was about to say. I remember them like, they were like the RC cars. I do recall that. Um, yeah, this is fine. She can just have... She, has, she had pink on her other outfit. We'll do her a little pink, I guess. Some clothes. I, I don't care about the... Here, she'll have the same shorts and stuff. I'm not really trying too hard with the other outfits. I don't care about her underwear. Um, that's fine. Uh, we don't need this. I don't mind her little ponytail. I think I'm gonna let her just keep it. I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. Um, t <laughs> figured out a method to use cockroach movement instead. That's wild. <laughs> that's crazy. I love that. Archery mod. Ooh. They'll have to check that out, too. I like the little eyelashes here. There we go. Okay, Gussie up. Um, change into everyday. I don't know if I like these pants or not. I don't know. They're not bad. Let me just play an outfit everyday. Let me just try the other pants or maybe something else. Got little boots on. These boots were made for walking. I don't know. I'll try those. I'm not sure that I'm crazy about it. I'm not in love with the outfit. But it's got a little... It's like the closest thing I got to little cowgirl boots. Little cowgirl boots. One day, uh, we'll be able to inject more complicated code and have Sims 3 style horsies. Nut one nut. We'll be able to inject more complicated <laughs> code and have Sims 3 style whore nut. <laughs> oh, what spot's got different plans? <laughs> But what's got different plans? <laughs> what's about wants other things for the game? What's about wants different things for the game? 
Okay, you're back. Yeah, so we're gonna have to try for baby. I'm gonna take a bath. Oh, she needs a charisma skill point for her job. Luck and skill point. Daisy does want to perform for tips. Maybe she can go out to a lot and do that somewhere. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> yeah, for sure you haven't got stuff for that. You want it, butt's butt. <laughs> you want it, butt's butt. I don't, I don't, uh... <laughs> I don't know a good thing I'd go- Oh my god, the doggy watching the TV was cute. I- you know, I really don't know a lot about that side of The Sims 2 modding world. I don't know that I need to know. <laughs> but, uh... I'm sure there's some innovation out there. Although I'm sure the folks that are really into that side of things maybe are just on The Sims 4 now. You know? Maybe. Are you a happy girl? You okay? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She hoppied down. She hoppied down. What do? You want to do a hoppy up? You do a hoppy up? Let me see if I can get her. Oh, the baby! I see the baby? How dare you cover the baby? <laughs> kind of see her. <laughs> it's a baby! Oh, it got a scritchy spot. A scritchy spot. <laughs> Game's still going. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I got that. Got a harness on right now. <laughs> she has her harness on, so she's. I'm scritching under the harness. What do you think? You want to go down the stairs? She might. I think she might want to go downstairs. Oh, oh, that's a good spot. What are you thinking? Oh my gosh, oh the baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's funny. Good girl. Good girl, do you want to go down? Okay. I guess we hear here. <laughs> you shall you you y'all are in charge of the the Sims. Let's see. Oh, she's she's biting. We're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna leave the Sims for y'all to follow. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have returned. <laughs> I like that emote, the... Oh wait, I guess it's two different emotes. The eye and the glass, the magnifying glass. Quick, I have 20 kids! <laughs> When's the... We need the, uh... What is it? The crowd control? We need the crowd control integration for The Sims 2. <laughs> Imagine the chaos. That'd be wild. Her video vibes <laughs> sound like the word bort. Bort. Hello, a good scritch got spot spot <laughs> sky gaze. Yes, she's she's goofy. She's goofy. She loves getting scritched. She likes getting scritched. She's constantly in and out all day, and when when I let him out, I hook her on like a long leash, so that's why she just leaves her harness on all day. And I take it off at night eventually. Cause it's just like she's in and out constantly. Oh, Muppet Swedish Chef. Okay. Oh, these two are fooling around. Are these two... Okay. All right. In this lighting, her... She looks like a zombie in this lighting. What the heck? <laughs> a wild olive appeared. Enjoy. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. 
Mom, bum, 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 bum. Are they gonna woohoo? Are they gonna have baby? Stella wants a baby. Are we casual? It's just a casual woohoo. It's not a try for baby specifically. I don't know. Alright. Kristen's sleeping peacefully in the other room. Stella kids a groove on. <laughs> Wait, the puppy still peed in here. Did you not pee because it's all dirty? Oh no. Oh crap. Do I need to have the, the pad in here? Like to make it easier? Maybe I'll put it like in here. What if I'm a cheater and just do this? <laughs> and then they do this. Have it like it actually in here. I don't know if that'll be an issue or not. Do we have to clean it? Oh yeah. Alright, I didn't hear a baby sound. So let's try again at some point. Can you leave the puppy alone, ma'am? You need charisma too. Haven't you practice speech? I guess it's 2 a.m. and you're wide awake with full needs. Okay. She wants to perform for tips. Maybe she'll sneak out and go fool around or something. I don't know. It, it'll be morning before we know it. Who would she get with? Who does she have chemistry with? Olive Spectre? That seems dangerous. Lila. Lila's everybody's go-to girly. Joy Desperate. She has two bolts with Joy Desperate. What if she she made out with Joy? Gundren. Kevin Kyle. Glabe. Oh, Marilena Curious. That'd be interesting. <laughs> Puppy just keeps like getting off and getting back on again. What is he trying to do? Just, just sleep. I don't. There you go. It's like he just kept relaxing and not actually doing what he's supposed to do. Okay, she's awake. She's awake. Um, do you want to just like have cereal? You don't need the newspaper. What kind of teenager wakes up in the morning on a Sunday and goes, let me go get the newspaper. I'm really concerned about our, our current times. Let me go get the newspaper. All right, she's she's making herself some. Oh, okay, you're awake. Um, how about you come in and use the bathroom? And you're gonna need some cereal too soon. Here, I'll I'll cancel clean that. We don't need to do that right now. Puppy's dreaming about Daisy. Oh, that's true. The Sunday paper. Give me them comics. I get. I can see the comics. We still get the paper. I do. I do enjoy looking at uh, the police section because they have a whole section about who got arrested and who's like gotten in trouble and stuff. And being in a small town, everybody knows everybody. You know, it's kind of fun to to look into who's it getting in trouble. <laughs> you know, they they just list it out. They don't even care, which seems weird. But like, you know, oops, I forgot to delete the creepy mask. It's just floating here in space. Uh, I'm gonna clean that up. So what's she? She wants a first kiss. Oh, she has two bolts. <gasps> Wait, she has two bolts with Gary. Also, I didn't see her gender preference pop up. Did y'all, did we see... Um, adjust. Did I randomize her preference? Or should I see what it was? It says she's bi. I can just let her be bi. I don't mind. That'd be fine. I don't know. I guess we'll just leave it like that. Why don't I just turn this into... 
I think it's free or something. Maybe I'll put it here. We'll turn it into a littler thing. There we go. I think that's fine. But she has two bolts with Gary. Gary's like that weird little kid that we had age up to teen eventually. <laughs> Maybe she needs to try and get Gary out. Who are you? Duke? Duke O'Brien. Okay, Duke. You wanna actually, you wanna just like clean these up real quick? Maybe just, just real quick. <laughs> Welcome to the club, horse girly. <laughs> What is it? She wants to give love to oatmeal. She just really likes oatmeal. Yeah, I feel like she's going on an adventure to like... Maybe she'll go to Pleasant View. Maybe we'll go check out Pleasant View and see who we can run into. Oh, Daisy's got work. I didn't realize she's got work. How about... Um, oh, she's gonna go to work. Get out of the way, your mom's gotta... Stop playing your video games. Your mom has to go to work. Okay. You have to work today? She wants to talk to Lila. What if, what if the drama is she gets pregnant by Lila? Her and Lila have a thing. Wait. We're gonna call Lila. <laughs> Lila's always in trouble. Lila's always getting involved in everybody's mess. Invite over. <laughs> the girlies gonna girl. The girlies are girlying. The girlies are girlying. Also, this is filthy out here. Are you really neat? Eh, you're kind of neat. Another Lila love child, yes, but I'd hope for Stella to get. Pregnant. You, you're just checking yourself out. Okay, girly. I'd like you to give love to the doggy, but he's sleeping. But I guess we're going to interrupt him. Everybody... Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to stop that, but that's okay. Here, come and, come and make this bed, too. Why not? <laughs> Lunacy love boy. Hello, it is Bog again. Twitch has decided I do not deserve access to your stream. So you get elusive third Bog account. <laughs> that's quite a name. <laughs> Hello, Bog from the YouTubies. I wonder why you why is Twitch That's weird. Twitch is being I wonder what it's doing. Is it like not letting you log in? Oh Lila's here. That's strange. <laughs> Welcome, Bog. <laughs> oh, Holly Anderson's here. Should we say hi to Holly? Wait. There's a local teenager. Go interact with the folks. I'm on mobile. It's a hot mess. Okay. That's weird. Well, I'm sorry that's giving you a hard time. She thinks she's hot. Uh oh, she's telling a dirty joke and she... Oh gosh, Lila's trying to tell a dirty joke. Awkward. Also, Lila has the exact same hair as... as Daisy. I think I might give Lila a different hair real quick. Real, real quick. Jelly Bumblebee, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. There we go. We're gonna change. <laughs> Good luck to Bog with YouTube Mobile. Gave me fits. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I feel like Lila just needs like any kind of hippy dippy hair. Ooh, this is kind of neat. This is kind of neat. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Jelly? Oh, this. I see. I like the center part on her. I think something like this could work. I'm just going to keep looking a little bit. Oh, it's just not reconnecting on my end. You're fine. It's not really something. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. But I just, it sucks when that happens. This is an account I named as a child. So the name is dumb. <laughs> That's funny. It sounds like it does. It sounds like somebody's. OC character from when they were a child. <laughs> Trying to work on this final but failing to reach a conclusion, so stopping in to watch for the stream for a bit. Well, I appreciate that. Good luck with the final. I I don't I I don't I'm I don't miss having to do those things. <laughs> I do not miss it. I think I'm gonna give her this hair. Okay, they're getting the chat. 
I don't love how it hangs like down here, but that's okay for right now. Also, her face is stuck. <gasps> well, she wants she wants to flirt with Lila. Oh my gosh, the drama has begun. Uh oh, why can't we do regular flirting with her? Let me do casual flirt. Charm. <laughs> Olive oil, little baby. Olive oil, little baby. <gasps> A romance? She wants to kiss Lila, she wants to make out- Oh my god. The drama is happening. Well, but, like, Kristen's right here, she's gonna see! Christ, Kristen isn't reacting. They're, like, just barely behind the- the porch. They seem to be- these- these two seem to be getting along, though. This random child- this random- oops, I hit all the wrong buttons. I was panicking. This random teenage boy just walks by. <laughs> He's just like, oh. <laughs> They're over here. Look at these two. <laughs> They're like half behind the porch. And he's just like, I, okay. <laughs> and these two. I don't know how I feel about this new... I I used a different edge map. Like edge detail. It's supposed to be from... Strangerville? I don't know that it works. I don't really know why. Like this looks like it's snow. But I like that that part. Anyway, sorry, this, I'm, I'm off on a tangent, per usual. Okay. <gasps> she wants to woohoo with Lila! <gasps> should she try for baby with Lila? I think she should. She wants a classic dance. Oh my goodness. Wait, where did... Oops. Oh, I don't know, I just hit. What did I hit? Did I hit? Oh, I didn't. Let's classic dance real quick. We got the we got the romance unfolding on its own. I love it when that happens. When Sims just like kind of do it on their own. I like it. Here, let's let's do it the good old fashioned way. Good old fashioned way. Okay, Kara, thank you for hanging out. Oh. <laughs> Lila said, hold on, let me take a picture. Lila's taking a picture? Look at her fancy camera. Hello, <laughs> Lila? Why did, why, I just, <laughs> I didn't do, what? Oh, maybe that's what I accidentally hit. I must have accidentally hit, asked to take a picture. Okay, I guess, what are we going to take a picture of here? This is our damning evidence of, of Lila. Of, of us. <laughs> What's Lila going to take a picture of? We'll just, I, I guess, I don't. Boom, I don't think that snapshot turned out right. Maybe I should take another one. How about you don't? Ask Lila to join. <laughs> One day I'll be able to catch full stream. Yes, thank you for hanging out. Yeah, the R&B in the background from the TV is great. But thank you very much, um, Comey. Uh, <laughs> Kara. <laughs> thank you all. Also, thank you to Comey, you know, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Nut care, y'all. <laughs> Nut care is very important. <laughs> but Spot has given you one last parting gift. <laughs> one last parting gift from Butt Spot. Yeah, Lila coming in with the blackmail. We're gonna do it. I'm just going for it. Take care of your nut. W words to live by. Words to live by. <laughs> wow, mod favoritism. <laughs> also, thank you to Daydreamer. Oh, this is the first time for these two. <laughs> first time for these two. They're going at it. Oh, through the cacti. My button came undone. <laughs> Thank you for the mod love, Kobe. <laughs> Thank you for, for loving yourself. <laughs> uh oh. Daisy's book. Daisy has a book she's been meaning to read on her. I'm going to ignore that. I don't care about that one. I didn't hear that, Bex. Did that not play? Or did it play during the cutscene so I didn't hear it? <laughs> I don't think we actually got any baby sound. I didn't hear the alerts. Did you not hear it? Because I didn't hear it either. That's weird. 
Oh, mix sound is muted. Oh, hold on. I'll give you. Let me give you the baby one back. Why is it muted? That's weird. Here. Uh oh, let's cool down. The prank is dead now. I'm sorry. Why did that mute like that? That's so strange. Um, uh, because they played earlier. We heard the whistle and everything. Uh, here. Let me um. Which channel points? Sounds. There you go. Oh my God! It's baby sound. Oh my god, I thought it was real baby. You got me, Bex. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I remember I first saw this cutscene as a literal child. I thought that the little song that plays was a sleigh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Whoa, did they get pregnant? <laughs> there you go. You got your points back and you got a reaction. <laughs> and you got it to play. Okay, so that didn't work. Now she wants to talk to Daisy. What does she want to talk to Daisy about specifically? <laughs> Are they pregnant? <laughs> they are pregnant. I don't think she is. I don't think she got pregnant. I don't have silent pregnancy on. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Should I should I do it? <laughs> what what if I but like what if but like what if but like what if <laughs> like what if I just hmm what if <laughs> can hear you out <laughs> yeah flip a coin <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I want. Maybe I could just have him do it again. I could just do it again. Oh, Stella's gonna go in a carpool. Click <laughs> Sam, do it. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I don't know. Just to click away. But we'll try one more time. Let's have him get up. I'll have her do it again. Here. I'm gonna go. Lila, lay the hex back down. All right, we ain't done yet. It's like I ain't leaving till they have a baby. Uh oh, why can't I? Ugh, she's getting up. Lay down. Also, what are these granny panties, Lila? <laughs> like a same brain arp deco. Just as I said that, I looked over and saw your message. I was like, what are these? <laughs> what are these. We're gonna try. We're gonna try a jinx. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try for again for the heck of it. Also, this this poor. I feel like this dog. Is this dog stuck over here? Like, what's happening with this dog? Does he have a toy to play with? Can he not play with this? Is he gonna age up soon? I don't think he has any toys. He can. I guess they can't play with this one. Does he need a different toy? Oh, I guess the puppies can't play with these? Oh. Oh well. Yes, the doggy's name is Oatmeal. Look at little Oatmeal. I forget if he's a little dog or a big dog. Oops. He's just a baby right now. He looks like a little suspicious right now. Why are his eyes doing that? Oh. Okay, that was a real one. <laughs> that was a real one. <laughs> okay, we got a real baby one now. Now she's gotta go right to work. That was a real one. <laughs> that what happened. Lila's sleeping in the bed. Lila's, Lila doesn't care. Daisy's gonna come home from work. Do you think Daisy would get upset? What's Who's this? Who's out here? Ava Lindsay. Okay. Kristen just being a social butterfly out here with all the people. Oops, sorry. I'm like trying to see her. Who is she? Ava Lindsay. Hi, Ava. I still want to kind of take her to a lot and try to meet some folks. Who else is this? Marilyn Curious. Does Daisy have high logic? No. She has very low logic. 
So I guess there's a lower chance, although I rarely have that mod work anyway. I guess she has a lower chance of it. What are you, why, who are you talking to? Why are you talking to this girly? Oh, now she knows more people. Danny? She has two bolts with Loki Beaker. And three bolts with this Danny Towny guy. Interesting. Interesting. Also, hi, Holly. I didn't know you were here still. Welcome. Who this? Oh, it's Willow. Oh, Willow's hair changed, so I didn't recognize her. Willow Digmos, the infallibly good witch. Yeah, I'm not crazy with how this hair floats on her chest. See how it, like, floats? I hate it when it floats like that. I got, I'm got i fussy about that. <laughs> Holly's, Holly's here playing with her dog, and Lila's wandering around in her granny panties. This is great. This is great. Oh, we're having a pillow fight. These two seem to be getting along. They've made friends. Oh, they're gonna go play kicky bag. I feel like in here is a bad place. Uh oh, it's gonna get ruined because y'all can't route. Y'all cannot route correctly. Okay. My kicky bags never work. Yeah, a lot of the long hairs do it especially. I'm gonna leave it for now. But I probably will eventually change it. Oatmeal. I hear m the car pulling in. Lila, you might want to leave. I don't know. <laughs> what if What if Daisy... Wait, wasn't Daisy... Oh, all of Spectre's walking by with Bobo. One of her cats. Um, okay, Daisy got a promo. Daisy got a little promo, Sean. Okay, she is good. She's friends with, with Lila. Okay, she's very tired. How about you, um... How about you go sleep in... Not that bed. Sleep in this bed that, um... Your wife just cheated on you in? You know? <laughs> Lila put some clothes on. I know, she's kind of just chilling. Lila's very au naturel. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. Okay, why are you sad? What was that sad face? Lila's really just letting it all out. <laughs> I'll thank you for the ad break reminder. See, it does show up up high here, like in a weird spot. I don't know, it's weird. Bum -ba -rum, bum -ba -rum. Thank you for cleaning our dog bowl, Lila. You want to put your clothes on, Lila? Oh, I'm a little sad saying goodbye to everyone, but I'm here and I'm going to listen as I drive. I'm sorry that you're you're going through it, Dreamy. I'm sorry. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do some funny stuff. Yeah, drive safe is a very good <laughs> drive safe. Uh, nobody have fun while I'm driving. <laughs> We're gonna make you laugh so hard that that no, I don't want to. <laughs> I was gonna say something that you can't drive, but that sounds weird. <laughs> We're gonna have you la laughing. Oh, what's this steam? Oh, she made. I thought it was cereal. Let we save. Why does this look weird? Maybe that's so hard to crash. I'd prefer not to do that. I'd prefer that that was not what would happen. <laughs> no, please no. <laughs> please no. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of Dreamy once and for all. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of this annoying little brat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ramen noodles for dinner. That sounds yummy. I could go for some ramen. <laughs> so hard milk comes out your nose. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna make you laugh so hard that oh wait who's here wait who's here wait who's here somebody's dinging our bell oh it's Ophelia oh, we need to be fr Ophelia's like the coolest girl in in school we need to put away all of our also what is this hair this is not Ophelia's hair we're gonna have to gussy up Ophelia oh, hi we're gonna have to gussy up Ophelia I love Ophelia the milk you drank for breakfast. You want to know something? <laughs> I, okay, I feel like there's a, a different disagreeance among, fo among folks about, um, like, drinking milk. <laughs> uh, I feel like people either really dislike milk 
Or the milk that, or the milk that Dreamy didn't drink for breakfast? Question mark. <laughs> But like, I feel like people, there's people who get like really upset about the concept of drinking a glass of milk on its own or like on the side of something, you know? And then there's some folks who like will drink a glass of milk. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's very much, uh, people disagree strongly <laughs> about one or the other. I, I, I am a, I am a milk drinker. <laughs> In fact, I have a leftover glass of milk on my on my desk right now next to me it's <laughs> just like sitting here <laughs> it me i don't like milk <laughs> only as an ingredient or in cereal i get that there's one thing um i think we can all get behind condemning something my dad does putting ice in milk oof i hate that my dad did that too sometimes he, he i don't I haven't seen him do it in a long time but i think he does sometimes <laughs> i'm joining the war on milk <laughs> on the side of i have milk I have milk. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drink the milk live on stream. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not a milk drinker at all. <laughs> yes, get rid of me. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Loved dairy milk most of my life, but now it's just oat milk. Interesting. Filthy stream. <laughs> Filthy. This is this is where you draw the line, Comey. All of the nuts are fine. The nuts are fine. <laughs> but the. the <laughs> Dreamer, Dreamer coming in with the unhinged messages. I chugged some milk this morning. Two exclamation points. <laughs> I like that message. I'm also allergic to cow's milk. Okay, coconut. Um, it's gotta be in things, never straight. Yeah, I don't love. I've tried a lot of the milk alternatives. I'm not crazy about them. Um, like my coffee has to have. Uh, I usually I use half and half in my coffee. Chocolate milk's good. There's this one local brand that has some really good. <laughs> Where is the oats nut? <laughs> That's too much. I do love a good chocolate milk. Um, yeah, this one local company has some really good stuff. There we go. Let me update these. I should have been updating them all on the way, but I was just being impatient. Hello? That one doesn't want to update. That one's re oh, that one's not replaced. Interesting. Interesting. Um, there's one in particular I'm looking for for her. I might have already passed it though, because now we're at the hats. Although, hmm. surprised my game hasn't turned into a big pink soup mess again. At this point. Oh, I forgot there's a new cowgirl hat that I could I could use. I like this one, but that's not the one that I want for her. Where'd it go? Right here. It's like classic Ophelia, but clay. Interesting. Inchworm. We need a light out here. Like, it's dark. It's dark. Yeah, sorry, the ads. <laughs> sorry, let me turn on the ad here. I'll make sure not to do anything. Oh, <laughs> Dreamer, we did it again. <laughs> we did it again. Um, kind of like outdoor light. I just, I always go with these, which like I just use them on everything. There we go. Uh, do you have a a link to your spreadsheet? You mean the um, like my tracker? I don't know if I have a link to my tracker because I use I use Notion, a Notion program instead of like a regular spreadsheet program i guess um not only bumblebee win sims fortnite <laughs> butt spot butt spot <laughs> new nut nut just dropped for <laughs> jelly bumblebee <laughs> butt spot nut down <laughs> butt spot's going in going wild butt spot's losing what is happening <laughs> butt spot's replying to every message <laughs> Imagine a day where we have a butt spot meltdown where he literally just does every message. <laughs> yeah, I use Notion. I do have a video on my YouTube channel about how I set it up, if that's what you're um kind of interested in checking out. Um, let me do this in case. But yeah, I really like the Notion um a little bit better. I just it's like 
I just like some of the functionality of it. <laughs> Natalie Bumblebee. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, we got the Queen Ophelia. These stoplights are insane. Oh, the lights. Oh, <laughs> you stopped so much that you're able to type on the phone. OMG. Oh, she wants to go out with Gary. Ooh, she wants to have a party. Ooh, this is fun. Ooh, she's BFFs with Ophelia. Okay. Kristen and Ophelia are the cool girls. Also, why are we not sitting and, like, chilling with Ophelia? Let's, like, hang out with Ophelia. Like, if you're friends with Ophelia, you're, like, in the cool girls club. You know? You know? Also, we gotta fill the dog food. I think this dog just keeps getting in and out of the bed, and I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> okay, we're so back from the ads now. Okay, thank you for thank you for your patience with the silly little ads. Um, <laughs> you have been honored with a butt spot name. Butt spot tends to every once in a while replace uh, people's names with the nut, and it becomes their usually if they're if they're like in our Discord server they'll they'll turn it into their name on the discord server <laughs> they, they've you've been given an honorary butt spot name of nutley bumblebee <laughs> congratulations congrats okay these two are chilling we've got ophelia's here ophelia came knocking on our door and and lila's still here in her underwear lila's still here in her underwear i'm afraid to, have you not had a butt spot name yet <laughs> Hi, Carlo. Thank you. I put a lot of work into them. I have. There's, I have reshade and a, um, some really good defaults and uh, like a lighting mod and everything. And um, I'm really happy with where they're at right now. Yeah. I feel like they're at their best that they've been since I've been messing with them so much over the last few years. Looking forward to getting my name nutified. Yeah, you gonna see. We have to see one of these days. Maybe I need. I, we need a butt spot AI. We we need like a nut AI where he like replaces. We can just forcefully forcefully get nut responses. <laughs> I hope your notification comes. Wait, notification? 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 <laughs> Buttobot better do something fancy. Nut. What would it be? Nut, Nut Andrea? I feel like Buttspot would replace the 1999, so it'd be Alexandria X Nut. <laughs> Nut swag. You know. You know. You gotta clean them up. Are you gonna grab another bowl? You're still hungry. Okay. Alright. What are you pulling in? Oh. Over here. <laughs> yes, thank you, stealing this. <laughs> Alexandra Nut, 1999. Or what if it... Wait, you know what would be iconic? Is if it just replaces all of Alexandria with Nut. So it's just Nut X, 1999. That sounds like a great brand name. Nut X, 1999. <laughs> that would be a good one. <laughs> yeah, Party Nut. Party Nut. Mine was... It, it did Sammy Nut Dog, I think is what mine ended up being. That's what my name is on the Discord, at least. She wants a first kiss. She wants to go out with Gary. I think we're going to have to... to. So we have to ask permission from a parent. <laughs> That's true. Alexandria X Nut. <laughs> Daddy Dreamer. Yes, I think... What was it? Why did yours... Why, it was something we we were saying at one point for Daddy Dreamer. I think somebody said it to you. I think somebody, didn't somebody say Daddy Dreamer? And uh, did they mean maybe Dreamer in The Sims? Or something like that? And then it went from there. <laughs> nut x nut. That would be fun. That'd be great. <laughs> I think it was something like that. I really, I want her to ask permission to go out from Stella. Yeah, I think so. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like something Crystal Beth would say. <laughs> Like something Crystal Beth would say. I gotta be honest. I mean that with peace and love. That sounds like something Crystal Beth would say. <laughs> you know, nut squared, nut times nut. Okay, can we say goodbye to Lila and probably to Ophelia too because it's kind of nighttime. She, she's just sitting here eating all of our mac and cheese. 
I really would like to interact with Stella, but she's in the gosh darn tub. Taking ten years in the tub. Um, can we, like, ask... Are we allowed to... I guess we're not allowed to ask her to go sneak out. Like, maybe it's too late. We have to ask permission to go out. Ma'am? It's not helping. <laughs> An automatic exclamation is just Crystal Beth did it. <laughs> no questions asked. <laughs> Crystal Beth's gonna watch this back and be like, these, these jerks. These jerks. Okay, she's cleaning that up. I really want this puppy to, like, grow the heck up. Get comfortable? Oh my god, look at her, look at her, like, Stella's having, like, a meltdown. She's having, like, a panic attack. Look at it. There's so many pop-ups. <laughs> she's trying to get in there. N not them yelling at each other, ma'am. Yeah, I gotta wait till maybe tomorrow to ask for permission to go out. <laughs> I feel you, Stella. <laughs> I feel you. Okay. I'm gonna have her go to bed for the night. Do you mind just, like, cleaning up, ma'am? Let me go. I also get the thought bubble sim, IRL same. <laughs> the intrusive thought bubble spam. You know. You know. I think I'll have her go to sleep, I guess. Family's been kind of fun. They've been chill, but like some little, little bit of chaos here and there, here and there. Okay, now you're wide awake. She's a night owl, though, isn't she? She is. That's something. She wants to go out on a date. What if she asks somebody? Who's she gonna ask on a date? Maybe just her wifey, or Vidcrim. What if her and Vidcrim reconnect? What if her and Vidcrim reconnect? Oh, just wrote my conclusion. I just know this paper is complete and utter garbage. I will we will be editing it tomorrow. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you wrote your conclusion. That's a good that's a good start. I I much much rather having to deal with like tweaking and editing a, a already pretty much finished draft than actually having to come up with it all. Like being past coming up with it all is is a nice nice place to be <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> you know, being done with actually making it. Do you think Vidcrim would like? What if? What if? I mean, has she technically made out with Vidcrim? I guess that's the question, though. We need to. Has she? What's this? Made out with Stella. She's made out with Stella. She did make out with Vidcrim. Crap. Because that's the thing. She wants to have made out with three Sims, and going out with Vidcrim isn't going to help us with that. We gotta find someone new. Maybe she'll just... Maybe I'll cancel this. Maybe we'll not do this. Well, let me just look at chemistry real quick. But I don't think... Got a lot of chemistry. I think I might have her just go, like, on an adventure. Just, like, Pleasant View or something. Let me save. I don't know. That's a good question. I think I, think I accidentally told Lila to take a picture of Stella. And that's, so I think it's Styla, I think Styla. <laughs> I just mixed their names together. Maybe that's what their baby should be named, Styla. <laughs> uh, I think it would belong, I think it would belong to Stella. Let's go somewhere. I'm just gonna go alone. Let's go to Pleasant View. Let's see, a dunk in the pool, local business, boutique. Sure, we're just gonna go somewhere. We can go somewhere. Small town blues are trying to find a new person to make out with. <laughs> I hate when people say this, but it's true. Oh, yeah. What was it? The That means you're almost there. Might feel like crap now. I'm sure it is, but editing does wonders. Yeah. All writing is rewriting. Yeah. 
Styla. What a, what, a, what a beautiful name for a baby girl. Styler could be a good... Actually, Styler is not a terrible boy's name. Styla or Styler. <laughs> Although Styla makes me think of like a sty, like somebody who has a sty in their eye. <laughs> you know? I don't know about that. Styla. 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 Reminds me of that Reddit post of the guy who realized his wife named their baby after her ex. <gasps> That's wild. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Why would you want to do that? Ooh, oh, this is a fancy lot. I forgot about this lot. I forgot about this lot existing. This is a pretty chill little lot. Who we got here? I don't know if anybody's going to really show up. Edric Metcalf. He's got a neck situation. Wait, look at this girly. Cindy. I think we've seen her before. Cindy Belldock, I think is her name. Okay. Okay. I just want to see... Oh, God, it's chugging a little bit. Oh, uh, go on a mountain vacation. That's kind of fun. Oh, my God, it's chugging. I think everybody's, like, spawning in right now. <laughs> I gotta stop moving around. I guess, uh, I gasped when I saw Edric's thick lips. <laughs> he got some good lips. He's got good lips. What do, do not, <laughs> yeah, they nut at the store, and when he nut his unique nut me, the guy realized their nut was co coincidentally named that too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, jelly nuttle, nubble, nut bull bee. <laughs> Not finding out your nut has the same nut me. <laughs> so silly. That was a good one. Do you like it when he when Buttspot replaces like a whole world word with nut rather than mixes it? I mean, it depends, but most of the time. Oh, this is Parker Langerak. I think he's a teenager. Jamar Allison, Summer Langley. These are all just townies. Who are you? Do we own in? Who are you? Tyler Clarkson. This man's name is Jesus. It's Jesus Talbot. Why your head doing that, Jesus? Wait, why is everybody the way every because I think because of the way this is bumped up, like it has a foundation, the lighting is like hitting them, so they're like like they're having an anonymous meeting in the dark. <laughs> he's just like he's anonymous. Anonymous meeting in the dark. Um, but yeah, they met at a store, and when he told his unique name, the guy realized their child was coincidentally named that, too. Oh, my God. That's rough. That's, that's creepy. <laughs> I don't like that. That's, that gives me, like, second hand, second, third hand cringe. Okay, I want her to try and scope a lot, I guess, or scope room. Just see. Can I not scope room? Do I need to actually go inside here? Or do we have to... Am I not? Oh, right there. Yeah, the kid growing up and learning that too is like so weird. <laughs> yeah, 38 embarrassment. Summer is hot. Okay, she's into summer. She likes them a little bit, a little, little, little curvier. Loki Beaker's just here, sir. Look at him. Can we talk about Loki? Can we talk about the Loki problem? Look at his little eyelashes, though. <laughs> Loki's got nice little eyelashes. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, this girl is good looking, Miss Summer. Does Summer have a weird? Oh, she's got look. Look at she's got a little sparkle on her on her cheek, unlike her lip. <laughs> Corner of her mouth. Oh, Parker Lingrick. Now is Parker an adult? He looks like an adult. Wait. I thought he was... I guess he's not an adult. I guess... I, th I was thinking... I'm I think I'm confused. Oh. Daisy had an error. Oops. Can we not talk to Parker? Okay. No. I guess Parker is off limits. Um. Let's talk to, talk to Summer. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know. 
Nope. Okay, Daisy's having a meltdown. Daisy's having this is the Sims 2 version of social anxiety. <laughs> she's having she's having issues. Come back. Come back to me, Daisy. Ugh. It just double clicks sometimes when, when they don't register. Oh, does it sound weird? Oh wait, what is what am I reading? Imagine. Also, I, yeah, I missed your message earlier, day, uh, Daydream. The wireless USB mouse is clicking all funny because we've dropped it on the floor a couple times, but I don't want to buy a new one because it was eight bucks. Yeah, seven pound. Hmm. Um. Yeah, hopefully, maybe it'll. You tried like a fresh battery and everything. Obviously, I'm sure. Just double click sometimes when then then won't register other times. Um. Might be TMI, but my ex cheated on me with a girl who had my favorite name ever. It still bothers me because I kind of want to name the kid that. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's making up for the clicks it doesn't register. I have fixed the problem. Welcome back. <laughs> I like the, the use of Junior. Okay, now we have an interaction happening. I don't know what's going on. Or what do we do? Uh, macro socialize friendly. Why not? Oh my god, we're getting errors left and right. Uh, what is going Why am I getting errors on this lot? Socialize friends? I don't know. My, okay, I'm just talking to him. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go home. I mean, at least we know. We know. That somebody's here. I don't know what's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, you like the dreamer. <laughs> the dreamer. Cone. Oh, she had her cone on. Also, hi, Steven. Just arrived home from work to watch the stream. Very nice. Yeah, we'll probably go. I think we'll go for a little while longer. We're at five hours now. I'm feeling fine personally. Um, yeah, I think we'll we'll play. We'll try play and, and make some more progress on this household. Um I'm really eager to get to Pleasant View, so like I'm like, let's get through. Izzy can't make out with someone new if errors stop her, I know. I don't know what to do. I don't know why my game is goofy sometimes. She's in a goofy silly little goofy mood. Yeah, I like the I like to have the dreamer emote <laughs> it turned out. <laughs> yeah, thank you for hanging out, Alexandria. Have a good rest of your night or day. I appreciate you hanging out. It was fun it was fun chatting. Fun chatting. Yes, bye bye. Bye bye. Good goodbye, nut nineteen nut nut x nut x nut. <laughs> bye nut x nut. Have a good life. Nut x nut. Nut X nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Bye, Nut X Nut. Okay. Well, that was kind of a flop. That was kind of a flop. Four a.m. I feel like as a night owl, she should have a different job. What is her lifetime wish? I don't know. What kind of job, like? What kind of job would Daisy have that's more of like a night owl job? I don't really know. Welcome home, Dreamy. <laughs> you you didn't you didn't uh, crash, did you? I hope you didn't crash. <laughs> it seems that you've arrived home well. I didn't crash. Okay, <laughs> good. Just like Daisy for like, go out to places then have errors socializing too, yes. <laughs> uh oh, unless you're a ghost. Maybe this is your version of heaven. It's just like watching live streams <laughs> of The Sims. <laughs> Maybe this is it. It's a genuine fear of mine. Oh no, I'm just kidding. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Or hell. <laughs> oh no. Not knowing you're dead. Is I can see that being a being a fear. That's kind of, that's scary. That'd be scary. Okay, you're sleeping. There's just one <laughs> redacted, <laughs> redacted. There's just one uh, ghost show I like to watch. I, I feel like all of them are really dumb. Um, But there's one that I was watching because I decided to re-up my subscription for 
the Discovery Plus. What I think it's called Discovery Plus. And they have this one on there called Kindred Spirits. And it's like, it's like they always get some perfect EVP and all that crap. But I like it because they're like, they're always like, I don't think that they know that they're dead. <laughs> I don't think that they, we have to help them. <laughs> and it's just like every single time, <laughs> every single time. Yeah, I like it. I like um, it's if you're familiar with ghost shows, there's of course there used to be like the OG like the for what I think of as like the original show ghost show which was tapped I think I don't remember what they they're was it just ghost hunters or something was their like official name but it was the taps team and they uh it was like I forget the guy's names but it was like the two main guys were like a bald guy and like a shorter guy with black hair and like they were like the main crew back back then and then they had like a bigger group of investigators um, two of the investigators from that group made their own separate show. And that's what this show is, The Kindred Spirits. It's, um, yeah, was it just ghost hunters? Well, they hunted Bigfoot or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I remember, they were like the uh, one of the originals. Okay, the, the girlies are girlying <laughs> at 6 a.m. The girlies are girlying at 6 a.m.? You know. Um, but... Yeah, so it's like, it's Amy and Adam from that show. So it's like the girl and the gay hunting ghosts. <laughs> it's the girl and the gay hunting ghosts. Their, their show's called Kindred Spirits. But, looks away for two seconds, he's girly girly <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Girlies are girly -ing. Okay, so you're gonna have to go to school today. We're gonna have to try and ask for permission to go out with 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 Gary. Gonna have to try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's, what's funny is because of course I love dumb ghost shows and I do love ghost adventures, which is just like like my name's Zach Baggins and I'm gonna punch a ghost. And it's like very uh, they're just like very out of just out of pocket. Oh, here comes the the bubble the bubble the bump. Um and then. Oh, I did miss your comment. I can't one sec. Um, the this one is more the vibe is just like very chill. <laughs> They're, we're gonna help the ghosts. It was just I don't know. I like it a little bit better. <laughs> the bubble. But I'm having cookies for dinner, like a responsible adult. What flavor cookies? Hi. Oh, come in here. I tried to get olive oil to return. <laughs> I, I I tried to get olive oil to return. She had a toy in her mouth. <laughs> she looked cute. She was coming back in with a big toy in her mouth. I'm trying to get her to show off her toy. <laughs> Help the ghost. I don't know. They like they're like we're gonna ask the ghost questions to make to figure out what makes them happy so they'll stop being mean to the people that live here. <laughs> That's how they host Help the ghosts. Who is who is this? Tara Greer. Hi, Tara. Tara looks very suspicious. I think she's taking our newspaper. Okay. Honestly, the newspapers always pile up, so, like, you know what? You can take it. You can take it. <laughs> but being mean to the people makes them happy. <laughs> I've been stupid reels of a girl recreating ghost hunters. I've seen, I think I've seen some on TikTok where they, they dress up like, um, there's one I've seen that where they dress up like ghosts, uh, <laughs> like ghosts. No, they dress up like Zach. Uh, chocolate chip with M&M's. Ooh. Seeing M&M's spelt out with an and is wild. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> My mom has put lasagna in front of me because she's an adultier adult. Very nice. <laughs> eat the bowl. Eat the, eat the bowl. Eat the, eat the bowl. <laughs> eat the bowl. <laughs> Y'all have prawn crackers in the U.S. I don't, I don't know. I knew he would comment on the m ms Am I that predictable? I don't know what... I'm not sure. That sounds familiar. 
What is like, what is a, pro is that a brand name or a type of cracker? Because I also know that there's a difference in like the UK and the US, like, um, um, of like cracker and biscuit and like all those different words that there's some differences between them, but like how they're used. Okay. It's like a, almost like an, maybe like an oyster cracker. We, there's an oyster cracker, which are like little round puffy things. Oh, they, t oh, they taste like shrimp. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of something different then. Say some prawn crackers. We usually you have to get them from the Taiwanese grocery store. Ah, okay. Oh, most Asian stores sell them. Okay. I, I, no, I guess I haven't. <laughs> Fox Club's real excited about the prawn crackers. <laughs> real excited about the prawn crackers. Okay, we got... Oh, oh, Stella got 200 bucks from Lila for child support. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. We call them shrimp crackers, though, because American. Okay. How about you actually put these away? Put away the leftovers. I'm gonna let you just fill up on that. Use this. I guess she can work on some skills. What she want for cooking skill? We could do that. She needs charisma, too. I kind of want her to gain charisma. Is her lifetime wish this? Oh, it is. Interesting. Uh, why don't you practice speech? Then we can work on maybe the, the cooking skill. Maybe, maybe. Oyster crackers, shrimp crackers, and prawn crackers are technically different things. Okay, they're flavored differently. Okay. I only found some vegan ones. I'm so happy because I haven't had a prawn cracker in years. Ah, okay. And shrimp crackers are jumbo here. Interesting. Oyster crackers are uh, way different from shrimp, though. Okay, yeah, I was thinking of the, the ones that go with soup. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I haven't had the, the shrimp or prawn type. Okay, there we go. She got her skill point. I'm gonna have her... Oh, no, she wants... Now she wants level three. For, we'll let her go at it. I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, Kristen's home. Yeah, I need her to try and ask somebody permission. Did she? Did you bring a friend home? No? Okay. Can she... How do they ask how do we ask permission to go out ask per oh just okay i think maybe she has to be f maybe it has to be from her mom specifically rather than just stella i don't know if that makes sense or they don't have a high enough relationship well they're besties though hmm but she's not like a parent i guess even though like they're married Right? Aren't they? Are Stella? And, yeah, Stella and her are married. I don't know. That's all right. I'll try and just wait to ask her mom. Uh, let me see the one you're currently eating. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen those before. Those look like they could be yummy. I used to eat like a whole lot of oyster crackers back in the day, but times change. <laughs> a little and round, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I effing die for them. <laughs> crackers are giant here. They can be the size of an adult fist. Wow. And what are you exactly using that for? Like, you're just eating it as is? Like, you, that seems huge for it to be... To be eating that, like... <laughs> are you dunking it in something? <laughs> you're dunking it in something? Woodcrackers here are like the size and consistency of a Cheeto. Interesting. I'd better be getting some salsa or something with it, you know, or some sort of dip. Alright, girlie's enjoying herself. I might have her do her homework. She does want a skill point. Maybe she gets some body skills. She's always a very kind of athletic sim anyway. We don't have a lot of fun stuff going on out here. I feel like we need more things. What kind of... What kind of things could we give her? We can't really give her, like... <laughs> you know what would be funny? Wait, can I... Am I allowed... Isn't there... No, I guess... Hmm. No, I might be thinking of something else. 
Never mind. I think I'm thinking of the wrong Sims game for the object I'm thinking of. No, I'm not. Never mind. Let's see. What's what kind of workout gear can she have? She could have she could get into the sports. What if she does the sports? What if she does a sport? You know? She seems she's a sporty gal. She's a sporty gal. I'm gonna like level some ground here though. I don't know, though that might be annoying because they tend to like get obsessed with the goal. So we'll see how it goes. I might have to delete it. Mostly air, like a cheese puff. They're just ridiculously large. That's so weird. But the whole story of my work is that a few months now, someone has been telling doing thing I wasn't supposed to, even though I thought it was okay. Friday, my boss said she was going to put me on probation, which is yes. Put me two weeks in. Wow. I think someone didn't like me. I have my suspicions as as to who. And therefore was targeting me. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. That's that's rough. I definitely have had some sort of sort of situations like that a little bit. But that's that sucks. I guess it sounds like it's better to be done with that place anyway. You know. Okay. Oof. This is nasty. You need to clean this up. Oh, but she wants to sneak out with Ophelia. Interesting. Yeah, it's good to get out of there. Yeah, it's weird that, like, they would just say probation instead of, like, warning you or letting you know that you did something wrong. Right? Like... Yeah, I hope they go down. <laughs> Uh-oh. In five minutes, I have to start editing another final paper. Oof. Oof. Ma'am, are you trying to sleep in this bed? This is... I'm still having some errors with a bed in the game. I took out, like, this one mod that I had that had to do with, like, Sims choosing the right bed to sleep in, and I and I'm, it's driving me nuts. I can, I can feel the difference. I can feel the difference. No, look at you coming in right in here and sleeping on this white one. Go sleep in here. Wait, wait, wait. Before she does that, let me see if I can get Kristen to ask her. Ask permission to go out. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. She got permission to go out. Okay, cool. So she can go out tonight. Go we'll sleep. So does that mean she can call? Do, still, do we still have to wait? Uh, Ma'am? Uh, didn't I click on this bed just now? Did I misclick? Uh-oh, you're gonna scream when I tell you? Oh, God. I mean, she was calling me into the office for stupid things like, you said something to a member of the staff they didn't like, but the whole... You were watching the kids is new. Yeah, that's strange. That's right, and I forgot you mentioned that you do something with, with taking care of kids and stuff, so that's... Uh, what was... I worked at a shitty uh, discount store called B&M, and the manager was off me because I stood up for myself. I knew my workers' rights. Ooh, good for you, though. See, that's that's what I was always bad about. When I was when I was working places, um. Also, wh why is AJ invited himself in? <laughs> why, is, why is AJ? You want just? How about you just join t watching TV with AJ? I don't remember greeting AJ, but hi, bud. How you doing? I hope they go down, but the kids are okay. <laughs> we used to have an issue with the the last the one. Well, wasn't the last place I worked, but it was the place that. I worked for like a, a long period of time. They um, had an issue with, you know, what do we save? The the bosses, it was a small store that was owned um, like by a local couple and there wasn't like any sort of management. It was just them. Like you were just working directly under them. And the issue that we always ran into was they were just too, I don't know what it was, but they would never like, tell you like if somebody if they didn't like something you were doing they would they would gossip about it to your co-workers on the day you weren't there and then they would then your co-workers would say the bosses said this about you that's how you found out if you were doing something they didn't like <laughs> it was just the most absurd what did you my best 
my boss, my boss, my boss sat with me today and said that she was having me leave today because the money she could have used on the rest of my two weeks she'd rather use to buy the kids better Christmas presents. Wild. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess she can enjoy uh, not having extra help. Like, what? Okay, it's like, all right. <laughs> Jeez. That sucks. That's wild. Oh. Bless you. A sneezing. He's a sneezing baby. <laughs> the yeet. They do. They run. Hi. What's wrong with you? Olive has returned. Do you want to do an uppy? You want to do an uppy right here? It's an uppy. Hi. Yeah, that's wild. I'm sorry that you had to deal with all that. That's crap. No one didn't like you. Um, to be called in the office. That's wild. <laughs> I see Olive Tail. I don't know if she's on camera. She's mostly on camera. She's kind of to the side. <laughs> kind of a little off to the side. Anyway, yeah, these two are just kind of chilling. Hello. I do baby stuff. I do baby stuff. Oh, it got scritchy. She's getting the scritchy again. <laughs> she's getting the scritchy again. We got double Olive. Two olives this 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 round. Oh, we got. Hi. We oh, got stretch, honey. I gotta do my thing. No, but I know, but what you want to be scritchied more? <laughs> she can hear the whistle. Can she hear the whistle? No. <laughs> I don't. Well, she might be able to do a little bit. <laughs> she got itchies. She got itchies. Okay, I thought they were playing. Okay, AJ decided to not play with us. It's funny because in my Strange View, like my Strange View series, um, yeah, Pa, now she's silly. I have a co-streamer now, yeah. Um, in, in our Strange View series, AJ and Kristen are married, so it's like funny for them just to be like chilling here together in early, the early Strange View. They shoot out with AJ. Hi. Well, like, what's up? Like, do you need something? Are you just being fussy fussy? I'm being the fussiest of them all? You're just kind of being the fussiest. I'm just kind of being the fussiest. Oh, excuse you. Why are you, going, why are you coughing? Okay, you want this off? <laughs> Friends to lovers, maybe. <laughs> you never know. Let me go, I took off her little harness. Thank you for the lurk, Daydreamer. Ugh, you gotta be brushied. You feel like you need a bath, too. It's a good baby. I know. I wish I- I need, like, an alternate camera that I can, like- it's like the olive cam. I can twist it to show you her on the floor here. <laughs> She's being cute. Okay, this is not having a, a shootout? Like, I thought I asked to do the shootout, and instead we're- okay. Also, we're supposed to call up our buddy to, like- Pick us up. We're supposed to call our main man Gary. We gotta sneak out with Gary. Well, not sneak out. Go out. Here, why don't you just like have a snack or something? <laughs> Olive needs her own gamer chair. We need a doggy gamer chair. She's she's chewed on something and she's like coughing a little. I don't know what her deal is. Kind of like trying to just. Are you okay? I'm being a goober. Did you get dinner and stuff, or are you a hungry girl? Did somebody else give you a dinner? No, that's not what I said. I didn't say I was- oh god. <laughs> I don't know if I get the reference. Oh, she's nibbling on me now. Ow, honey. I was them, though. One of the places I applied to reach out to me, and they're paying anywhere from 17 to 21. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Okay, now you're trying to do... Okay, the soccer goal might be an issue. Run the loophole to start my editing. I'm going to replenish my mug of tea and my water and light my candles. Yes. The the, the familiar procrastination methods. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was always in school. I was the one that very much procrastinated until the last minute. And then, like, just, like, just obsessively, just, like, 
put it all in through the last few, the last, like, little bit of time I had left. I just, like, gave it my all. And then I would get, like, really good grades and be rewarded for that behavior. <laughs> so I would do it again. <laughs> that, that was my experience. Who are you? Oh, she, she's, she's admiring AJ. Okay, we gotta, okay, I like AJ. It's fun, but there, we gotta talk, we gotta call Gary. But it still says sneak out. Weird. Okay, that's fine. Sam has a degree in nut studies. Yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm Ella Noob. I have paper due tomorrow that I haven't started yet. I'm with you. <laughs> oh no. We gotta call Gary. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. I'm sorry, I'm getting my degree in nut studies. I'm just getting mine in history. Well, that's pretty cool. I feel like learning about a lot of history can be neat. I just got a very boring, generic degree in business management, <laughs> which I'm definitely making use of. <laughs> you know. Oh, I think AJ just got bit by our dog. I want this puppy to age up. I need to age up. Maybe I should just, like, force age the puppy up. Yeah, history is very cool. I agree. I do enjoy historical things. Historical things. Bus bus bust a nut management. <laughs> That's what I read that as. Alright, come puppy, age up. Girly got a bump. Girly got a bump. A sneaky degree in English, secondary education. I've got my master's in busted nut management. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you know. <laughs> the pin. <laughs> Congratulations, you've earned a pin. <laughs> You've been you've been honored with a butt a, a butt spot nut name and a pin. <laughs> yeah, I think English, although an English degree is interesting too. I feel like there's always a lot of interesting stuff with like reading and literature and stuff because I assume that's mostly what like an English degree is, isn't it? Is it like literature kind of based, or is that more? I don't know if I'm mistaken that. I bet you just sleep for a little bit. You're gonna have to go. You gotta try and pay attention. Uh, I, why is this like so cute? Look at the way Chris um, Daisy's like looking into the mirror over the tub while her wifey's taking a bath. It's just like it looks cute. <laughs> They're just like chilling in the bathroom together, taking pictures of them. I like Daisy's little mole that she had. Yeah, Daisy's little mole. Miss Friend got her degree in technical writing and then mas master's in literature. She's so good at writing. Has a poem published. Interesting. That's cool. That's cool. I had to take a few language studies classes. Okay. I love languages. I love, like, different languages. I love hearing different languages. Like, one, I just love listening to music in different languages and, like, watching shows in different languages and stuff. I don't know. I just, I find it really cool to just, like, listen and see other languages. <laughs> I, I don't know. I wish, I always said that, like, you know that, like, thing where it's, like, if you could have any superpower or any special thing and what would you wish for? I'd love to, ha like, be able to speak all languages. I think that'd be so cool. Be able to speak and write all languages. <laughs> English is my first language. I can barely speak it or write it. <laughs> yes. I had uh, read the uh, oh, Canterbury Tales in Old English. Don't ask me about it because I had no fucking idea. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Reading something in Old English is very interesting. Oh, I hear our, our man pulling up. I hear Gary. We, we got to... Oh, Gary's got the limo. Gary, like, broke my... Okay, Gary. Maybe it's because... So I have a mod that makes it to where the limo doesn't show up. It, it makes them show up in, like, a little car. 
But since Gary's a townie, maybe it's not working? Yeah, prom night? Look at Gary. Look at Gary. I love Gary. <laughs> I love Gary. <laughs> I guess it was Middle English, but that doesn't sound as cool. I mean, yeah, I get it, though. But I mean, it's still old. <laughs> like, you can still call it old, I guess. I don't know. I love language, even though I can only speak English and, you know, like a few German words and some French words because Canada. Yeah. I'd like to learn. I'd like to get better at French because I do. I live like right below Quebec and I would love to be able to like just like go chill in Montreal sometimes. Like, that'd be cool. Go for an adventure to Montreal once in a while. But like, I'm too afraid of French Canadians. <laughs> the French Canadians scare me. <laughs> and I don't know French. I like Gary. I also had to uh, read the most boring-ass epic poem called Paradise Lost. It was about the Bible. Ugh. Ugh. Are we paused? What's happening? Are you getting up, ma'am? <laughs> Fair, that could be a test. <laughs> I'm just, I've had a lot of experience with... Oh, she's trying to sneak. Even though she got permission, she's still trying to sneak. Hopefully they don't get mad at her. I think they're gonna let her. I think they're gonna let her. Uh, I wanted to be polyglottal and still do nicely, but I feel that it's easier to learn languages with actual teachers than books or... Yeah, probably. I don't know. I got really, really dedicated to Italian for a while. I learned Italian, um, and I've, I, I got to the point where I was doing pretty good and, like, being able to make sentences and stuff, but then I, I lost, I lost, I got distracted with other stuff and kind of dropped it, and I lost a lot of it. Um, but I, I really enjoyed Italian because then I started also learning Spanish at the same time, which would seemingly be make like things much more confusing. But I think because I knew so much of the like a, a, a lot of the basics of Italian that like made the Spanish a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I wish I could. I'm the biggest sinner <laughs> being gay and a woman. <laughs> oh, boy. The professor loved Milton. Wanted, I wanted to die. The man read that poem was like his wife depended on it. Oh, his life to his wife. I think <laughs> the man read that poem like his wife depended on it. Okay, you're just chilling and eating some chips. We're just kind of vibing here. We're just chilling with the the folks. Chilling with the folks. There you go. It was interesting, like, <laughs> baby? <laughs> baby? Yes, yeah, she has, she is baby. She is with child. She is with child. But, uh, this morning when I went to check in with my, uh, my grandma to help her with some of the usual stuff that I go by and help her out with, she had needed me to change a bulb. And she, it was a little lamp next to one of her chairs that she sits in. And she, um, <laughs> oh, I didn't realize she was with child until I saw her, saw her waddle. <laughs> but she was telling me, she's like, I was, I, I tried, I couldn't turn on the lamp this morning. I, I was trying to sit down and read my Bible and I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't read it because the lamp was out. And so I had to fix her lamp for, and I'm just like, I just, I don't relate with the idea of just sitting and reading a Bible in the morning. I don't know. It's just very fascinating to just do that. <laughs> to just do that. <laughs> like you just, you just do. <laughs> Let's leave the lamp off, Granny. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. Hmm. The Bible fandom. I know. <laughs> you know. And it's like, I know people do it, but it's just fascinating. I'm like, what do you read? Did you did you already read what do we what you just pick a page? Do you just pick a section? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they're always saying it in sections. <laughs> Very Ma Ingalls from the little house. I don't know. Okay, you, you're pretty chill here. What time? It's 3 a.m. and y'all are, like, wide awake? She wants to talk to her wife. I guess they can chat. <laughs> There's certainly not any here in the land of sinners. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how thin the paper of the bells are. The text is so tiny. Yeah. The most toxic of fandoms. I will say that my grandma is not one of, like, the kooky ones. She's very chill. But, like, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. 
They also like to change the words to suit their- yes, true. Okay, they're- they're chatting, they're having a conversation. Who wants to see a ghost? Be saved from death. Charisma skill? We could do skill. We could do some charisma. Can I practice speech on this one? Could she just, like, stand here? Also, welcome back from your adventures. Oh, never mind. Somebody's, uh... Here. Here, go here. What if we got her a... Uh, I feel like she needs her own little... mirror in here to maybe learn from? For now, just so she doesn't have to be, like, in the way in the bathroom? I uh, return it after getting tea and water and lighting Christmas candles. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, what do the Christmas candles smell like? How do we get into talking about the Bible? <laughs> Good question. I don't... I, I told the story about my grandma. <laughs> and read... I need church girl. Read her Bible. Go to church and read her Bible. Uh... I don't know... Uh, yeah, I think I, I, for some reason, was inspired to tell the story about my grandma needing me to change a light bulb for her, and then, <laughs> I don't know, it went from there. <laughs> it went from there. There you go. Practice speech. Yes, you. You're a knowledge sim who wants to learn things. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, God, Comey. <laughs> the butt spot attack. The butt spot attack. Very nice. We got a tree. Oh, tree farm and balsam fire. I like balsam smell. Thank you to the animal Christmas candle sale from Bath and Body Woods. Very nice. We got um, tree farm and balsam firewood. Nut you to the animal. The animal? <laughs> the annual nut miss candle sale from Bath and Nuttity Nut. <laughs> I like going to Bath and Nuttity Nut too. <laughs> I still didn't get nut named. You didn't. Yes, concentration is creative right again. Oh, Castro. Okay, I see. Interesting. I, I remember taking creative writing classes in, in college, but like, I didn't do a ton. <laughs> Not usually get in my current job. Like, who, who, you know, I think it's fine to just like, it's. I think it's completely fine to just enjoy studying a thing and not necessarily have to work in a field for that thing. Like, it's fine to just be passionate and learn about a thing. You know, like... Some like portrayal of <laughs> Super Hard Milton's Paradise Lost. Isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness, we got some we got some big brain chats happening. <laughs> I'm not smart enough. Okay, you're doing this. <laughs> Why all the English majors out tonight? <laughs> Add starting fire. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I've seen people who have a chat bot that lets, like, that pops up in the chat like everybody can see. <laughs> Why are you my professor? <laughs> Interesting. I, I, I think it's, I think, I wish I was a little bit more on top of reading. I go through phases where I get really obsessed with reading, and then I drop it. I'm sorry, we're kind of not, we're just like chilling here. She still wants to go on a date with someone, and I just don't know who. I just don't know who it's going to be. We need, like, a dating... We need an app that gives us, like, a dating website for The Sims. Can you put away these leftovers for now, girly? What are... Oh, what skills does she need now? She needs creativity and logic. Ooh. We don't have a ton of skilling stuff here. Maybe... I might sell this back because it just... I don't know. It's just kind of annoying. We'll get some other body skill thing, but she needs creativity. She did want to... She wanted to, like, perform for tips at one point. Maybe we can do that. We can put her, like, some stuff out here. Maybe I'll sell this since Kristen's grown. I mean, she can still sell it as a teenager, but probably won't. Um, What kind of... What's she going to do? Maybe she'll just put a guitar out here. Um, And then she needed logic, so I think I should put, like, a little chess table out here or a can I do a nice little one of these guys there we go spending our money spending our money oh she's going off to work anyway well well I 
us humanities and our existential dread. <laughs> we wish it depends on the book. If I get into one, I can't put it down. Yeah. Yeah. I had gotten, like... I, I had, like, a, a little collection of, like, scary books, like, horror books and stuff that I was enjoying some of them, and then, like, some of them I got frustrated with, and then I, I ended up... That got me, like, out of my, my loop. Who is this? Sue Tyler. Let's look at Sue Tyler's fit. Okay, hi, Sue. Got a little head wrap and a little pink dress. I don't know that they match necessarily, but that's fine. You can do whatever you want there, girly. You can do what you want there, girly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the sad humanities majors live here, apparently. <laughs> do I attract these folks? What is what? What is it? <laughs> Is it The Sims? Or, or all the, is, it that, is that what it is? It's The Sims. All the sad humanity majors uh, enjoy The Sims. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> My senior year was tired, okay? Oh, the humanity. <laughs> oh, the, it's because we're all gay. <laughs> Maybe that's it. There's a strong connection between the gays and The Sims. Let's be real. You know? You know? Oh, gay, tired, and love the Sims, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, girly. She's going off to school. We're just having some run-of-the-mill. It's already, uh... I don't know. I might be getting ready to wrap up soon. I don't know yet. I'm kind of just chilling. We're just kind of enjoying this household. Although I could... Hmm, we're already Tuesday. I could just push through the next, like, we could just kind of fast forward the next couple days and just get through playing with this household, too. That could be kind of cool to get them out of the way. Then we'd have just one more household before playing Pleasant View, which I'm excited about jumping into. Um, I'm going to ignore that. Also, I don't know if we might watch a machinima tonight. We could do some machinima enjoying. I don't know what machinima we should watch, though. I Like, I don't know what... Uh, rock it out. Sure. I'm just sitting right of things. Also, why are you sleeping in her bed? You're sleeping in her bed. This round, no. I could never. I could not do another household tonight. We have one more household after this one, so. But we'll try and maybe just finish up mostly with these guys. Like, I don't need to play all the way through the day. Okay, something here that's making her not be able to use this desk. Is it this thing? She seems to think about that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this household. That's what I meant. I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> Let me finish this household now. Thanks for making it made just melted my brain. Yep, there you go. Sometimes correlation does not... <laughs> I think there really is a correlation between the Sims and games because a lot of Sims... I know play. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I almost just said a lot of Sims I know play gay. <laughs> a lot of Sims I know play the gays. It's kind of weird. Someone more sciencey than me do research. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like correlation does not equal causation, so it's like, um, was the Sims one of my gay awakenings? Yeah, or is it just that it attracts the folks? I don't know. I don't know. And thank you, Dreamer, for the little ad. I didn't do it this time. <laughs> you did it. I wait. I I didn't do nothing. Okay. What do you want? You still want charisma? How's your needs, though? Your needs are fine. Go practice your speech. Oh, it didn't count as going out with Gary. I'm gonna grant it because it, it we did go out, even though it just didn't work right. Buy a handheld game. She wants to buy a game. She wants to buy a little handheld game like the one she's playing. Like, what? Uh, throw a sports party. Sure, we could, I could see her doing that. EBFFs with Holly? We could call Holly back over, I guess. Let's invite Holly back over. Yeah, so The Sims is our outlet. There you go. That's true. Um, that's not Holly. Holly's a redhead. I'm 15 and this is deep. <laughs> you know. Uh, 
Let me try and do that. Oh, so yeah, I wanted the puppy to age up. Oh. Oh my god, I was like, what is happening? Why did she just run in here? Because <laughs> because they're just giving birth. I was like, what? It took me a second to like... <gasps> There's two! Oh no, it's behind the ad! I went to pause! Wait, oh no! I feel bad for the people behind an ad! No! <laughs> no! Oh, that's almost over. <laughs> There's a head left. <laughs> Pause. We're gonna wait for the end to be done. Oh my god, but they missed the surprise of it being two. It was two. Nothing is happening behind this ad. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Six, four, three, two, one. Beep. Welcome back from the ads. If you are stuck behind an ad, we, uh, she started giving birth and we have a surprise of two babies. You just turned it on the TV, ma'am. And we're back. <laughs> All right, we got a surprise of twins. Which is pretty rare considering I have the, the triplets and twin... Wait, but why am I seeing three? But there's three! <laughs> it said twins! But there's three! <laughs> it was triplets, but it didn't say, right? It doesn't say because it didn't get... I have, the, I have the triplets, the quads... The triplets and quads and twins mod and stuff. I haven't had... It says twins if there's any multiple. I figured, okay. I have not had triplets at all yet, period, since adding the mod. Because I have it such a low percentage, it's so rare. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, because it's not programmed for that, right? That makes sense. I didn't think of it, though. So, so that means anytime it says two, that means I have to be afraid. <laughs> period. What? <laughs> yeah, it's too bad that it doesn't, but I understand it. Oh no. This is worse than I thought. Look at this little tiny house with three babies. Are you kidding me? She's just handing out kids. She's like, here, you take one. Are, are, are they all got alien skin though? So I guess that covers the fact that they might be Lila's. Or they are Lila's. <laughs> Lila has so many children now. <laughs> one for you, one for you. She's the Oprah of babies. You get a baby. I know, whenever it says twins, we gotta brace ourselves. So it's gonna pop up these two. So we got two girls and I think a boy. Because the girls have this green. This one's got a little green on, this one's got green, and then this is the boy color. What the hell are we naming these babies? Do we want to go Styla? <laughs> Styla? I don't know. What's what's a what's a what is this reminds me of my pleasant Benita Caliente had, quad had quads in a studio apartment. Oof. Oof. We need, like, double double layered baby cribs. We need to just set up, like, see, the see, we've got see, we've got three perfect big drawers here. We just gotta put some bedding and then put drill a couple of air holes and we can just kind of slide them in and out, you know? Sneaky and Styles. Styla and Alice. <laughs> Alice. Hmm. Alice, what is, wait, what is Alice a mixture of? Or is it just a made up name? Stinky and Styles. <laughs> um, that's Stella, Styla. If we did, what if we did something inspired by like Daisy? Sorry, there's a bug. I'm like, <laughs> I'm swatting a bug. Oh, it's Styla backwards. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Alice. Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Ren and Stimpy. Alice is the Welsh spelling of Alice. Oh, I like that. We could do that, because then it's like, it's kind of like the backwards one, but without the T. Right, or no, yeah. Um. Yeah, or do we want to do Alice? We could do Alice. Allie and Sty. <laughs> Pig Sty. We could do that. I'll do that. We'll do we'll do Alist. And then what's the boy? Yeah. 
<laughs> that's you where the yeah the T is silent yeah Alice Styler and mistake <laughs> Stylo I don't know if I want to do another sty I don't I don't know if I want to do something similar to Styla um Lyle oh that's true like Lila but like a yeah Stylo is a gorilla stock oh is it really I guess I like the gorillas but I guess I don't remember I'm not good at remembering stuff sometimes. Lyle. I do like Lyle. Tylo. Ooh, Tylo's also good. What kind of like Tylo? Lilo? <laughs> Leland? No, I don't know if I like. Hmm. I like. Mm, Lyle is good. Maybe we'll do Lyle. Then they all have like a, a Y element. Oh, not me just typing Lila. <laughs> Lyle. I think that could work. Give it a flower name so Daisy gets suspicious. <laughs> we could we can lie to, to her and say, these are uh these are flower names from our from our uh from from my home planet. <laughs> we got Leland. <laughs> he killed he killed Laura Palmer stop spoiler, oh no. Unique names, yeah. They're kind of weird. And I don't usually go that route, like, made-up names, but, like, why not? Why not? Now we got three gremlins, and you're gonna put them on the floor. Well, you wanted a baby? Congratulations, you got three. Now here's actually, what if... Hmm, I went and bought them some stuff, but I think we're gonna have to delete some of our things. I think we're gonna have to buy, buy this back to try and get some money. Because, like... I think I might have to make a room right here. The aliens, it's fine, yeah. Let's see, if I do... Like this... I'm just to like, delete this guy. I'll just enclose it. Keep it simple. Keep it a simple. Oops. Mm. That's annoying when it's like on an edge like that. Oops. I'll just do that. That's fine. Um I'll just stick this guy in here. How much money we got left? We still got some money. Oh, we got a tree in here. I missed it. What are the, what are the genders? There are uh, two girls and a boy. Two girls and a boy. So that would be interesting. Uh, and yeah, and they are the children of Lila and Stella. So that's quite a pairing. I mean, they'll be very pretty. They'll be good looking kids. We know that much. There'll be some good looking kids. But, uh, you know. You know what I should do is delete this and put that toddler door just in preparation for the menaces that they are going to become you know all my sims kids are ugly maybe that's because your sims are ugly you ever think of that <laughs> maybe maybe you need prettier sims like just stop being ugly just stop just tell them to stop being ugly you know I don't know what like, color I want. What about like a little lavender moment? A little lavender. They are. <laughs> Uses face one solely now. <laughs> oh no. That's the machinima method. That's the machinima method. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. My Myermel? Miramel? Thank you. Welcome in. Just tell them to fix their face. <laughs> oh my god, my sims are saying. <laughs> tell them to fix their face. Tell them to, just tell them to cut it out, you know? The paw prints are fun. <laughs> I gotta like that one. I want a kooky, I want a kooky little fun moment. Like, what about... We have some, like, a crown? I don't know. I don't like this crown thing. Oh, we got some roses. This doesn't really match. I wish that was a different color. I don't know, I might just go with the, the purple. The purple. 
The purple. Three girls and three boys. I have the template with the nose that goes up too high. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if I I don't know if I know. You know what I I do need to download. Somebody mentioned to me once um that there's like a custom crib that's like a little bit smaller and they like go right next to each other and there's I've seen it before where it has like a little mini changing table in between them. I need to get that. That seems more useful. Uh, we gotta get the cheap cribs. I'm, I'm gonna try this assigned cribbed. I don't the cribbed, cribs. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try. Oh, I forgot. I do have like a little. There we go. They got they got books. They got purple. Yeah, it's useful for smaller homes. I'll have to try it out. I don't know who it's like by or anything. But I think it'll be cool. Hi, Cassie G. Assigned crib. Yes, they're pretty cool. The only downside is um, the nannies don't seem to pay attention. I don't know. Maybe I should have made this one tile bigger. I feel like this is going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. But like, what if... Do you think technically <laughs> wait wait <laughs> hear me out <laughs> do you think technically this <laughs> functionally would this technically work <laughs> would that you, we gotta try it <laughs> we gotta try it <laughs> bunk cribs like would it just like maybe it work i don't know <laughs> i got it i'll send a discord thank you bagel swag <laughs> honestly it might let's see um, let's see. Assigned to... Oh, no. Not assigned to Stella. Unassigned. Assigned to Lyle. Assigned to Alice. And then assigned to Styla. So who are you carrying? Or who were you carrying? You're, you're carrying... Okay. Put Lyle in crib. Okay. Pick up Lyle. <laughs> we gotta see. Pick him up. Ma'am. Okay. No. She's picking him up instead. Okay. Well, never mind. Well, we'll see in a minute after she's done feeding them. <laughs> after she's done feeding them. <laughs> also, I have been distracted, so I don't know what we're talking about, but I wanted to say that the aesthetic of your Sims 2 in save in particular, Reshade Lighting CC, reminds me of being a child in the early 2000s. Like, very nostalgic. I feel like I lived in this house. Oh, yeah. I get that. I think this hood was supposed to be, like, originally when it started, it was supposed to be, like, 80s, but it's, like, hard to do that with Sims 2 stuff. Oh, is she... Oh, what are you doing? See, she's autonomously putting him in here, and that's, like, not his crib. Right? Here, let me see if I can get her to... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Does it work, technically? Oh, it works! <laughs> it works! <laughs> it works! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! It made it work. <laughs> we have the baby crib! <laughs> A baby, bunk baby crib. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, who do you have? Sty Styla. It worked. <laughs> bunk cribs. <laughs> Don't leave thinking outside the crib there. <laughs> it's perfect. See, and they just kind of... Look, she leans right in underneath. Now get CC cribs that are just slabs that... <laughs> Put like ten on top of each other. That's funny. We could we could just like make like a little wall section. <laughs> um save your game now. Yeah sure. Yeah sure. Yeah sure. <laughs> I ate like four cookies help. Oh no. And lasagna. Lasagna. Yeah, but ba but ba Bobby Wall. Bobby Wall. Mubby wall. Is there a way for me to squeeze? Wait, you need to get out of the way. I don't think I have... Do I have quarter tile on? See, I can like... Kind of goes in the wall weird. But that technically works. <laughs> that technically works. So I, I also didn't really decorate any. Here, let's... Uh, why... Do I not have... Quarter tile working? I guess it doesn't not work with this. Oh, there we go. It is working, technically. 
So that means I can maybe squeeze in like a little changing table somewhere here. Hmm. See, the biggest issue in this house is this middle room where they're like, they got the table and it's obnoxious. Maybe could I like do something here or something? Thank you for the work, Daydreamer. We are probably going to get ready to wrap up soon. Maybe we'll pick like a, a, a quick machinima to watch. I'm just going to kind of set this up. Put that, I guess. I don't know. There we go. So we at least have that. We also don't have a light in here. <laughs> we don't have any light in the child's room. Yeah, the single poster. I'd love to put it back up. We'll have to plop a little poster in. Here, maybe I'll put like a little baby picture. We'll put something that works. What do the babies enjoy? What are babies like? Um, the babies like tools. <laughs> put some tools on the wall for the babies. A cow. Put a cow head on the wall. Don Lothario from like a ga a console game. That seems good. There we go. <laughs> Just Don Lothario console. Console Don Lothario. Baby's like shitting and eating. <laughs> Does baby gear? Oh my god, words. Does the baby gate work well? Yes, I like it. I like the baby gate. It works really well. It keeps them out. The only thing I have had issues with is there's a version that's made so you're supposed to be able to like just put it in like it's just the gate without this without the actual frame and you're supposed to be able to like make it you're supposed to be able to add it to whatever frame you want. I can't get that one to work for me. I must be doing something wrong. So I just use that one instead. Here we go. Look at our wonderful... <laughs> Wonderful crib situation. <laughs> Wonderful crib situation. Yeah, Bobblehead Don. Bobblehead Donnie boy. Look, you can see his shirt. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna save. I think I'm, I'm done playing for the night. Oh yeah, you heard about the gate only one. Yeah. I just couldn't... I can't get seem to get it to work. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So I think we're going to try watching a little machinima. I'm just going to pick one that's uh, available for us here. Um, I am going to end the YouTube live side just because YouTube does not like listening to our copyrighted sounds that tend to be onto the, on the, the machinimas. So uh, thank you very much, YouTubies. Thank you very much, YouTubies, for hanging out. We're going to hit the stop on that one. There you go. I think the YouTube side should be donezo. End. There you go. I'm gonna exit out of that. Okay. Taking an edit break to watch this and wrap it up. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't know what it, I, this one's interesting. Cat. This one's called Sims Two Horror. It must be Halloween. Um, we also have Katy Perry Hot and Cold Simlish using Sims 2 Apartment Life. Um, we watched the Chucky Tiffany one. I really like these so these episodes here. We could also watch another episode of the Skin Life stuff. Skin Skin Deep, <laughs> Skin Life, <laughs> Summer Life, Skin Deep, whatever. Um, make this big. There we go. Uh, oh, you have seen that one. Yeah. There's also some good Sims 1 machinimas here we haven't watched yet. These could be really cursed. I'm intrigued. I think my my headset's getting ready to die. Watch it die right as I'm watching this. Simpo's fantasy story. I, I really... I'm just gonna... <laughs> let's see. I gotta, I gotta know. I just gotta know what a Sims 1 machinima... Look at her. Look at her. I just, what does a Sims 1 machinima look like? I'm afraid that my earpiece just died. I can't tell if it's working or not. My last video upload uh, for 2018. Okay, so this was made in 2018, so it's not that old. Fantasy story made with Simpose 1 based off a Greek mythology tale, the legend of Arachna. 
the story of an arrogant, beautiful young woman who ends up punished with ghastly, twisted, eternal curse for her wrongdoing. <laughs> 2018 was five years ago. Don't remind me. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> Don't remind me. Okay. Here we go. Uh -oh, I can't hear anything. I'll get the browser muted. Okay, I can hear it. Okay, we got sound. Oops. I didn't know we were gonna get... I didn't know we were gonna get voiceover. <laughs> okay. I didn't know we were gonna get voiceover. Okay. I dine alone. <laughs> Okay. I like, you can't see, I like, look at Joe's little icon down at the bottom here. <laughs> Behind my head. Yeah, this is the iconic Joe Winko. We have a, um... <laughs> no problem, Daydreamer. We're just watching this little Joe Winko machinima. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be any like actual like story like acting or just storytelling. I like the clouds behind her. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, recommend watching. Yeah, what do we we can try out watching it a little bit faster. Do better. Oh god. <laughs> the grimy Oh wow! It's wild how how like it doesn't sound like I'm <laughs> listening to it at one point five. <laughs> like it sounds like I'm just listening to it like a normal speed. <laughs> I know her hair is so crunchy. You can see like the each line. Munches on her hair. <laughs> yeah, the music. Hold my poodle. <laughs> Hold my poodle. Lasagna noodle hair. Lasagna noodle hair. Oh, who are these folks? <laughs> Can we get a zoom in on the folks? Sorry, I was like on. I was like eating my microphone. My chin just bumped my microphone. <laughs> no judgment. Or like, I think it's because she's supposed to be some kind of like. It, it, what was it? She was it Greek or or something? Like it was like she was some sort of mythological like creature, not creature like goddess or something. <laughs> thank you very much for the biddies. A shrimply the best. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for we got our little face pop up there. Yeah, are they sit no, I don't think they're Sims 3 Sims. I think they're like just generic modeled Sims. Not Sims, people, like just generic modeled people. They don't really look like it. it's hard for I can't really zoom in, I don't think, or can I? No, it won't let me. Hmm. We were all Sims. Okay, she, so Arachne is like a human even though mythology, so she would be in the town, I would think. It might have to do with... Oh, <gasps> it's Joe! <laughs> this is what I love about Joe Winkle's stuff. This is, if it's, if he's wearing this bandana on his head, it's Joe. See, look, this, see this little icon down here? <laughs> this is, Joe wears the, he, 
the hooded figure is Joe, who's the creator whose voice we're hearing. He self inserts himself in like all of his stories. <laughs> Honestly, iconic. <laughs> he just puts himself into all so it's it's Joe. Um but I think honestly also what might be happening is it's a Simpose fantasy story, which Simpose is like a program that uses Sims 1 characters. And um the uh I think I think the way that it works is like you can insert either it's just a green screen photo or you can just insert a photo or like a preset photo or something. And I'm wondering if it's just easiest to put like a little sky photo in the background. I don't know exactly. That's what I also wondered. <laughs> I want to be in the Jew. This <laughs> is Joe Winkle Extended Universe. So Joe's the god of life. <laughs> Look at him going at it. <laughs> Look at these folks! Look at this lady! She's so tall! The girlies are so tall! Look at all of them! <laughs> Everybody's sitting in this field! <laughs> I love this scene! What is this? <laughs> Ankles are bent! Also her with like her little pink dress. <laughs> Tag yourself, I'm a Rackney's shoe. <laughs> uh, what's on her thing? <gasps> oh the the cleaver? Also <laughs> also the hashtag at the top corner. I forget, I didn't even pay attention to that. Hashtag Joe Winko, hashtag legend of Arachne. <laughs> Why did he get so big? My face hurts. I, I need to breathe. Hold on, Joe, please. But what's amazing is we're listening to this at 1.5 speed. <laughs> what did that? I, w I would love to know what that sounded like. I don't know if I want to go back and listen to that on anything other than like this is fast speed. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, it's a spider. Okay. <laughs> oh, my earpiece just died. I can't hear the rest. I can't hear what he's saying. No. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I can't hear it. I must know the final story. Let me try this one. Please hook up. Okay, maybe this will work. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Trigger warning spider imagery true. You can't really even see, you can kind of see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we get some cool music at the end. All right. <laughs> God of love. <laughs> Wait, let me get it to the top of the text. God of life, Joe Winko. <laughs> That's just so funny. It's just so, he just he has to put himself in everything, which is so fascinating. Made with Simpose One Photoshop, Sony Vegas. Based off of Arachne. Narrated by Joe Winko. Created, directed by Joe Winko. 2018. <laughs> Wonder what more since I had a bad day. Yeah, maybe we could. I I don't mind. We could do. Let's watch an actual Sims 2 one. 
We can do, let's find, is there a really short one? That's a sim story. Toriko is a triple threat. Actor, director, writer. <laughs> this one's, oh, we already watched that one. That, this one's only four minutes. Let's watch the hot and cold Katy Perry crunchy effect. When was this made? Oh, it's by The Sims. Oh, 15 years ago. Okay. So it's 20, 2008. Okay, so this one, oh, why is it not letting me go big? It's just very crunchy. Oh yeah, I can I can do that too. Here, let me do it quick before I forget it. Uh, mark my little eyeball. Okay. <laughs> oh, I think I have seen this one too. <laughs> this one is a classic. Just watch this one all the time. Yeah, I think I have seen this. It is a very classic one, though. The crunch is wild. <laughs> My eyeballs. The crunch. <laughs> the fact that she's just like a little old-fashioned girly is interesting. I don't think of Katy Perry in that, but I guess she's gone through different, like, styles. Oh, I like the kitties. Oh, I like the little rock and roll set. <laughs> this would work for that one Taylor song where they're creepily writing signs at each other. Oh god, true. Oh, the wink? Uh, how did they- wait, how did they get her to wink like- that must have been an editing, right? Sorry, I want to go back and just see- Oops. I'm just fascinated by the technical- okay, I think it was just a fluke that she was able to to wink. Because sometimes the Sims will wink one eye. That's weird. Unless they did edit it well. Uh, for the music video for the song, Katie is in a wedding dress, so maybe it was similar. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm surprised they wouldn't have used an actual, like, formal dress. Wink with one eye, you know. <laughs> you know. That is a wink. Well, you know. <laughs> you know. No offense, this song sounds really bad. <gasps> the hater. A hater. <laughs> I don't actually care. I mean, I'm very neutral. <laughs> I don't really care either way. Oh, they're singing. Nope. <laughs> Bigfoot and the bunny. Oh, I like that. That's fun. I want to- I wait, I want to- wait, that means that they had the ability to dress a sim up as the social bunny and have him play cards. Cause like, the social bunny can't do that normally, right? I don't think you're able to do that. Corruption. <laughs> like, that's interesting. It's the real social bunny. You think they corrupted the ga their game for this music video? <laughs> the crunch. The crunch. They're yelling at the folks. Oh no, it's Hank the butler! That was Hank! <laughs> no, he's brown-haired Hank. It's Hank the butler. <laughs> he's sneaking in. Oh, this child. Oh, these guys. Yeah, it's very well done, I think. Oh, okay, I like that. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, well, who's this child? Somebody come get their kid. Vidkin? Young Vidkin? In a pink suit? Hello? A Nightman? Bigfoot? And Social Bunny? Okay. I like those three. Yeah, doing the goofy bar thing, yeah. Is that I didn't realize that was what they were doing. That's funny. <laughs> Someone's mom in the early 2000s had to hear this for the thousand bajillionth time this week, yeah. <laughs> I like how true this is to Sims 2, yeah. Hot Katy Perry, hot and cold. Very nice. 
Sims 2 Apartment Life requires Sims 2, Sims 2 Special DVD Edition, Sims 2 Holiday Edition, Deluxe, etc. Okay. Do we have helicopters in Sims 3? That's a good question. Maybe for a, like a for a carpool? I don't know. Do we have it for a carpool? Yeah, I like the I have I think I have one sim in the Uberhood that has a in like my Uberhood from for my like YouTube series that has a um a helicopter. They're fun. <laughs> Who needs a helicopter? You know what? Sometimes people just need a helicopter, you know? Have them for a carpool, okay. <laughs> Different for a carpool, okay. Anyway, we have gone. We uh, it is now six hours and fourteen minutes <laughs> of stram. <laughs> I have a feeling tomorrow's stram will be shorter. It's also possible I will not stram tomorrow because I didn't know I was going this long today. <laughs> we'll see how I feel. Um, I'll probably because I do really want to play a Little Sims Three, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but thank you guys very much for hanging out. I had a lot of fun with some good old early strange town. Um, yeah, I might be back tomorrow to play some, uh, to play some Sims 3. Or if not, then we'll be kind of jumping over to Thursday. We'll be playing some Calicundia. We're going to do some more Calicundia. We'll probably just play regular gameplay. I don't think we're going to do more building stuff We'll just for right now. Um... <laughs> Thank you for making me laugh so hard I crashed my car. Uh oh. This is the doubled audio. Oh no. <laughs> the cursed audio. Feels like it's doing this. <laughs> I know you're joking. I was gonna say it, I was I got I got interrupted by the cursed audio. I was gonna say that uh we we found out that you are in fact a ghost. <laughs> you are in fact a ghost. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Cursed audio to send us off. Yes. Oh, <laughs> another cursed one to send us off. Another one. I'll play some some music here too. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm gonna go now. All right. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you next time. Do that. Goodbye. Die.